Believe it or not, Princess Peach has been captured by Bowser yet again. In today's video, we play through the full game of New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, completing every level, defeating all bosses, and checking out the new playable characters Toadette and Peachette. Let's get started. Looks like another peaceful day at the Mushroom Kingdom, how these things always start, all enjoying some tea and cake, but I guess not for long. Oh no, we're already under attack. And guess who it is? It's Bowser and all of his little friends, all the Koopalings. Oh no, oh that's a big hand. <laughs> Giant robot hand. Is this gonna pluck her out of the castle? Oh, oh. Oh no, 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 we should've saw that coming, ouch. Whoa, what are the, that's not even it, that was just round one. Oh, he's just gonna throw us away. I mean, honestly, that's a pretty well thought of plan. Usually he just tries to steal the princess. Ooh, do we have a new power up, the acorn? Oh, look at the baby Yoshis, they're so cute. It's so weird seeing Toadette there instead of Blue Toad. Oh no, Bowser's still attacking the castle, we gotta get there quick. It's a long run though, we're really far away, I don't think we're gonna get there in time. Oh boy, this is a big mess. So what's gonna go on now? Where are we starting? So this is back at the, the Mushroom Kingdom. I guess we're not starting our adventure here as we have other new Super Mario Bros. games. Oh look, it's Lemmy! Is Lemmy our first boss? That'd be great, he's my favorite, so he deserves to be first. Yeah, we're way over here. What are we, starting in like Bowser's Kingdom? That'd be actually a really cool idea. Um, no, it's this place. Not very familiar with it. Oh, it's Boom Boom, being carried in by Kamek. He's our mid-boss, isn't he? That's interesting. And here we are, Acorn Plains. So yeah, the worlds actually have names in this one. Usually it's just worlds one, two, three, four. Here it's Acorn Plains, and then each other world has a name. Not only that, but every single level has a name as well. So we're on Acorn Plains one, Acorn Plains way. A lot of acorns going on here. So let's get into it, let's start our new adventure. We only have five lives, so we do have to be a bit careful, but I'm sure we can figure things out. Okay, so, oh, I really like the background of this one. Just seeing the giant acorn tree is really cool. And oh, look, it's one of the squirrels. So he has one of the acorns. If I hop on him, we can get it. So this isn't the Tanuki suit, but instead the squirrel suit. A brand new power-up for this game is pretty gosh darn cool. I don't know if I like it more than the Tanuki suit or the Tanuki towel. Oh, here's our first star coin. But, you know, we'll just try to figure it out. Oh, that's weird. So one addition to this game I guess, is that if you press jump when you're in midair, you can actually do your little twirl. Typically that is reserved for uh, shaking the controller, which it looks like you can still do. No, that activates the power up now. Oh, that's sort of weird. Um, but yeah, that's what this power up does, is that it can glide, but it can also, if you press the button again, fly up like that. So yeah, we got lots of stuff to check out, I'm sure of it. Ooh, let's get in here. And then try to jump on this Goomba. Ooh, what is this? I do need to go down those pipes I passed, though, because I do think there's a star coin in there. Is there anything else here? I definitely want to collect as many coins as I can, because, you know, I want to earn up some lives now instead of needing them later and not having them. So yeah, before we continue forward. Whoa, 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 don't die on the first level. Don't die, no Mario! Don't die on the first level, no! I couldn't see what was down below. That is so embarrassing. No! All right, well, I just got a one-up from all the coins. Doesn't really go to much if I lost a life, but at least it's something. So yeah, what, before we do too much more, I'm gonna glide over here, get the star coin again, and then I wanted to go down this pipe, because I'm pretty sure this is also a star coin. I'm pretty hazy on the details for most of the star coins, so it might be a bit of a struggle to find them all, um, compared to some of my average playthroughs with New Super Mario Bros. games, like New Super Mario Bros. Wii. I just knew where everything was right off the bat. I just remembered it all from playing it so many times. But this one, I've only played once, and it was a couple years ago, so I definitely am a little bit forgetful on some of the details. But for now, I'm gonna bounce and bounce. Try to be careful with these Koopas. They're loose cannons. They're just gonna be running all over the place, tearing me up. <laughs> okay, so what's down here? Oh, we got some just normal coins, that's it. All right, don't fall down the pit. Please, no more deaths on the first level. <laughs> oh, ooh, okay, I wasn't expecting that. There's lots of coins down here. In typical uh, level one f you know, fashion. Oh, the sign can fall down here too, interesting. Um, there's just plenty of coins and one-ups to get, which is always good. Probably a good place to farm up for some, for some lives if you need it. Okay, so I'm just trying to figure out where in the world this last star coin is? I definitely don't want to miss that either. Ready? Whoa. 
Let's let him pop up one more time. I just don't trust this. That's not something, okay. It's gotta be around here, so I'm gonna check all the pipes. Like I said, I might be a bit slower with everything. I mean, I'll try not to take forever, you know? But, I'll do what I can. There we go. Awesome stuff, so let's go ahead and grab that mushroom. That's a one-up for us. But yeah, this one's very interesting, just because I'm so unfamiliar with it. It really does feel a lot similar to some of the other ones. The only big difference, I guess, is that, you know, you know, it has new levels, of course, but is the new power-ups, and the backgrounds look really cool in this one. I feel like the backgrounds are a lot more detailed. Like, artistically, it looks really nice, so I, I enjoy that. Let's go ahead and glide down here. Whoa, boy. Keep going. Grab those coins. Dodge the squirrels, which is a little bit scary. Yeah, these squirrels are, I guess they're flying squirrels, which is pretty cool. Oh, there's the star coin, ready? Plop down. Oh, 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 go, go back to gliding. That's sort of the fun thing, is that you can stop gliding, and then you can start again, which can add to a lot of mid-air control. That's a lot of fun. So there we go, we got all three star coins without too much of a problem. Now we can keep moving forward. Not really worried about the, the rest of this level as much. Whoa, watch it. No, wait, no, 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 no. I'm getting the, the, the top of the flagpole to end this off. Whoop. And got it. There we go. So we finished the level with nine lives. That ain't so bad. Very good, Mario. Very good. So there we have it. Now we have the rest of the world to complete. There's still quite a lot to do here in Acorn Plains. But yeah, there are some fun ideas with this one. I like how the overworld works in New Super Mario Bros. U compared to some of the other ones, which are a lot more linear. And you'll figure out what I mean as we get through it. But for right now, Acorn Plains 2, Tilted Tunnel. Does this one use motion controls? I forget if this game really does. Cause I know most of the, the big idea with this one was using the gamepad to make the little platforms. I don't remember if it uses motion controls as much as, ooh, Fire Flower. As much as, can I get in here? Oh, you bet I can. It's not too much, it's a little bit of coins. Um, As much as New Super Mario Bros. Wii does. But I don't know, we're just gonna keep going down this tunnel. Try not to take too long with everything, right? Luckily, I have this fire flower, so I can be nice and careful. It is very weird that they decided to port this game, but not the other new Super Mario Bros. games, but we can only hope that'll eventually happen, right? Because they're all great as well. Got it. Oh, let's get that. Awesome. Yeah, this is our first new game of the year, which is really exciting, new game of 2019. And there's also another one that released today, that is Mario Luigi uh, Bowser's Inside Story for the 3DS. I do plan on playing that one as well. It's, you know, I just sort of bought the physical version, so it's still shipping to me. Can't believe I messed that up. I'm just trying out all these pipes while I have the key, while I have the chance. Okay, so we got all these crystals. Oh, it's a dead end. No, it's not, yeah. I don't know if I should have waited for a star coin. Let me double check, this seemed a little bit odd. No, it looks fine over here. Whoa, whoa, watch it, whoa, that was close. Too close for comfort. Get up here, not too much. I mean, I'm trying to be diligent and collect as many coins as I can for now. So if that means, you know, taking these first couple of levels in the game a little slower than normal, then so be it. Rather now than later when the levels get a whole bunch more difficult. I'm a little worried we haven't ran into any star coins yet. Oh, can we get a one up? There we go, oh, and that's it. Nice, okay, that was actually really good. The crowd's cheering for us, they're so happy. Okay, run across here. Whoa, whoa, no, no, no. No, Mario, Mario, you're stuck. There we go, oh, that was scary. So let me get the checkpoint before I make any other silly mistakes. What else is down here? Like, I can run across this. Oh, that's cool. Perfect, and I got those, very good. So what's going on with the rest of this? Is this gonna be a one-up? Oh, that's a fire flower again. I'll save that one for now. I'll just leave it there if I can. Oh, okay, here we go, we can go down this pipe. What is down this way then? No star coin, well that's sort of bad. What can I do with all of this? There's a fire flower. Oh, I can just throw this, whoa! Okay, that was a lot of coins. I feel like, uh-oh, was that right? I don't know, I gotta go up and check. No, that was fine, okay. I know that sometimes there are some power blocks that you can use to get star coins. Ooh, we can get a one up here. No, that's a vine, actually. Oh, you know what? There is a secret exit on this level somewhere. And I'm guessing, whoa. Oh, darn it, what is happening there? Um, This probably leads to it. Mm, maybe. You know, we'll just go for it. Or maybe we won't. We'll go ahead and do that next. If I'm looking for the star coin, you know? Okay. Nothing here yet. Oh geez, come on, ready? Whoop. Oh, I definitely wanna get the red rings. So let's just go through all of this. I think I might have missed on another little secret though. So who knows? There we go, perfect. 
I'll get that. Oh, I do remember this. If we ground pound at the sign, everything will move for us. We should be able to go down this way. Maybe this is star coin number two and I'm just getting everything mixed up. Oh, yeah, there's a star coin. Whee! But it's star coin number three. I suspected as much. So we'll probably just go through this level an additional time anyways, because I know there's a secret exit, so we'll probably just leave it at that. And, oh, come on. I am definitely, like, I just woke up a little while ago. I've been spending all morning taking care of sick kittens. They're they're okay, though. They're getting better, better don't worry. But I'm just, like, not in, like, a video game playing mindset. I'm, I'll warm up throughout today's episode, I'm sure of it. But if I seem, like, a little off in my game playing skills, that's why. But I'm playing it the same day that it came out, so very exciting. There we go, we got the one up. So we're not quite done. We'll go through Acorn. No, 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 this was Tilted Tunnel. Yeah, we'll go through Tilted Tunnel one more time, get that second star coin and find the secret exit, wherever it may be, and hopefully everything will turn out okay. But for now, we get to go back to the overworld. That'll actually open up the mid boss already, which is pretty cool, and a little mushroom hut if we needed it. Oh, what's happening? Uh. Oh no. He's claiming the castle as his own. I mean, he doesn't just want the princess, now he wants the whole kingdom too. That's not good. Let's get back in there. Okay, so let's try this out. As you can see, we got the vine right over here. And we're gonna get up this way and see what ends up happening. Hopefully something good. Okay, so this might be the secret exit. It might not be, it might just be the star coin. But there's another spot as well that could have also been the secret exit that I noticed. So yep, that was just a star coin. Guess I should have followed my gut with that one. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and ground slam, ground slam, ground pound. Yeah, up here. So if we were to booty slam like this. Oh, you know what? Let me grab this Koopa, because I do remember this now. Grab this Koopa, and then get up here. If we are to run up this way, and then I like throw this like this, this should get us something really cool. Like, let's see. Whoa, whoa, it actually hurt me. Hold on. <laughs> I thought there was gonna be more room up here, but I guess not. Wait, was this not it? Whoa, huh. No, that's not right. There's something more. I know there's something more. I'm almost positive there is. Yeah, like up here, right? I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this is, no, see, I told you. I told you there's something up here. That's very weird that the camera didn't follow up here though. That's a very secret secret. Hmm. Okay, so we can booty slam down this way. We. <laughs> that was a really long booty slam, but we did pretty good there. And hopefully that is our secret exit. Man, I'm getting a lot of hard times already in the first world. I mean, I died in the first level. Oh, there we go, we got the one up there. We're actually gaining lives really quickly, we're at 18. Ooh, and we got the special uh, course clear. So if you have this, the last two digits of the clock on the top right, the same number, which was 222 that time, um, we get some little extra stuff here. Thanks a million for your help, here, take this. We get ourselves a mushroom, yay. All right, awesome stuff. So we got that done, which means we can now finally move on from this level. So where does the secret exit lead? I do not remember. Way over this way. Oh, it's a really long path. What is this? Whoa, what is that level? It's like a little extra one. Oh, I like that. Let's go check that out real fast. And we also got a little mushroom as an item. That's always good to see, so we can select that at the, uh, yeah, use R to check your items. If a course is too tough, an item might help. Indeed it will. So let's run down this way if we can. Oh no, I didn't mean to turn around. I love this little run. And this is, oh, this is an Acorn Plains level. It's Acorn Plains level blooper, blooper secret lair. So we'll check that out soon, but not now. Instead, we'll be keeping forward, or keep moving forward with some stuff over this way, like the mushroom hut here. I wanna check out what other items we can get. We might as well do these now, because unlike New Super Mario Bros 2, where you can only hold one item at a time, you can get more than one here. Pick a block, and I'll give you whatever items inside. I'm gonna shuffle them now, so watch closely. You don't wanna pick a Bowser. Okay, so the Bowser, oh, we got one of the peach egg crowns. Okay, we'll talk about that sooner or later, but not now. Okay, very good, very good. Nice, got it. Just trying to pay attention. Okay, Bowser's on the right, so I should be fine with just going boop and boop. There we go, we got a mushroom and a peach egg cloud, or no, not cloud, crown. <laughs> I'm very congested today as well, so I'm gonna pronounce everything wrong. But is that really any different than normal? I don't think so. But yeah, I don't know if I wanted to showcase Luigi next episode or Peachette. You guys can let me know which one you wanna see. Um, I will showcase all the characters, but I, I know a lot of people have been wanting to see me play as, it's Toadette who gets the crown, who turns into Peachette. I don't think anybody else can use the crown, unfortunately. I mean, I could check here. I don't know if I should waste it or not. 
Ah, uh, only Toadette can use that. Then why? Why not? <laughs> Just have some fun. Acorn Flames Tower, Crushing Cogs Tower. We're going in. So ba Boom Boom, right now, it's not Bam Bam. That's the Flintstones character. Boom Boom is our boss here. So that'll be interesting for sure. I do remember this game getting a little bit more inventive with the boss fights, unlike New Super Mario Bros. Wii and New Super Mario Bros. 2, which was just like, okay, Resnor and a Koopaling. This one, I think, does have a couple of different mid-bosses. I mean, there's still Koopalings, but, you know, it's sort of like, I feel like it's a well-balanced game. I know this one is the least popular of the four, and also, since I uh, haven't mentioned this before, I might as well now. Yes, I do plan on doing a full playthrough of New Super Luigi U Deluxe, since that also comes with this game. I've never played that one, actually, so that'll be an interesting experience for me, so stay tuned for that. I won't be doing that until I finish this one, though, so it might be a little bit, but it'll be fun. Anyways, let's get up this way and see what's going on. Probably have a power up? Yes, I do. So I like to keep the ice flowers for these towers because of course, they're one of the only items that can actually destroy dry bones because it almost always comes back in other ways. But I don't have to care about these guys too much. There we go. I can use one to get rid of the other, just like that. So that could be pretty good. I do want to check the walls, of course, as much as possible because you never know when you might find a secret. Just like that. It, it just had a couple of coins, but it could have had a star coin. You don't want to mess out on that, now do we? I think I see our first star coin up there on the top left. Whoop, got it, pretty good. But yeah, this one's just like, you know, it's hard for me to really, oh, can I make this jump? Oh no, ooh, that is tough. Okay, let's try that again. Jump again, and just gotta get the perfect timing, which we got, awesome. So we got, to... oh, we already got the first star coin. <laughs> I already forgot about that. <laughs> but we're doing pretty good. If you ask me, at least. So we can get, try to get some of these red coins as well. Got it. Five, six, seven, and eight. And that should give us a one up. So let me get over here where you can safely pick it up. But yeah, I don't have as many memories with this game as I did like New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Just because I didn't play it growing up. That one I played growing up, so a lot more special to me. I mean, this game's still pr plenty special. And it is still just very cool that they decided to port it to the Switch. And it makes me excited to see what other cool Wii U ports we might end up getting at some point. I would really hope that eventually they port Super Mario 3D World, because I really want to try that one as well for you guys. I've played a tiny bit of it. And it's really fun from what I've played. But I would love to do like a full playthrough of it all. Okay, so what's going on here? There's definitely like some kind of secret. Yep, just like that. Ooh, what's this? Oh, is this gonna be like a little rocket boost? I think so, wee! <laughs> nice, we get a bit of a shortcut. Plenty of lives to get in this level. Oh, look at this. No, wait, that's not what I wanted to do. Darn it, I was gonna try to get a big combo. All right, well, it'll be a big combo, just not as big. Oh, I didn't get rid of these guys though. Gosh darn it, nothing's going my way right now. Can we get up here? Oh, yes we can. Another shortcut, really? I think so. Wall jumping is a little weird with the whole new mechanic where you can spin with the jump button. Ooh, would that be better? Oh, look at this Bowser Jr. thing to the right. Is this gonna be a Bowser Jr. fight? Or is it gonna be Boom Boom? I think it's Boom Boom. But just Bowser Jr.'s face is on the side of the castle. All right, so let's give it a shot. He's not happy to see me. Gotta be careful. Ooh, he just starts swinging. I mean, I could just jump on his head but sometimes it can be a lot more fun to throw the fireballs at him. So he doesn't go into a turtle form or turtle shell form, at least not in this version of the fight. There it is. Come on, one more time. Maybe I could actually just take him out that way. I can, yes, the fire flower takedown. So there we go, the first tower of the game defeated without too much of an issue. That's always good to see. And there isn't a secret exit for this one, so. Let's try, um, oh wait, what's with a little acorn down there? Huh, I'm not sure, we'll have to go check that out. But look at that, we get another level unlocked, and we'll save. Saved. What's with you? Yeah. All right, thanks, I get a free acorn. Just in our inventory, I like it. Okay, so we're gonna go back up this way, and we're gonna check out the next level, which is Acorn Plains 3, Yoshi Hill. Oh my gosh, we get to play with Yoshi? That'll be good. Oh, I'm so excited. I missed Yoshi because I played New Super Mario Bros. 2 a couple months ago, and there's no Yoshi in that game. Ah, oh, I missed him so much. I mean, I'm pretty sure, yeah, he's not in that game. Unless I'm, my memory is like severe, la severely lapsing right now. I'm pretty sure he is not, though. Oh, and we got these guys. They're not so fun to deal with. Gonna have to be careful. Okay. 
So we just gotta be careful. But, oh, do we get an acorn suit? No, we get Yoshi! Hi, Yoshi. I know, I should have expected that. The level has Yoshi's name in it. So we'll be sure to eat all these little apples as well. Because, oh, come on, leave my Yoshi alone. Because if we do, you can see it fills up a little meter, so that'll be good. What was up here? It looks like there's, how do I get up there? Hmm, I might not be able to get up there with Yoshi. Cause I can like hop off his head and I can get up here and get a bunch of coins and then I can like slam down this way. I don't know what that is, so let me grab Yoshi and maybe help me figure it out. Maybe there's like a little, oh, here we go. That's how we were supposed to get up here. And then we can just jump and got it. <laughs> I understand now. So let me booty slam back down this way. What else do we got? Hopefully there's something good. Ooh, it's a secret! I mean, we already got the first star coin, so we're doing pretty well. Hmm. Got it. There we go, very good, very good. And I guess there really isn't anything too much to this area, so if we don't want to get all the coins, we should be fine. But yeah, it's just super nice to be able to play as Yoshi in this one. That's always cool. And I'm so excited that you can play as different characters. You know, I'll talk about that more in the next episode because I, I'm pretty sure that Luigi controls differently than Mario does. I don't think that Toadette or Toad do. I think they control the same as Mario, but Luigi should have a higher jump, so that'll be really fun. Oh, I was supposed to use those guys. But I guess I could do this. Oh no, I almost got the combo. No, Yoshi. Okay, I forgot there was a pole. Uh, yeah, like a pipe between us and that pit. I thought something really awful was gonna happen. Luckily, that's not the case. Okay, so can I go down this pipe? I cannot, but I can get this so we can get a one up. Oh, a nice flower. All right, sure, why not? Hmm, so we're still looking for that third and final star coin, wherever it may be. I'll be looking high and low for it, but we can start our meter up again, which is always nice. And we get another Yoshi, which will have a mushroom in it. I'd rather a, a one up, but you know what? I'll take what I can get. So it can't go in there, but I can grab that and try to avoid him. It's spinning on a bunch of coins, but I don't know if I care too much. Where in the world is that last star coin? I have a feeling it's like somewhere around here. I'm almost positive it is. Oh, it definitely, no, Yoshi. Yoshi, ah, ah. oh, that was close, that was really close. Starting to get the hang of the game a little bit. I mean, I say that and I'm losing Yoshi. That was just weird. No, that was just weird, Yoshi, no. Ah, every time I say I'm getting used to something, I, I, I prove that that's wrong. Oh no, can I even get this without Yoshi? Oh yeah, I can. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Yoshi, I didn't mean to do that. Unfortunately, I still don't think you can bring Yoshi from one level to the next. I think it's only in the level that he is in. With that being said, I would really like to see another Yoshi pop up. Oh, come on, that was baloney. There's a weird thing with the spinning. So like, like I said before, you can spin in midair to give yourself a little bit of a oomph, I suppose. But the problem with this one is that they made it so that the spin is also the jump button, which is never how a Mario game has been. The jump button has always just been jump, you know? So it is a little bit odd and quite a lot to get used to that sometimes when you press jump, a little extra thing will happen. Okay, so unfortunately I really messed everything up and I can't get the, the flagpole. That's okay, it's our first one we messed up. And I don't think there's any secret exits to this one. Honestly, isn't. I don't think there's any other secret exits in this first world, except for the one that we already found. So that's pretty good. So with that being done, looks like we got ourselves a bit of a branching path to choose from. What is the level on the left? This should be Acorn Plains three, or no, that's five. Okay, so I'm not gonna deal with that one. That was Acorn Plains, so we're looking for four. Baby Yoshi. Hi, baby Yoshi. Yoshi, hey, I'm baby Yoshi. Yoshi, you look like you know where you, to find food, so I guess I'll follow you. Yep. Ah, uh, he just follows me around. So yeah, this is level number four, Acorn Plains for Mushroom Heights. So this might actually be a bit of a scary one to use baby Yoshi on, but we'll give it a shot and see what ends up happening. No, 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 where are you going? Don't walk off the edge already. So one thing that's interesting about the baby Yoshis, besides the fact that they sing, it's so cute. <laughs> if you press the R button, it turns into a little balloon for some reason. Why? Nobody may, nobody may ever know, but it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. They didn't, they didn't do that in Super Mario World, but they do that here, so it's just weird. But it is very helpful for platforming around, so I will gladly use it as much as possible. What do we got here? A couple more coins. And of course, our goal, just like in Super Mario World, is to feed baby Yoshi so they can turn into a full Yoshi, and that'll be really cool. So in technicality, yes, a Yoshi can be put into any level, I suppose, if you look at it that way. But 
I don't know, it's not the same. Anyways, let's get back up here. Oh, there's so many coins waiting for us. Ready for this? Ooh. And I think if we press the button again, we get another extra little flutter. We do, but it's hard to change your direction. Ooh, so many coins. I mean, I don't need to get all of these, but it's good to know that they're there. You get a lot of little flutters, too. So I know there's some more Goombas down this way. I'm gonna try landing Yoshi and eating those two dudes. There we go. I'm pretty sure he'll turn into a full-grown Yoshi. He does in Mario World. Super Mario World, that is. Oh, that's a big, big piranha plant. I don't think Yoshi's gonna be able to eat that dude. It'd be very impressive if he could, but I don't think he's Kirby. <laughs> okay. Get him, there we go. I mean, maybe not, maybe I'm wrong. Anyways, this is a really scary thing to do. Whoa, they pushed me back. I didn't know they could do that. Oh, that is really, really scary. I gotta make sure I get rid of any kind of foe that's above then. Got him, got him. Very good, so we got our second star coin. And we're doing pretty well. Can you eat him? Yeah, you can, look at you. So proud, so proud. So I wanna go into this pipe down here and see what else we can find. It may be our third star coin. I can only hope, right? Um, so far it's a little too soon to tell. I'm trying to be very careful. Oh, look at these, are these green coins? All right, grab these. All right, might just have to, come on. There we go, five of them, no, that's just a one up. No, 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 baby Yoshi, baby Yoshi! Got him, I caught him, that was actually really cool. Okay, let's get up this way. And this is taking a while to get through. I mean, I, I definitely have been taking my time with these levels, and I do apologize if that's wearing on people's patience. Oh, there's the final star coin. Well, what's up here then? Something. We're about to find out. Boop. A mushroom. Okay, get it quick. But then let's try to get down here carefully. Carefully. How do I want to do this? This is a bit of a tough jump to make, but I can just do that. Oh no. Oh, that is really tough to do. So let me try that again. Ooh, okay. Oh, it's scary. It's real scary. We did it, we did it. Okay, make my way out of here. Keep going. And baby Yoshi, yeah. So I guess he doesn't grow into a bigger Yoshi. Where are you going? Come back. Oh, okay, he's staying with us, I think. Very, very interesting level, especially with little baby Yoshi helping us out. He is too adorable. I didn't know that was possible, but it's possible he's too stinking adorable. Okay, so with that done, as you can see, that unlocks the path to the castle, which we're not quite gonna take. Instead, we're gonna go back, because Baby Yoshi's still following us around like the adorable little guy he is. And we're gonna go and try level number five, Acorn Plains Five, Rise of the Piranha Plants. As if there wasn't too many in the previous level, we got some more to deal with now. Okay, so with this level, once again, there's really no more secret exits. Baby Yoshi, come back. Here, let me get rid of that guy, so he doesn't bother you anymore. That's sort of the big perk of having a fire flower. Might as well use it. I'm gonna go ahead and do that, see if they can grab some coins for me. And then I'm also gonna get rid of that guy, because I definitely see a couple of things in there we can get. Yeah, that's sort of the only downside to Yoshi, baby Yoshi, is that I can't actually fire any of my fireballs, because he'll just start walking away, which is no good. But, no, 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 what are you doing? Come back here. <laughs> he does a little dance, too, with his big little belly. It's big and little at the same time. Okay, you stay over there. I know it's just a dead end. No, you're going the wrong way. Baby Yoshi, thank you. Okay, grabbing that one without too much of a problem. Hold on, oh, come on. Really? Not what I wanted. What's down this way? Ooh, one up, I'll take it. Oh no, I lose my power up at the worst time. There's a hammer, bro. I got him though, don't worry. Don't worry, Baby Yoshi. I didn't mean to throw you. I'm trying to protect you here. I'm gonna just play with Baby Yoshi for the rest of the game. <laughs> I don't know, I don't, like, does he ever go? To normal Yoshi? I don't think so. That has me a bit concerned. I was not ready to be a Yoshi father. Okay, got it. I'm gonna try something very risky. <laughs> he got all squished there. I was just trying to see if there was maybe an invisible wall hiding something. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I really don't like this. It feels like there's something here I'm supposed to be finding. You know, we're sort of at that point in the level where we should find our second star coin. Okay, watch it, buddy. Watch it. Uh, no, no, get him, get him, got him. Okay, we're fine. So if I get hurt, he actually counts as an extra hit. That's good to know. I don't know, maybe I've missed out on something. I don't know, I'm, I'm starting to get a little bit worried. Let me fall on this Koopa, or not. Boop, bop. Ooh, oh, here we go, this is something. So Baby Yoshi, I just need you to be very careful for just a couple of seconds. 
Come on, baby Yoshi. Go there. Got him, okay. Come back to me. Very risky. <laughs> but we can go like that and... Second star coin, maybe? There is a star coin. Okay, baby Yoshi, you can just chill out over there. Ain't no problem, see? Nobody's gonna hurt you. You're sort of impenetrable to most things. That's not what I wanted to do. Be careful, baby Yoshi. Yeah, he can just stay in that little pit for now. It's a little daycare for him. Looks like one, doesn't it? Yeah, that's star coin number two. Thank goodness, I was worried that was star coin number three. No, wait, pick him up. Got it. And with him, we're gonna leave. Aye, 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 this is crazy already. And let's go ahead and try to be careful with all of this. Jump on you and you, and get ourselves nothing. <laughs> I don't think there was a star coin down there. I can't, I also can't slide with Baby Yoshi. That's a weird thing I can't do. I mean, I don't know why I'm doing that. I could have ate them with Baby Yoshi. I keep on forgetting how awesome this will do. He eats the hammers as well? Okay, the, for, for real, confirmed. I'm playing with Baby Yoshi for the rest of the game. <laughs> I'm gonna go as far as I possibly can with the little dude. And see what ends up happening. It'd be funny if like we can just feed him so much that by the end of the game he just eats Bowser whole. <laughs> That'd be a little too much, wouldn't it? All right, there we go. Come back here, little baby Yoshi. We have 30 lives now, though. Quite a lot of lives to get in the first episode. Oh yeah, Mario time. Mario time indeed. The game looks really pretty on the Switch, though. I mean, I'm playing on TV mode, but I believe that Wii U on the TV mode for this game was 720p, and this game's uh, the full 1080p, so it's full HD resolution, so like twice as big. Um, well, not exactly twice as big, but a lot more resolution. Um, and we got a Corbin Plains Mushroom here. This is the one-up mushroom. Hopefully we can check this out and get some good stuff going on. These cannons are about to fire a barrage of coins and one-ups, collect as many as you can. So get more mushrooms than Bowsers to earn one-ups. So I have to dodge the Bowsers, grab the mushrooms. I'm gonna do a really bad job, aren't I? That's coins, more coins. There it is, got it. Oh, at least I dodged the Bowser, so I'm at one. Got it. Oh no, I dodged it, I didn't mean to. <laughs> okay, it is right there, and then right there. We're doing really good! We're doing really, really good! Oh, that's a lot of them. No, nope. like I said, it's a lot more important that we dodge the Bowsers. Oh, I think I grabbed one, then I grabbed the mushroom again. There, no, <laughs> darn it! <laughs> we're doing so well until we weren't. We got 31 lives. Oh no, we already had 31 lives, and we got four one-ups. Very good. All right, so that gets us up to 35 in total. Very, very nice. We might get 99 by next episode at this rate or something, I don't know. Okay, so let's get to it. We're gonna move on over. Oh, what is this going to be once we bump into this dude? I don't really know. So it's just a bunch of these guys, which I can just have Baby Yoshi eat them all, so it should be fine. And what is this gonna be? Oh, it's a star. Oh, that might have been made it much easier. Well, we got him. <laughs> that was really, really easy. All right, Baby Yoshi, I love how he's all rainbow as well. Look at him go. He's the most powerful Yoshi in all of the land. Okay, so with that done, as you can see, we've gotten everything cleared out so that we could go to the castle, but instead of going to the castle, I'm gonna go ahead and go to that special level we unlocked earlier in today's episode. We'll do that level, and then we'll go ahead and do the boss fight, and then be all wrapped up for the first episode. That sounds like fun to me. So let's go ahead and do it. This is uh, the special level that we unlocked. It is Acorn Plains blooper, blooper secret lair. So let's get started. Baby Yoshi's gonna come with me, even though it's an underwater level, which has me a bit concerned. Let's see what we can do about it. Um, so we can go down this way. Yeah. So I don't know, this is our first underwater level of the series. Whoa, look at him go. Oh, I have never used him underwater before. He is super handy so far. I'm gonna try to be as careful as I possibly can be when it comes to these pipes. Ah, oh, they make the song so nice. They just sing, you know? Which I could sing as well as Baby Yoshi could. I'd go join a choir. Or maybe I'd have a solo career. So he, we can actually sit, swim really fast with him. Can he eat the bloopers? Because if so, he's officially my favorite. My least favorite enemy in all Mario games has always been the blooper. I don't care anymore. He's the best ever of all time. All right, so I am so pleased right now. So pleased. Oh, can we get up there? With Baby Yoshi we can, because the world is our oyster with Baby Yoshi. I feel like I'm cheating almost. But you know what, I've worked really hard to hold on to him this entire time. Okay, so, can I 
Go down this pipe. I'm worried that I might not be able to go down pipes with Baby Yoshi, but I'm pretty sure I can. Can we go down this pipe? No, we can't. Okay, eat the blooper. Good job. Wait, how do we get that? Uh-oh. How do we get that? Oh, you know what? This might not be true, but I think it might be true. <laughs> um, Is that we need to go under this. Yeah, like this. Isn't this tricky? But we do it. Okay, keep going, keep going. Got it. Oh, let's get all these coins. Like, it's nothing because Baby Yoshi makes it actually easier than ever to swim. Because with Baby Yoshi, we get like sort of like full eight directional movement, you know? It's beautiful. So go ahead and eat that blooper. Go down this way, nothing. Go up this way, something. Good, okay. So one more star coin to get. Hopefully we find it without too much of an issue. There it is, and then get him, get him, get him, got him. Oh my gosh, the level's a breeze now. Which is great, because I don't like one underwater levels very much anyway, so. You know, if they can be easier, I will gladly take that opportunity. Can't go down this pipe. And can I go down this one? I cannot. Oh, I can definitely go down this one in the side. If there's coins leading to it and everything. Come on, baby Yoshi, help me out. There we go. So what's going on in this one? Oh, there it is, the third and final star coin. Uh-oh, we got the bloopers with the baby. So baby blooper versus baby Yoshi. Who's gonna win? Oh, that's sort of really sad. The babies are just like, no, mother. I feel super bad now. Okay, so let me go ahead and grab these. I'm guessing this is a star here, which I might just grab and then, oh no, it's just a fire flower. We need to skedaddle. We do not want to run out of time because I'm gonna have to do all that again. There was no halfway checkpoint for this level, was there? So, you know what, baby Yoshi? It's time to pick up the pace a little bit. And, okay. He survives. <laughs> I, I didn't get to eat that one, that's fine. Let's go, baby Yoshi! We're running! Jump! And then, oh boy. Flutter, we're good. I like the pick up, picked up pace song. That is so amazing. Baby Yoshi is literally the best power up ever in a Mario game. Oh yeah, Mario time. Indeed, I think it's Baby Yoshi time. Can we just, uh, new Super Baby Yoshi U Deluxe? That's the new game that's coming out. All the kids will be excited for it. <laughs> That'd be wonderful. Okay, so with that done, where does that even unlock? Wherever it is, we're probably not gonna go down there because I think it's gonna be a part like of a different world. It'll be all spoilers and stuff. Yeah, I think it actually unlocks like World 4 or World 5 or something. Or not, it just keeps going. <laughs> it never ends. Look at that, longest path of all time. I sort of wanna run down that just for fun. It leads way over here, it just never stops, oh my gosh. <laughs> we'll have to check that out at some point. Not for now though. Very interesting, yes, I will definitely save for that. And we'll skedaddle all the way back to the left and check out some other stuff. Our last thing we gotta check out, of course, is going to be the final boss of World 1, which should be Lammy Koopa. That'll be a lot of fun. And then next episode, we'll tackle World 2 as a new character. That'll be cool as well. So Acorn Plains Castle, Lemmy's Swing Back Castle. Well, Baby Yoshi, no, Baby Yoshi, come back. I guess he can't join me for this level, but he does keep with me. So that is really fun. So let us go through this. Grab myself an acorn, Oh, very nice. Can I get up here? You bet I can, but is there really anything? Nothing on this side. I can at least skip a tough portion of the beginning part of the level. I, I appreciate that. Got some coins and our first star coin. Now, this is where things get quite scary. This is all lava on the floor, so if we even touch it once, no matter what power up we have, instant takedown, and that's no good. So I might not try to go as risky for all the coins, just trying to get through the level okay in one piece. Perfect, already got our halfway point. And, nice, we're doing really good. So I might, like, yeah, I'm not gonna worry about it. I already messed out on one of the, the red coins. It's fine, we have 39 lives in the first episode. You really can't complain about that, can you? There we go. So what is in this pipe? Probably our third and final star coin. Indeed it is. It's a bit of a risky one. We got a little lava ball popping up and down like this. Gonna glide across nice and simply. And we did it. That is definitely scary because if you just mess up your jump ever so slight, you're probably gonna land in the lava. Or worse, lose your acorn ability. And there we go, we made our way to the end. I told you I'd start warming up a little bit more. Oh, do I want that though? Yeah, sure, why not? We'll give it a shot. So unfortunately, the acorn is really the only new power up in this game. I know in previous New Super Mario Bros. games, sometimes they like introduce more than one, like the propeller cop and the ice flower, or the, the mini mushroom and the large mushroom, you know? I don't know. But 
Anyways, we're having a lot of fun still, and look at this. So what is going on here? I thought that we would fight Lemmy Koopa here, but I guess we fight him on his ship? Huh, this is weird. Is there like more level to be played now? Okay. Huh? Oh gosh, he's wild. He's got some really cool hair. Okay, whoa, watch out for that. Do not want to be hit by the exploding little balloon bomb. Okay, so he's probably gonna pop back up. Oh no, he's gonna pop up on that side. All right, oh, 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 that bounced off of me. He's probably gonna be skedaddling. You get back here. Boing, got him. So where is he gonna pop up? I have a feeling he's gonna pop up on this side. So I'm gonna try to be ready for him. There he is, boom, got him without any damage taken. We take out Lemmy Koopa, he's amazing, but at the same time, it had to be done, had to be done. All right, very, very cool, I'm super happy about that. And, like I said, with that one, World 1 should be 100% completed. Look at Mario, go! Baby Yoshi's like, yes, do it, Mario. Destroy Lemmy's ship. <laughs> is, is Baby Yoshi evil now? I don't know. Anyways, oh, he crashed and everything. I hope he has insurance on that thing. Okay, so it looks like that is World 2 unlocked, and as you can see, we have a happy little dance because we got all of the star coins and acorn planes. That's gonna mean something good, right? I sure hope so. We are moving on to World 2 after 100% completing World 1, and we'll be trying a new character today. So if we press the pause button, we can see a couple of things. First off, all of the star coins we've collected so far on our adventure, and our change character screen. So a lot of you have let me know that while you love seeing me play Mario, you want me to see, you want to see a different character be played today, and wow, okay. I didn't realize that each one had their own amount of lives. That actually makes things a little bit more difficult. But you guys said that you wanted to see Toadette this time. So we'll go ahead and check out Toadette today and sort of see her new form. Like she has the Peachette form. So that'll be a lot of fun. Now Peachette is an easier character and we'll explain it as we get into it. But for right now, World 2, Layer Cake Desert is ahead of us. We got Boom Boom back in action. And, oh boy, a hammer bro. Maybe that's a fire bro. Which Koopaling? It's gonna be Morton Koopa. Oh boy. He's a tough one, he's usually one of the tougher ones. And we still have Baby Yoshi with us, so Layer Cake Desert 1, Stone Eye Zone. Very cool. So as far as I understand, Toadette controls just like Mario does. But Toadette actually has a different effect when picking up a mushroom. It's the same thing as when she picks up a super crown. So if we pick this up, oh actually maybe that's not right. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> I was wrong. I, I'm still learning as I go, I suppose. But yeah, I guess she does turn into larger Toadette. Or I guess like normal size Toadette. And so far she does seem like she controls just the same as Mario does. I know in Super Mario 3D World, the Toads control a little bit faster. I guess this is not the case here. Um, so I'm gonna grab all of this. Oh, here it is! So yeah, if we pick up one of the Peachette crowns that only Toadette can pick up, we turn in the Peachette, which is weird to say the least. Because it's not that she turns into Princess Peach because you're saving Princess Peach. But the weird thing about her is that she sort of has like the acorn plane, or acorn, not acorn planes, the acorn uh, power up, but just like built in naturally. So you can flutter up like this, and as you can see, I mean it might be easier to showcase without Baby Yoshi, sorry there buddy. Um, but you can go like that, and that's pretty helpful. So she basically has a double jump. I think she can also float in the air, just like Princess Peach can. So she basically is Princess Peach, but not. <laughs> it's very odd, I know, and I think if we pick up another power up, oh, we do turn back into, Toadette with Fire Flower. Interesting, so I guess that might just be a replacement for the Acorn Power Up. It's very weird, and like I said before, unfortunately nobody else can pick up the uh, crown and turn into Pe Princess Peach. I mean, that'd be a very interesting idea. I think I need to booty slam this, there we go. Come on, I gotta get Baby Yoshi again. Got him, perfect. Like I said last episode, I wanna see how long I can, wait, no, 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 Baby Yoshi, Baby Yoshi. Baby Yoshi, no! No, I lost him in the deserts of doom! I was just saying how long I wanted to see him, how he could hold on to him, and I've ruined it. Oh, no. I mean, maybe it's for better so that I can actually play the game the way it's supposed to be, but I was having so much fun with that little dude. Ah, that stinks. Ooh. Uh, that scroll had an acorn. I don't know where that ran off to, so I guess it doesn't matter too much. I know that if I hit I don't know if I can anymore. I don't know if I can reach that. If I hit this with a, a Koopa Shaw, I'd probably get a one-up or something. Let me go ahead and grab that and slam this and see what's going on down here. Is it just some coins? I suppose so. Nothing too interesting, then. These heads are a little creepy as they stare at me. I like how the checkpoint flag is actually different depending on, whoa, 
Whoa. Uh, depending on who actually touched it, so it's a little Toadette flag now. That's a pretty cool idea. But yeah, we'll be checking out every character. Next episode, we're likely to check out Luigi. And then after that, we'll try to check out the Toads. I don't know how I'm getting up there. You can see that there's something. I might have to just go and get a power up and come back. Oh, you don't have one this time, buddy? Oh, that stinks. Cause I don't see how else I could get up there. Unless I want to use you. Oh, too, too, too late. That's tough. I have to be able to get an acorn. Oh, that was a nice jump. Good job, Toadette. Oh, that is super cool. So obviously this is star coin number three, which is good, but not perfect. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Where in the world could I find an acorn? I might not be able to, I might just have to do this again, which would be bad. So let's try to figure this out a little bit. Um, oh boy. Uh, yeah, let me go back then and like double check. Whoa, whoa, wait! Ah, oh, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> I died on this level too, I died on the first level of the last episode, the first level of this episode, nothing's going right right now. So it's really easy to get up there with Peachette. You just have to do your little flutter jump. Unfortunately, no baby Yoshi included this time. But if we press this button, oh, we get a bunch of coins. Let me get the star coin first. So there's no risk of missing that. And then we'll get across like this. And perfect. Ah, oh, I missed some of them. That's fine, that's fine. So there's star coin number two, and we already know how to get star coin number three. So it should be pretty easy just to run over there and get it. I won't dilly dally too much. Her floating jump is actually really helpful. So, oh no! Oh man, it's so helpful that I don't get it anymore. No, wait, wanna try that again? Oh no, 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 don't die. Don't die! No, no, wait, 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 yes! Oh boy, I survived. I lost another hit point, but I survived. <laughs> I'm a mess so far in today's episode, I apologize. Okay, maybe I could, no, I didn't quite do that correctly. Oh well, I don't need whatever coins are up there, I don't think, unless there's a secret exit, which there may be, which if there is, I'll tackle that. Afterwards, I'll check my list. I do write like a little list of all the secret exits, just so that I don't miss any. I try to keep everything else relatively blind. There we go. That is awesome. We get Toadette completed on this first level. It was a total train wreck, but maybe we'll do better in the next one. But for right now, we'll just head out of here. So far, you know, of course, I've said it before, I'll say it again, the desert levels are usually my least favorite in side-scrolling Mario games, are usually super duper difficult, and so far, this one isn't any different. But hey, for right now, Looks like, oh, it's Nabbit. All right, goodbye, Nabbit. What's up, Toad? Uh, hi. Oh, this is terrible. Some weirdo stole a bunch of my stuff and he's so fast, I'll never catch him. Please, you've gotta help me. So yeah, these are actually some extra thing you can do called the Nabbit Chases. We're not gonna do those now. I actually plan on doing those after I um, complete the game fully 100% because um, with these guys, like there's one per world if you explore through it all, so I'm gonna do that later. That was my all-time double favorite stuff and I may never see it again. Ah, uh, this is no time to stand around. He was headed for current Plains. All right, good luck. Oh, I almost forgot. Pipes are a surefire answer when you're in a rush. See, I guess you can go through that pipe right there. Does that lead back to Acorn Plains? Most likely. Okay, so. Yep, there you go, we're gonna head out, and we'll go ahead into this mushroom hunt and see what's going on. Hopefully some good stuff. But it looks like there's not a uh, secret exit for Stony Eye Zone. So we, we know about this, pick a block and I'll give you whatever items inside. We gotta avoid the Bowser, just like last episode. There's two Bowsers to avoid this time. So that might make it a bit more tough. I will keep my eyes on them at all times. Okay, so I think I know. I think the two in the center are good. So there's the mushroom, and there's the Peachet crown. Very cool, we did it! <laughs> awesome, so not as many power-ups to get for this one, unfortunately, but hey, at least we got some more power-ups. You can't complain too much about that. I thought Toadette and Toad were just celebrating over there. So, with that one done, we're gonna keep moving forward and hope everything turns out okay. So yeah, we're gonna move over this way, and then we're looking for Desert 2. That says her two, Perilous Pokey Cave. I'm glad it was level two because I accidentally pressed A. <laughs> oh gosh, it is very perilous already. Pokies are a little scary. Can we have Yoshi for this one? Because that's usually great, right? Usually we can get Yoshis to eat up the Pokies. I can only hope, right? Oh, can we go down this pipe? Was there already a secret I missed out on? There may have been. Okay, that has me a bit nervous. Let me go ahead and get the Fire Flower and get rid of that dude. Huh. I think I already missed a secret. 
That's weird. I guess down in the uh, desert below, there must have been something. Okay, so I wanna try to get this question block because it may just well be a Yoshi if there is one to get. Now it's just another fire flower. I do think that fire flower toadette looks really cool. Okay, ready, boop, got that. And, oh no, 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 oh, we got hurt there. That's a little silly. There's lots of stuff around. Okay, what about this? That's star coin number one. So no, we're good, we're good. So whatever that other thing was. Oh, that's a peach egg crown, I want it. That's such a big power up to get. And there it is, very cool. So I can get up this way and then I can, oh, do something. Whoa, 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 gotta be careful. But we got ourselves a couple of coins over here. And I do have to be careful because like I said before, it looks like the amount of lives you have is actually tied to the character, which is very weird. But I sort of like the idea. It forces us to be careful in a way that, Yoshi! In a way that you might not actually expect. So I think this might be a pipe we can go down. So let's try it out. Never mind, I'm wrong. <laughs> Peachette on Yoshi is a little weird looking, but I like it. Okay, so what's going down in here? Oh, it's dark and spooky. Did I go down the right pipe? Did I miss something? I don't know. Oh, there's something up here, that's for sure. Is it another star coin already? Not quite. Gotta be careful, there's bats everywhere. I don't like it. All right, yo, I'm eating up some of the pokies. If you eat their heads, you get the whole thing. Look at that, that was so cool. And we get a one up for it. So yeah, they actually count as little fruits when they're like that too. So that's like another big reason to pick them up. Oh, grab them, dang it. I wasn't able to get them all. They're only like that for just a moment, it's a tough thing. And they're still worth getting when they're not like that. And there, is there like a pipe up here? There is, what is this then? I'm, I'm a little lost on where we are. Okay, this is surely something interesting. Okay, oh no, I missed out on my chance of them being little oranges. Try that again, ready? Any second now. They're gonna turn into an orange. I'm gonna eat them up. Now, look at that. That's an easy way to get some one-ups too. No, wait, 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 give it to me, give it to me. Oh, I couldn't get it. That's sort of a shame. All right, got him. I'm gonna try to stand so that, ah, uh, yep, I'm right under it. Very cool, so we have nine lives as Toadette now. That's always good to see. Okay, come on, there we go. I do wanna see, yeah, I thought so. I was like, I have a feeling there's a star coin up there. I'm guessing that means that like one of these was like maybe uh, a vine or something. That one was a fire flower, which I actually do not wanna take. I wanna stay as peach at for as long as possible in today's episode. There we go, and let's go to, down here. So we got all the star coins, that's a really good thing. And we're just gonna keep moving. Got it. Whoa. And we're good. Wait, 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 hold on. <laughs> Gotta be careful. So what is going on with the rest of this? It looks like we're just heading up this way. Okay, so far so good. And that should be the end of the level maybe? Let's see if we can't wait for you to turn into fruit. Uh, You know what, Never mind. we're good, we're fine. Cause Yoshi can jump off this guy, which I wanted to do and then get some extra height and then boom, one up. Very, very cool, so thank you so much for your help, Yoshi. You were really a ton of help there. She did it. It's very weird, it's like they just found a weird way to get Princess Peach into the game without it, you know, being her, because she's also the one you're rescuing. It's very odd. Hopefully at some point they do make a new Super, a new, new Super Mario Bros. game for the Switch, and maybe we can have all new characters there. Didn't mean to go this way. Hold on, let's turn around, because we're now gonna do Acorn Plains 3, which is Fire Snake Cavern. So let's try this out. Hopefully everything will turn out okay. We have 10 lives with Toadette. I'm gonna see how high we can get that number by the end of today's episode. Probably not as high as Mario's, just because he was uh, in an easy area. So let's turn back to Ice Toadette, because we just haven't seen that power up with her before. Very interesting with the blue and the pink. Look cool. So let's fly down this way. And is there anything going on over here? Because it sure as heck looks like it. Got some extra coins, and that's about it. Oh, we can get rid of this dude. These guys are sometimes a pain, so it'd be good if I can actually hit him. There we go, get rid of him. What I don't like about this level very much is that it's very, very dark. And we're just gonna have to be prepared for that for now, I suppose. Oh, there's something, oh, I see our first star coin. Gotta wait for it to go like that, and then, yeah, we made it. Very good, so star coin number one gotten. And just gotta be careful. Can we go down this pipe? No, we cannot. I can always, of course, intersect 
Golden baby Yoshi. Yes, please. Thank you. Can he eat the, he can eat the little fireballs because he's adorable. And doing that actually lights up the entire screen. Oh my gosh, he's a little ball of perfectness. Or perfection. Whatever you want to call it. Oh, it even makes him fall over. Oh my gosh, nothing can stand in his way. Nothing. All right, can we get up here? Whoa, look at this, a one-up moon. That gives us three lives. You don't see this too often in Mario games. No, that's bad. Darn it, that's six. It's fine, it's fine. Almost have enough coins for a one-up. And there it is, so we're at 14 lives in total now. So I probably wanna go down there, but let me first get the checkpoint. I have a feeling that might be a good idea. And we'll go down this way. What can we find in here? Store coin number two, maybe? Uh, so far, no. But I can eat a bunch of stuff with a baby Yoshi. Thank you. Try that again. Eat him, eat him, eat him, eat him. And I don't think there's anything else around here for Oh, uh, maybe I spoke too soon. We get ourselves another three up. That's very cool. I might end up leaving you there for a second so I can try to get up here. Nothing, okay, we're good, we're good. I think we can head out of here now. Very sneaky secret, getting tons of extra lives right now. We can light this room up a little bit more. But I'm still on the prowl, we get another one. Oh cool. <laughs> still on the prowl for another star coin. Cause there's gotta be another one soon, right? Oh, definitely get the ice flower. I'm gonna put this down and see if we can't, oh nice throw. Very good, very good. So I don't like this very much. Oh, that was close. Yeah, there's definitely a little something down there. I just gotta make this jump. That was very, very close. Basically as close as it gets. Hmm, oh I see. I might put Baby Yoshi down then. Try to get to slaying some of these guys. Got him, very cool. So luckily they'll just sort of walk back and forth in a way that's easy to work with. And got it. Look at that, without it being really a, even an issue, we get star coin number two. This is a lot of fun. I'm actually having more fun through this desert level or this desert world than I had expected. The first level is a little bit treacherous, but beyond that, we're doing pretty good. Hold on, I'll go down here quickly. Got it, and got it. And that is, yeah, the P-Check crown. Oh, do I really want it though? I was hoping for a one-up, to be honest with you. Okay. So yeah, I don't think we can do our little flutter in the air, our little second jump. Oh, come on, that's just rude. Just rude. Well, I got another one now if I wanted to use it. Can't go down these pipes. I just need to keep on to Baby Yoshi at all costs. Ow. Oh, thank you, Baby Yoshi. You are literally the best of all time. He can just eat anything in our way. I mean, albeit if it's not too big. But anyways, there's our third star coin. This is a pretty cool background. All those like little totem heads looking at us like, what are you doing in our domain? Leave now or forever enjoy cake. <laughs> anyways, boing. No, whoa, 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 he fell over in a way I wasn't expecting. Okay, so we're doing all right. I can go through this pipe and Looks like we're good, oh, they're back. They're like, what are you doing here again? I told you about the cake, didn't I? Ready, jump, and oh, no, I did make it. Okay, that didn't look like I did. <laughs> but awesome stuff. Do we get to keep that golden baby Yoshi? I'm not sure, but we do get the course clear. We have almost, a, like not almost a million points, but 653,000 points, it's a lot for an episode and a half. Do we keep golden baby Yoshi? I don't know if we do. I guess we don't. That's a shame. He has to be kept in his natural habitat, but I respect it. I definitely do. Let's move up this way, and we got Layer Cake Desert Tower, Stone Slide Tower, featuring Boom Boom again. I noticed that there was some uh, variation with the bosses. I'm pretty sure there is. I, th I think there is some different mid-bosses we eventually run into. Ooh, you know what? I think I know what we do here, but before we do, let me get some free stuff. There we go. Um, I think we gotta stand on this and start spinning. Oh, and it also gives me a star coin. Well, isn't that generous? Very cool. So we'll have to keep an eye out for multiple effects that those little spinny things might have. Now, they had those in New Super Mario Bros. Wii, but you had to waggle the controller. Here, luckily, that's not required, even though you can still do it. Some people have been asking, by the way. Um, I'm actually using, oh, no, no, don't go down there. I'm gonna get squished. <laughs> I'm using the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller to play this, if you are wondering, now you know. So I can actually freeze these guys. Probably the best reaction to them because I don't think you could actually get rid of them with the fire balls. So freezing them is really nice. I feel like freezing definitely can be a tougher power up to use because they don't bounce as far, but it's definitely a lot more viable for taking care of tough enemies. So what I gotta do here, this one's a tough one, is I need to 
Uh, get up like that. Nice, okay, so we're doing real well. Really, really well. Get back up this way. And of course, things are a little bit easier with Toadette, so it only makes sense that we're doing well. But I feel like even like beyond that, we're playing pretty nicely. Because I honestly haven't utilized Pidgeot to her full ability, I think. And maybe I'm wrong. I'm wrong quite often, so it won't be too big of a surprise to me. But uh, let's go ahead and booty slam that. Nothing too much. What about this one? Has another ice flower that I don't quite need. Hmm. Okay, so I think there might be something. Oh, another three up moon. We're getting those quite often now. So what is this about? I don't know, I guess it's just, I guess it's just so that we can get up here. Odd, but hey, it works. So we're still looking for one more star coin. But we're only at the halfway point. So there's plenty of opportunities for it. This seems a little confusing. Uh, I guess I just gotta get up here though? I mean, alrighty, not too bad to do. Got it, probably should have held on to that just in case. Oh, that was actually really close, gotta be careful. Hmm. Oh, what about this yellow pipe? That's definitely gonna be something. But how do we get to it? I am not sure. That doesn't seem right. How do we get into that yellow pipe? There's gotta be a way. Okay, get rid of this dude, throw him over there, and then we'll try this again. Probably will be easier without those guys being so threatening. And let me get up there, got it. Jump up here, nice. See, what's going on with that? That yellow pipe has to be something. I mean, maybe it's something farther along I just haven't, yeah, like something over here maybe? It's possible. Ooh, here we go. Yeah, I was right. Okay, that's good. So here's the third star coin. Oh, oh, I remember this. So yeah, this is a little bit weird. What we gotta do is we have to sort of let the platform follow this guy and then we'll bounce and then we bring him over there. We gotta do that twice. That's the tricky part about this. Got it. Yeah, okay, so it would be nice if they stopped spitting them out now, but they don't. Oh, oh, this is really scary. How do I wanna deal with this? Oh, not like that, that's a mistake. You know what, with my invincibility time, I'm just gonna go through and get it. There we go. Then jump over, perfect. We made it, so there's all three star coins in this tower. I just have to, so that wasn't the yellow pipe though. <laughs> I thought that the, the yellow pipe would be just where it kicks us out, but it wasn't. So I don't know if there's the secret exit on this tower. I'm pretty sure there isn't though. So that's just all kinds of weird. Anyways, I'm getting up this way. Oh, come on. Sometimes I try to wall jump, but I accidentally do the little spin like I've said before. It can get a bit weird. I'll squish these guys, go down one of these pipes and do it quickly. Oh boy. There has to be a power up over here, right? Ooh, it's a fire flower. But I need to actually use these guys to get up to it. All right, willing to help me out here, buddy? Thank you. Okay, so I'll get rid of this guy. So this is no risks involved going through this door and taking on Boom Boom. I, for a second I thought we were in the castle. I was gonna say Morton Koopa, not the case. Hi Kamek, what are you gonna do this time? Nothing? Okay, see ya. Oh no, he's doing something. Is he gonna make him bigger? Oh, he can spin now. That's not good. Whoa, it looks like he can still hurt us. I mean, he, we can still hurt him though when he's spinning. Whoa, 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 okay. He stopped walking sooner than I thought. Okay, there's the first hit down. Very good, very good. There we go. <laughs> Sometimes it's just easier to use the fire flower. Oh boy, that was really close, but we did it. Without any damage taken, we took down Boom Boom. Toda is so excited about it. She's such a cutie. Okay, so with that one done, it means we can keep moving forward halfway through the world now, so that's always good to see. See ya, Boom Boom. That castle is ours. Ooh, there's an acorn waiting for us, but there's also a hammer bro and a Goomba as well. We'll honestly just try to take them all on. Take them all on. I don't think they can handle us. What do we got? Oh no, what's happening to the castle? Oh my. Kamek's hanging out. No doubt he's up to no good. Oh no. He's making the weather worse. No way they could have forecasted this one. 
I don't like the look of that. Looks like it smells bad. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we'll keep going, we'll save. And we'll try to grab this acorn. You get back here, thank you. <laughs> Add that to our inventory. And I'll run into either which one of these guys. I don't really care. Um. Come on, there we go, perfect. So we'll run into hammer, or fire bro. I keep on thinking this is hammer bro, but fire bros are red, hammer bros are green. And I'll just try to throw a fireball at him. Perfect, <laughs> super duper easy. We get ourselves another star, cool. So there we go, 24 lives in total and an extra star to our in inventory, so that's nice. How is our inventory doing? Because I think that, yeah, we only have those slots. So it's not as easy as New Super Mario Bros. Wii where every item had its own dedicated slot with up to 99 it can hold. You only get nine slots of just different items to work with here. So it is a bit more challenging in that way. Okay, so we just got a bunch of Goombas to deal with here. Just gotta fend them off from left and right. Be gone. Yeah, not bad actually. And we get ourselves another Peachette Crown. Very good to see. The only thing about the Peachette Crown is that only one character can use it, so it has a limit on how helpful it could really be. But there it is, P-Check Crown. We only have one more slot left. So, let us get up this way, because I wanna check out the one-up hunt, try that little one-up cannon game again, see if we can't get ourselves a couple of extra lives. Hello, these cannons are about to fire a barrage of coins and one-ups. Collect as many as you can. Of course, we gotta avoid the Bowsers. Okay, let's get to it. I'll stand right in the center. Oh, there'll be lots of coins headed my way. Whoa, no, at least don't hit the Bowser. Even if I don't get anything by the end of the day. It's better than getting, I don't know if they'll take away lives. I feel like that'd be a little too much, so. I don't know, maybe we should play a little bit more risky. Got it? Oh gosh, I wish they would bounce more than once. I wish they would bounce twice. Okay, that one didn't count. No, come on, four seconds left. Uh, yeah, okay, did I get that? I don't know, it's sort of hard to tell. Okay, I got that one, and that was it, right? So how many did I miss? Yeah, okay, five one-ups. Not bad, last time I got four, so that was actually a little bit better. And now in total we have 30 lives. Excellent stuff. Glad to see that. So with that done, we can keep moving forward. Cleared everything out here, so not really too much to worry about now, is there? Yeah, we can go down this way and deal with the mushroom hunt as well. <laughs> we got a lot of extra stuff to do, I suppose. I mean, it's worth getting it done. Oh, this is new. These baby Yoshis are hungry for panels. When I blow the whistle, bring one baby Yoshi of each color over here. Gotcha. So I want the baby Yoshi on the right. Oh, I see, and there's a times two Yoshi. What is the toad on the top? The right combination of panels will earn you up to two items, but don't you dare bring me any Bowsers. Yeah, what is the toad on the top? So I definitely don't want the Bowser, so I'm gonna try to, here, that's definitely the times two Yoshi. And I have no idea which one's the fire flower, so I'm just gonna guess it's this one, even though it probably is a mushroom. It's a mushroom, but what's the toad thing? You won, check it out. I mean, I guess it's just not Bowser, is the idea. I didn't know if that was like you unlock an extra thing in Majig or something, but I guess not. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, you can't hold any more items. I guess I'll have to discard that one. Select an item, discard. Yep, I'll just discard a mushroom for a mushroom, thank you. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, there are two levels to check out. This is Desert Plains 4, or Layer Cake Desert. I don't know why I wanna call it Desert Plains. And this is Layer Cake Desert 5. So we're gonna be tackling this level first, and as you can see, it's Layer Cake Desert 4, Spikes Spouting Sands. And this one actually has the secret exit. It looks like there's only usually one secret exit per world. So very interesting, a lot different than other the other side-scrolling Mario games. And here's Spike. Spike has gotten a lot more popular in recent years. He's been in Mario Party. Nice, we got Peachette. Uh, he's been in Mario Tennis. He's doing pretty well. No, my one-ups! Oh, that stinks. I can't believe I let that slip by. Now we need Peachette to be <laughs> in Mario Tennis and Mario Party. She can be the new pink gold Peach. I mean, I think that'd be at least a little bit more interesting, wouldn't it? I don't know. There's nothing wrong with Pe pink gold Peach. You know, some people don't like her, but you know, I don't have to be those people. I can just... Enjoy things. There we go. Oh boy, let's try to get up here. No, no, no. You know, let me get rid of him, just to eliminate more risks. I, I do find her hitbox to be a little weird because you know you have to land with her feet, but her dress makes it seem like she sort of like has a l wider landing area than she does. Okay, so I don't actually want to touch that. I want to keep with what I got because I'm having a lot of fun with it. 
Okay, gotta be careful. Ooh, that was almost. What's down here? I don't know if that's a secret exit or if that's or like a secret thing, or if that's just a pit of doom. Probably just a pit of doom, but you never know until it's too late. <laughs> okay, whoa, no! Oh, that's not what I wanted. Darn. All right, well, we should be fine. I'm gonna throw that that way, get rid of that spike. What is this about? Just some coins, okay. Okay, oh no, I need Peachette to get up there. There has to be something else I can do, right? You know what, go ahead and get rid of you now. We got an ice flower here at the least. How can I get up to that pipe? There's gotta be a way. No, I can actually reach it. It just didn't work. Maybe there's a pipe somewhere I missed out. No, 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 oh, I didn't mean to do that, whoops. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so I, I got a little mushroom from our power up select screen. I'm gonna go ahead and move this way because I honestly do feel like there's something here or maybe maybe not here, but sooner before. Oh gosh, if I cannot fall to my doom, that'd be really preferred. Yeah, like around this way. Whoa, watch it spike, watch it dude. Oh, oh, here we go. This might be what I'm looking for. Let's figure this out. Ooh, looking like it. This is star coin number two and this probably leads exactly where I'd thought. Whoa, be careful. Got it, okay, so there is star coin number two. We're doing pretty good now. And we're three quarters of a million points, 750,030. <laughs> cool. So with that done, I still have to be wary of Spike, but I can at least get myself an ice flower. And what is down here? This seems, yeah, that seems pretty peculiar. This gotta be something, right? Oh, ooh, look at this, this'll be fun. Playing as to mini Toadette, oh, that's so cute. Oh, I love it, <laughs> she's adorable. We gotta be very careful though, because being a mini character in this game, or in any of the new Super Mario Bros. games, it'd be very, very, very risky, because you get one hit takedown, and there we go, Star Coin number three. As easy as that. So let me go ahead and get a power up around here if I can help it, or not. I don't know, I don't trust this spike. So I might be able to just jump across, oh, here we go. And got it, so there's the level complete. We will have to jump back into it and try to find ourselves a secret exit. Yeah, <laughs> she's so cute. Very good, making some good progress with everything so far. And, of course, that means we are good to move forward. So I'm gonna hop back into that level. I might apply a power up first and start looking for that secret exit wherever it might be. There we go. So we never really checked out this area. You know, usually we go under and we get that mini mushroom. Maybe there's something around here, because this I guess that's where we pop out. Huh. So there could be something like here, or not. You never know. Gotta keep looking around. Definitely dodging all these dudes. Maybe it's this pipe? Oh, you know what? It could be down here. So let's go ahead and let you do your spike thing. Land on your head, get this. No, nothing. Oh, maybe there is though. I, I, this is sort of coming back to me. I think we need to be mini. So I might actually have to go through this all again. <laughs> Hold on, dodge all this stuff, get up here, and I'm gonna look around again, but as mini uh, Toadat. There we go. <laughs> that is, ow, so useful until it wasn't. Gosh darn it. Yeah, go down here, we'll, we'll become mini Toadette again, and I think that actually might be what we're looking for when it comes to the secret exit. So grab that, go this way, and we're good. So, like I said before, just gotta be very careful. This is sort of deja vu for us, but if we run to the right, everything should be okay. Got it. Jump up this way, and I honestly do think it's over here. It is, okay, so yeah, it's just a little too, small for us to get through as normal to that. Maybe if we crouched, but you know, we got this done, it's fine. So now, I guess yeah, we can run up here. Is this gonna be the secret exit though? It probably will be. And indeed it is, boom! Got that one up, 35 lives. Very good. And there we go. So that is going to be the secret level that'll ta that we'll tackle right before the final boss of this area, the castle, so we'll wait for that then. But for now, what do we got? Ooh, nice, way up here. So is this one gonna be a super duper long path like the other one was? Not as long, but I mean, actually no, it wasn't this that was long, but it was completing that level and seeing where it led was the long thing. <laughs> we'll have to see how that's like. But for right now, I definitely wanna go get another power up, so we will just, ooh, we could go right into Peach Jet. I'm, I'm just gonna do Toadat for now. And we'll do Layer Cake Desert 5, Dry Desert Mushrooms. 
which some of the mushroom levels can be pretty tough. Usually they entail risky jumps and never ending pits left and right. So we'll see if this one's really any different. I don't think it will be. So we got these guys, which are sort of kind of spikes, but they're also different. I don't know if they're actually considered something different or not. And look at that, we already got Peach Hat, which might just make this a whole lot easier because we can just glide across like that. <laughs> So I'm sorry if I am taking the easy way out, but keep in mind that I'll be playing as other characters as well. I'll be playing as Luigi next episode. The episode after that, I'll probably play as one of the yellow or blue toads, um, and then I'll play the blue toad after that. And then at some point, I do want to showcase Nabbit, so that episode might be really easy, whichever one it is, but it'll still be fun. I think at the least, so it'll be cool. Just because I really think that the idea of playing other characters in games like these is really fun and novel. I wish all the new Super Mario Bros. games had that feature, but they don't, unfortunately. You only get to play as other characters if you're playing multiplayer. I mean, I guess New Super Mario Bros. DS, you can play as Luigi, but that's a little bit different, you know? You know what I mean. Got it. And let's grab that. Very cool. And let's move this way. This is probably another star cone. We're, we're storming through this level as if it was nothing. I don't even need no power block. I can just float on, oh no! <laughs> Be careful. Okay, let's try that again. She falls a lot faster after you do your second jump. So, I mean, not too fast. Like, it isn't like normal falling speed, but it is still pretty fast. Okay, I gotta be careful here. Got lots of dodging to do now. Which, as soon as I know where I'm going, like right here. Oh no, that was a mistake. I knew it was a mistake the second I did it, but I still did it, and I didn't even get a one up. It's fun, that was actually a real quick level, so I can't complain too much. We got it done, Toadette is so excited, I am too. And we can move on to the final Desert Plains level. No, it's not Desert Plains, it's Layer Cake Desert. I don't know what I'm talking about. We're moving this way. This should be the sixth one. Quite a large world, to be honest with you. Layer Cake Desert six, Blooming Lakitu's. Oh, not a Lakitu level. Lakitu plus desert is always a nasty combo, but it happens so often, so I'm a bit worried. You know what, is there a little power up here? Can we get ourselves another moon? No, not quite. <laughs> is it Mario Odyssey? Moons aren't just all over the place. They're pretty rare. Okay, got it. And we should be good to keep moving forward. Oh, nice. I would rather have this and take that, thank you. She just sort of has like a weird pose to her when she's in the cloud. Hmm, I don't know. Oh, there it is! I was looking for you, come back here! Thank you. <laughs> Hold on, can I get back up there and grab that cloud? I don't know where it is, oh well. Should be fine, I can only hope. But yeah, these levels are always really tough because you never, ever know. Oh, there we go. Where the star coin might, oh, darn it, I'm a dingus! I should've known, I should've known. Oh, there's a star, actually. No, let me, oh, come on! That was ridiculous baloney. There's star coin number one. What is up this way? Can we find star coin number two? Most likely not, but I gotta check. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, no, don't jump off the cloud. I'm not done with it. Just a bunch of coins so far. Oh, there we go, it's about to end. And we get a mushroom, I'll gladly take it. I definitely need to go backwards. We'll get the checkpoint, and I'll take a look at everything else. Like maybe there's something down here. I don't think so. Okay, gotta be careful because I might just fall into my doom if I do that too much. Anything of interest down this way? We got a fire, or not a fire, fire, an ice flower. A nice ice flower. There we go, got it. So he throws things that turn into piranha plants for some reason, that is very new. Hmm. I don't trust this. There's definitely something I missed somewhere, right? I mean, maybe not. You know, there was just the pipes. We can, at least for now, boing up this way and grab as many of these as I can. There we go, not too bad, actually. Give me that peach at crown, thank you. And I'll get another one of you to deal with. But go ahead and throw your thing, have your fun, so that I can, whoa, you tricky little dude. Try it again, see what happens. You only get so many chances of this. Hey, oh, you stinker, get, out of here! Ooh, boy. Making me mad. <laughs> Anyways, go up this pipe. Let's see what we can get in here. Hopefully I haven't missed any star coins. There is a star coin in here, but is it the one I'm looking for? Star coin number two. Yes, it is, okay. That at least, you know, makes things a little less concerning. Okay, so with that one done, gotta keep moving. Let's see what else we can find. Boop, got it. Oh, I do hear a little something something. Get rid of these dudes. And what are we gonna find? 
an acorn, which, no, you can turn into a little squirrel. Really? Interesting. Okay, I didn't realize. That is super adorable. I don't know, I guess she just is better than all the other characters because they can't do any of that. Weird. What is down this way? There's gotta be something, right? Nothing? Nothing down here. If you say so, I barely believe you. Okay, I don't trust this at all. Yeah, you throw your stuff and then I'm gonna, no, come on. You ruined my, my, my fun here. I had the acorn and everything. Oh, there it is. Okay, that was actually, that was actually pretty easy. Just gotta time it, go down and grab it. That couldn't have been any easier. Awesome. Get some coins up here while we're at it before this thing ends. I don't wanna land on a Prada plant. Oh gosh. Oh, leave me alone. You are such a bully. He is so mean. <laughs> I'm glad I'm out of there, but geez Louise, it took a lot of work. So we got 42 lives as Toadette in today's episode. We started with five, so really good progress there. And before we move on to the castle with Morton Koopa and everything like I said before, we're gonna march on up this way and check out the special level for World 2. All the way up here in this nice frosty area. Oh, I love this, very cool. This is Layer Cake Desert Ice Block. <laughs> Parada plants on ice. So let me go ahead and get a power up. I really wanna do more of the acorn. That's really fun. Using a lot of power ups in today's episode. Gotta be careful of that. She's just so adorable with a little squirrel suit. You know, it's just, I, I, gotta, I gotta do more of that. Okay, oh, this is an interesting level so far for sure. Oh, I like this one. But where could be the potential? You know what, I probably, if the, if the game wants me to have this, it's probably for the best. Where could there be a potential star coin? So they can melt those platforms. And that's where things get a lot more risky here. Get another fire flower. Oh, did I miss out on stuff here? Not quite. Oh, maybe I did. Oh no, did I already miss out on a star coin? I may have, I might have to redo this already. How tough is that? I have to just assume that I did because, ooh, tricky. I'm just gonna go ahead and let these guys take me out then. You gotta be quick in this level, you gotta be real quick. I'm concerned. That might be something that's a bit of a challenge. I mean, luckily we have 40 lives to figure it out, but I mean, I only have so many powers. I'm not gonna use any power-ups this time because I know that we can get a mushroom relatively early. And then after that, we can get some other stuff. But I know for a fact there's nothing really of interest down that way. And which one of these is gonna have the mushroom? This one, thank you. I mean, we can get some coins if we went down there, but not too particularly worried about it. So like I could go that way. Right now, my number one worry is going down here and getting this. Probably should have gotten the fire flower, but I don't wanna risk it. And look at that, there's a star coin. So 100% worth doing, even if I miss out on the fire flower. Needed to, to do that. Okay, very good. I can go this way, yeah, see the fire flower is gone. It's sort of a shame. Hmm, my eyes are peeled. I gotta be looking everywhere for everything. This is risky. This is real, wait, wait, where are they now? They're over here. Got it, oh no. How can I get those from here? What? Oh, well. Oh, I guess I was supposed to have that. Weird. Oh, I see for this one. So I need to be really fast and jump up. This is such a cool idea, but really, really challenging. Hmm. Yeah, you guys go ahead and get rid of those platforms so I can get up like that. Grab this one. Dodge you guys and all of your shenanigans and I'm getting out of here. See ya. So with that one done, where are we going next? Oh, be, be careful, be careful. Got it. Oh no, oh no. Get up this way. Yeah, I did it, but there's still more to do. There's still plenty more to do. There it is, I got it. Woo! Oh no, oh no, oh, ha, oh, don't get squished. I really gotta make sure I don't get squished. But now we're just looking for the end of the level and there it is. Yeah, awesome stuff. Very cool. That was a cool level. I really like that one. Especially with all the like, the nighttime in the background and all the trees. That was a cool level. Okay, so with that one completed, as you can see, we can move this way. Wow, that's cool. We got like a little ice path, like in Super Mario 64. Ah, oh, that is so cool. I love the overworld in this game. It's so like interactive in a way. I mean, you don't, you can't really play during those sections. So that path definitely wasn't as long 
but still pretty cool to get. So we're not quite done. That was the secret level of this world, and now we can wrap everything up nice and easily with the boss of World 2, of course, that is going to be Morton Koopa in this castle, which is desert, or you know, layer cake desert, <laughs> castle, Morton's Compactor Castle. That, that one's a bit of a mouthful, but we got it done, we talked about it, and now we're heading in. So we'll see if this one goes any better. Oh, is there something to the left? Oh, there's something to the left, all right. Uh, can I get up there? I gotta be able to get up there. Ready, whoop, got it. Okay, maybe I need a power up. What do I got? Nothing. There we go. Whoa, what is this? <laughs> uh, just coins, just coins. Peculiar to say the least, but I'll gladly take them. Maybe there's a power up up here too, that'd be nice. Uh, not quite. Oh well, it's fine. Let me get these last two coins. Oh wait, hold on. Get a running start, and we got it. Is there anything else? Like, was there anything to the left there? Very weird, right? Nothing to the left. I mean, I appreciate the little secret. Any kind of extra power up along the way is always gonna be appreciated. Okay, we get an ice flower. I didn't get squished there, luckily. And the ice flower will definitely be helpful for these dudes. I can throw them into their friends if I had better timing. There we go. Yeah, we can get rid of these guys pretty easily. Okay, so there's, so I could actually have thrown a dry bones down here. Oh gosh, gotta be careful. <laughs> I don't like this, I don't like this. Oh, oh gosh, I'm getting real lucky right now. So he doesn't stay frozen. That's sort of a shame. What is this pipe? That pipe is an exit pipe not an entrance one. So I'm guessing if I go up here, I may be, yep, I may be able to find the entrance. Is this star coin number two already? You bet it is, wow, okay, this is actually going really well. Get those, got it, and there we go. So, upon the contrary, that's not how you say that saying. Anyways, uh, <laughs> a lot of people have said that this is like Toadette's first side-scrolling, you know, appearance. That's actually not true. You might remember that she also appeared in Super Mario Run. How do I get up there? You see that little like gap? I think I, I can only do that with Tiny Mario or Tiny Toadette. Weird. Why would I want to do that in a castle? There's no secret exit for this, so that's just like I guess like a weird little bonus you can get. Or maybe that's where the third star coin is. No, it's right here. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that's about. Okay, so this might be a bit scary. I might want to actually do it when it's on its way back. Mm, I don't trust this. I like I really really don't trust this. Uh, yeah, we gotta go like this and then move, grab it and then go, go, go. We're doing pretty good then. I'm gonna jump over to here. We're gonna try to get this. Got it. Got it. And over this way. Got it. And that's a Peachette crown, which I don't know if I even wanna take. We'll take it for some extra Peachette style points. How about that? Oh no, and there it goes. <laughs> Never mind. Ooh, gotta be careful now. Go, 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 go. Grab this. It's a power up. I will gladly take it. I will slowly and methodically get rid of these guys. And I think we, yeah, we have more moving platforms. Isn't that great? These ones are looking a bit scary. Ooh, how does this work? Ooh, oh, I thought it was gonna push me off. I didn't like that. No, oh my gosh, I can't believe I just made that mistake. That was the most obvious thing to not do when I did it. So I'm back to being Peachette. We're not gonna make any silly mistakes. This, is, this time, just, you know, timing. Correct and functional timing. Why functional? Why not? <laughs> okay, so we can just glide across to, whoa, whoa, be careful. <laughs> I don't know why I'm such a wreck all of a sudden, but I certainly am. So I know for a fact, we can just get up this way super easy. And then what is over this way? Anything? Ooh, we got some coins. Was there like some kind of special way to get up here? I'm sort of curious. How far does this go? Ah, so yeah, you could have actually just skipped over all of this with the right power up. I mean, chances are you wouldn't have had it, but I mean, I did, I had P-Chat. I didn't even know about that, that's pretty cool. Okay, whoa, well, got it. I don't think we need whatever power up this is. I think I'm just gonna go with P-Chat. We'll try to go ahead and defeat the boss's P-Chat because you know, this has been as much of a Toadette showcase as a P-Chat showcase. I don't know how much more we'll play of Toadette after this part, because I want to showcase every character once and then mainly stick to Mario. I feel like that'll be a good idea. Anyways, we're getting there. Go ahead and go through this pipe. 
and take on Morton Koopa. <laughs> She's like nose dived. All right, Morton. Well, you got a big hammer. That's not fair. They don't get any kind of utility. Oh no. Whoa, I remember this. This is super cool. Yeah, we gotta dodge it. It's like a weird dodging game. I wonder, whoa, they go like different directions every time? How are you supposed to know? Oh, I was gonna try to use Peachette to try to like jump over them and just land on them, but I guess not. That is super duper weird. Like how are you supposed to know which way they go? I guess you gotta sort of just learn the pattern and be ready for it. Okay, try it again, buddy, see what happens. This time I'm ready for you. No, no, I guess I'm not ready for you. That's tough. Okay, dodging that one. Nice, and got him. So he's gonna be trying to show show up on the right side this time. I know he's gonna go that way, he's gonna go this way, and then he's gonna go back over here. Oh no, 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 wait, dang it, I got confused, I am so bad at this game. All right, so let's give this a shot again. I'm not gonna mess it up this time, I promise. I think I have a game plan going into it. So, go through the pipe. <laughs> I mean, maybe I don't, but what I want to do is try to jump over, like wall jump and then jump over. I should be fine, I mean, in theory. We'll try it, he's gonna slam with his hammer. Okay, so yeah, I mean, it's actually a lot taller than I had expected. Uh, Where am I, I'm right here. Boop, see, that's what I wanted to do. See, isn't that awesome? That's really cool. Keep going, got it, keep moving. And then he's gonna pop up on that side, which means I'm just gonna do the same thing again. And boom, before he can even hit one of them. Isn't that cool? <laughs> oh my gosh. Very nice, very nice, so keep moving. And he's gonna pop up on that side. And then flutter on over it, and boom, got him. Not even a problem this time. See ya, dude. See ya, Martin. Yeah, she seems very happy about that one. Okay, so over a million points and Morton Koopa defeated, which means we should have a desert cake, or layer cake desert. I dropped my controller, <laughs> fully completed. She is really showing Morton who's boss. And there he goes, he's gonna run away. I'm guessing he's gonna go and crash? Yeah. <laughs> Poor guy. All right, so awesome stuff. But have we gotten everything done? Yes, we have. Yahoo, you get all the star coins and layer cake desert. That's gotta mean something good, right? Oh, I sure hope so. So yeah, we're gonna save the game here. We are moving on to world three and along with it, trying out yet another character. Of course, we've tried Mario and Toadette slash Peachette. Now we're gonna be moving on to good old Luigi here. Of course, back down the five lives because of that, but I'm sure we'll be a-okay. So as you can see, we can either go up the Frosted Glacier, back to the left for Layer Cake Desert, or down for Sparkling Waters. I think for today's episode, we will do Sparkling Waters and see how things go. Here we are, Sparkling Waters. Looks very beautiful. There's Boom Boom, there's a bunch of Cheep Cheeps flip flopping around a baby Yoshi. And lastly, Larry Koopa, cool. So where does this lead? Okay, this is sort of like a teleport spot. Oh, that's interesting. I like that. So there we go, we're just gonna do Spark. Wait, yeah, I'm already here. I don't need to launch to somewhere I already am. Or will I? <laughs> what, what a flight. All right, so let's head into Sparkling Waters 1, Water Spout Beach. And hope everything turns out okay here as Luigi. I can only hope, right? So we'll do what we can. And of course, it was a ghost house, so that should be our first ever ghost house in this game. That'll be really exciting. Um, and Luigi should actually control a little bit different than Mario. He should have a higher jump. So that'll be interesting, for sure. I don't know if he's maybe a little slower than Mario. I mean, I think he has a higher jump. He definitely does in uh, New Super Luigi U. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he doesn't have a higher jump here. It's sort of hard to tell. <laughs> But anyways, we'll just give it our best shot and see what ends up happening. I mean, it's just really cool to be able to play as a different character that isn't Mario in single player New Super Mario Bros. I mean, I know, like I said before, in New Super Mario Bros. DS, you could definitely play as Luigi. I can't remember if you could play with him in New Super Mario Bros. 2, but maybe you could. Anyways, I threw that the wrong way. Gotta be careful, these crab dudes are not very fun to deal with, but I'll do what I can. I'll throw him, once again, throw him the wrong way. And now we can jump off the little balls they throw. What do we wanna do here? I think we just wanna wait and go. Not bad, actually, good throw right there. Uh, okay, so I like that. I'm gonna go ahead and try to grab some of these. You know what, I probably should've thrown the ice down. But it's fine, we got it. Pretty gosh darn good, we get ourselves a what up, and we're good. 
Whoa, 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 darn it. <laughs> that is not what I meant to do. Luigi definitely feels a little bit different to control. So, certainly something I have to get used to throughout today's episode, but it'll be well worth it. This is definitely something I can go into. No, really? Okay, if you say so. Oh, got it. That is another ice flower, which I will gladly throw over there. And I'll throw this over there as well. Oh, that is definitely something I can get into. So, oh, I can't freeze those? Well, now I know. I'm gonna go ahead and go down this pipe and maybe get to our third star coin. Oh, no, just a one-up. I'm a little worried about this. Oh, hopefully the giant fish don't show up, right? The giant fish that eat you in one gulp and they're always ridiculous? I suppose not, that's good. We do have to work hard to earn a lot of lives, so I might wanna be diligent with getting coins, because every time you switch to a new character, if you haven't played that character before, you do have to start over with their lives. We only have eight right now, so we got a lot of work to go if we wanna make sure that we're sort of safe from mistakes. Hmm. So go up like that, throw that there. Hey, hey, watch it, there we go. And do what we can with all this. Got it. Booty slam onto him. That was really good. Nothing over this way. Just trying to look around for any kind of hidden little areas. Because we're still missing one star coin, and I feel like we're getting to the end of this level soon, so. Probably something with this power block, actually. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is, got it. Don't wanna, I wanna make sure that doesn't sink. So there we go, all three star coins have been obtained, which means we can move out of here. Look at that, easy peasy, so we're good. Oh, and look at that, we ended with the clock on 188, so we should get an extra power up for that one. <laughs> Luigi, phew, made it. Glad he is relieved. Oh, hello, Toad. What do you got for us? Thanks a million for your help. Here, take this. We get a star. Hey, not bad, I'll take it. So with that being done, might as well just keep moving forward. See what else we can run into. Looks like we got quite a lot in front of us, starting with, uh, the second level of this world. I like how we had like a bit of a repeating pattern there with the items. It's like star crown, star crown. Wish that mushroom wasn't there. I could waste it right now. Oh, I can't use it, Never mind. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so determined to get the pattern. Anyways, sparkling waters to tropical refresher. Let's go for it. Hopefully it is actually refreshing and not deflating or something. Because it might be if it's tough. This is a nice little area. Oh, this is definitely a little thing. Got it, some easy coins. Whoa, look at our score. We have exactly 1,100,000 points. Pretty cool. Oh no. This does not seem refreshing so far, I gotta be honest. So the ice power up actually isn't too helpful here because these guys will eventually break out of that ice. So a fire flower is a lot more of what I'm talking about here. Can I go up this way? No, there's like a ceiling. Lots of coins hanging out, but they're sort of going away. Oh, I don't trust that, it's trying to bring me down. I do feel like there's an area that tries to bring you down though and it brings you to a star coin. Is that here? I don't think so. So we have no baby Yoshi to break us out of this one. We're gonna have to be very careful we don't want to run into bloopers. So, not really looking forward to that too much right now. Got it, got it. Nothing else going on over that way. I, I like how you can see some cheap cheap in the background as well. That, that's actually a really cool touch. Get rid of this dude, got him. No like power ups to find down there. That yellow pipe might have something. Got it. I'm trying to just get rid of these guys. Oh, you're protecting the star coin. I see that. Come on, get rid of them. And got it. Star coin number one. So we haven't missed anything yet. Uh, that's a relief. Oh, that was scary. That was really close. But I still want to check this yellow pipe because there's a yellow pipe over here. So maybe one of them's an entrance. One of them's an exit. You never know until you try. So we're gonna head down this way. Uh, it pushes us down and gives us some coins. That's, that's sort of weird, but I like it. Give me those, and we're good. Keep moving forward this way. So there's like an upper path and a lower path. If they're all like little switches, weird. Okay, I got this, come on. Very good, I'm trying to just get as many coins as possible. I can't get rid of those big dudes out. So we still have plenty to worry about. I wish that getting these guys, if you got enough of them, would like get you a one-up or something, but I guess it doesn't. So I'm just trying to get the ones that aren't too risky, you know? I don't wanna try to get coins that are just gonna get me hit when I really don't need to get hit right now. What about this one? Is this one a switch? You bet it is. Gets me plenty of coins if I don't miss them. Got him. Good job, Luigi. I feel like he's a better swimmer than Mario, but that not, might not be the case. Oh, look at all these. 
Nice, okay, I'll grab them. It's just the first couple levels. I have to be really attentive to getting as many coins as I can. There we go. That way, if we do run into some tough stuff later on, I won't be too stuck with it. Here's another one of these. I don't trust it. I feel like there might be... No, nope. okay. I swear, maybe it's not this game, but there's been a new Super Mario Bros. game where there's been a down current just like that, and if you ride it downwards, you get into a secret area. So it's like, that's a little weird that they would do it that way. No, I wanted to get a power up. Oh no. Oh well, it's fine. Get back into it. I mean, I just got the checkpoint, so I figured it was a good time to try that. I feel like I wasn't all that wrong. Oh gosh, ooh, ooh, scary. So that second star coin has to be around here soon. Oh boy, dodge this guy. Oh, you know what? It is definitely under here. Or is it? Well, there's coins falling, but are any of these star coins? I don't think so. Like, I would love to get them, but, oh, there it is, 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 there it is. Oh, I got it! Star coin number two is gotten! Very good. But what about this pipe? Oh, I don't trust this. I don't trust this one bit. Yeah, okay, we got it. This has to be something good. Maybe even star coin number three. Maybe it's behind that big dude. Do we get a star? Oh, you bet we do. Okay, got him, got him. No star coin though, that's a shame. But we can keep moving, and maybe we'll be able to find it a bit more easily with this. Come on, get that guy. Get these dudes, can we get a one up? Come on, ah, oh, not quite a one up. We we'll need a little bit more, I needed to get rid of that other big dude. Hard to move fast under the water. If we can get the penguin suit soon, which is in this game, it's just not very common. But we can get that soon, things might turn out well. So what about this pipe? This is definitely another one. Hopefully offering up. Oh no, no. I remember this. If you don't have the star, which is, oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to get a power up somewhere and then just get hit and get it because there's no other way I really can, is there? I don't even know if that's gonna work out. Okay, well here's my mushroom, so my one and only chance to make this work, so don't get hit by the cheap cheeps. Or this guy. Perfect, so what I have to do, and this might not even work, but I'm pretty sure it's what we gotta do. We'll find out. Keep falling, grab the star coin, and then go up super fast. No, it didn't work! The invincibility doesn't last long enough. I have to use that star then, that's really tough. Oh, that's it. I totally forgot that was a thing in Mario games. So if you have a star and hit a question block with the star, you end up getting a second star. So like while the star power is activated, I forgot about that. That's all I needed that entire time. So I got it now. We got a couple one-ups out of it too, which is good because I needed those one-ups back. And now it can go and complete the level. I'm just a dingus. It was all my fault. Don't, don't blame the game. It was me. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so I did it this time, that's good. Let's go ahead and do the uh, one-up hut, because definitely Luigi could use a couple of extra lives. So if we could get like four or five here, that'd be perfect. We're pretty used to this mini game now. You just gotta jump, grab the one-ups, avoid the Bowsers, and hopefully everything turns out okay. Maybe even grab a couple coins along the way as well. That'd be useful. See if we, oh gosh. All right, already doing not so well. I'm at zero. Come on, let's try this again. Ready, got it. And got it, that was good, now we're up to two. And three and four. Nice, I avoided that last Bowser one. Got it, that's five right there. So if we can just grab a couple more one-ups. No, I no, it was gonna be a new high score. Wait, okay, at least it was back to five, I think. Could have been six, that would have been my newest new high score, but we got in total seven, but then I got two Bowsers. All right, well that's good. That's still pretty good. We got Luigi all the way up to 17 lives, pretty good. Okay. So now that we've done that, we're gonna keep moving forward and head into this one. This is Sparkling Water's Castle, or Tower actually. Giant Skewer Tower with Boom Boom at the top. It's only been Boom Boom recently. I honestly thought there were some towers that didn't have Boom Boom. Maybe I'm wrong? I don't know. I wish Pom Pom was in this game. I'm pretty sure she's not. That would've been really cool. Oh, yeah, the giant skewers, what do you know? These things are usually quite tough. Whenever you see these things in a tower or in a castle, you know that level just stepped up a notch. It's gonna be a lot more difficult. So we got like an ice power up over there I might grab. First, I'm just checking things out, seeing where I might be able to find some stuff. Just check the corners and such. Okay, nothing over that way. What about over here? Uh, I'm not sure, nope. Because I don't think there's any particular secret exits in this world. There's just the uh, ghost mansion secret exit. I think that's the only one. So this might be very dangerous. 
But I think that, yeah, look at this. See, it was dangerous, but worth doing. We'll check the other one as well. That will bound to be having something, right? Okay, wait here. And as soon as we can, move, move, move. There's at least a little place to hide so that we can wait for this to do its thing, because there's nothing here. Yeah. Oh, there's, yeah, there's blocks here. Oh, duck and cover. That is really scary. I don't like it. Okay, keep going up, keep going up. Good job, Luigi. And to the right, there's not much. What about to the left? Hmm, nothing, but there is like something. Oh, then maybe, before I continue on, this is really risky. Yeah, look at that. Well, did that really get me anything? I guess not, <laughs> weird. Oh, well, there's a red coin thing, I guess. I mean, not really what I was looking for. Oh, okay, this is a star coin right here. This might just be what I need. So I might be searching all that other stuff for nothing and risking everything. There we go, star coin number two. Pretty good, look at all these coins, they're all so happy for me. So we get another ice flower, which I suppose I'll just leave here in the case that, oh, there's no way I'm, I'm gonna be able to get it now. Oh gosh, oh no, no, ah, come on! Luigi's head's a little taller than Mario's, so he wasn't able to get away there. That stinks. Okay, get up here. Oh, this is tough, but you might notice that there is a platform down this way. And does that have anything really? Besides these bricks? Oh, that's not really what I meant to do. Not what I had intended at the least. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> Very odd that it even has it like that. Could there be anything in here? There could be, but it doesn't look like it. Okay, yeah, let, it, let that do its thing, do its thing. And we got a one up, which cool, but I don't know. Oh, 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 what is this? Looks like we got ourselves a secret pipe. If it could be star coin number three, that'd be very good. Okay, well it just turns all this stuff into coins. Let me get a power up like this, and then I'll get up there and we'll start doing some stuff. Got it. Got rid of that dude, pretty good. One of these has to be a power up, right? There it is, acorn suit would be really cool to get. And what about in here? Nothing. So yeah, an acorn suit and a tower. No, 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 don't lose it, don't lose it. <laughs> I wanna keep this, you know. I feel like I'm playing worse today than I was last episode. So let me try to get nothing over there, okay. Had to make sure there are secrets everywhere. Okay, there's the last star coin, and there goes my Raccoon suit. No! Oh, come on, I'm jumping too high. <laughs> Luigi's too good of a jumper. Okay, this is a bit risky. Oh, no, 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 come on. Why didn't I just duck and cover? I thought that there was no room to do so. That was really silly of me, I'm sorry. Okay, so I ended up getting an extra power up and it's been helping out a lot, so I really don't mind doing it. I have not been playing very well with Luigi. I, I don't know what it is. I guess maybe it really might be his higher jump that's been messing me up, because I'm pretty sure it is a higher jump. It definitely is in other games where you can play as Luigi. And is there any power-ups over here? There's gotta be something. That seems weird that there's a big open gap, but I didn't find anything. It's fine, I have the acorn suit, we'll be okay. We just gotta go and deal with this boss. So. There's Kamek, there's a boom boom. Last time he learned a new power, what is he gonna learn this time? Look at Luigi with his dukes up, he's ready to go. He's like, bring it on, boom boom. Oh, he can jump now, so can we. I mean, luckily we can handle that pretty well. He's gonna get back up, and then I'm just gonna immediately hit him again. I sort of feel bad doing that, but if it works, oh no, I jumped too soon that time. That's fine, we got him. <laughs> this is the first time I've taken any damage from boom boom, I think. All right, well, it was a struggle, but we got it done with Luigi, which is the most important thing. And we're gonna keep moving forward. So, let's see what's going on now. So we can either go to the thing, or that's all we can go to. I thought that was gonna open up a path to the right. Oh no, here we go again. Kamek isn't happy that we beat up Boom Boom, so he's making that storm even worse. We can't even see the castle anymore. It's a tornado. Poor Princess Peach, we gotta help her. <laughs> Bowser evilly cackling. All right, yeah, we'll definitely save, and then we'll move on to the next level, which is gonna be right here. It is the haunted boat, the sparkling water's ghost house, sort of, haunted shipwreck. This is gonna be cool. Awesome, I remember we were on a haunted ship, was I think Super Mario World. 
So this is gonna be super cool. I'll try my best to find all the star coins on the first try and then get to the secret exit afterwards. Are you really gonna be throwing stuff at me here, sir? I don't like it. Okay, so it seems like there's gonna be lots of tricky stuff around here. Oh, oh, okay, I can just go this way. Grab that and I'll be back for you soon enough. I wanted to make sure I'm not missing anything over here first. Cause these things sort of circle around. Get up like that, perfect. And, ooh, already a door. It's a fake one, but a door nonetheless. I mean, I guess it's not a door at that point if it's not real. Anyways, going this way. Oh, there's nothing else over here, okay. Had to make sure. So I need to ride this back up, but yeah. Like most ghost houses, or at least ghost levels, this has a secret exit that we need to find. Oh, there's a one-up, can I get to that? No, it's gone, it's, it's most definitely gone. Oh well, I tried. What about under here? Nothing? All right. Ooh, watch out for that boo. Oh boy. I'm okay, I'm okay. Nothing on this side either. Trying to be very diligent. I love that the poles return. These poles were in New Super Mario Bros. Wii, I think. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Definitely a secret down this way. Oh, no, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. I gotta get the star coin. How do I get to it? That's not right. There's gotta be a way in there. If not from here, then from where? Maybe I could just go up and loop around. And then, you slide down like this, and then, there it is. Okay, can you move a little bit? Thank you. Oh, a little too close for comfort, buddy. There's our first star coin, awesome stuff. Nothing over this way, so I think we're gonna get through this door. I can only hope, right? And let's see what's going on. Uh, anything in the corner? Not really looking like it. Ooh, be careful. Yeah, let them separate a little bit. I love all their silly expressions. That's straight out of Super Mario World. Whoop. Can I go through these? I cannot. You gotta like check literally every surface when it comes to these kind of levels. Because you never know which one, ow, is gonna have something you're looking for. There's a star coin over there. Oh, come on. Now I'm down to nothing. This is bad. Gosh darn it. <laughs> come on. Okay, so I'm doing it a little bit better. I don't wanna to speak too soon. Don't wanna to speak too soon for sure, but there's star coin number two. So I am struggling to push forward. I'm gonna sort of go down the side of this one and see if there's any openings. There's not, so let's fly back up. Swim back up, what am I talking about flying? We don't have the acorn suit. <laughs> All right, so with that done, I'm gonna keep moving forward with this one. This room seems like it could be a bit more manageable. Oh, there it is, star coin number three. <laughs> All right, so I'm sure there are some secrets laying around here, but I'm not as worried about those. We can find the secret exit later. I'm just trying to find out how I actually get out of here. This is another fire flower. I guess I'll take it, because it was sort of in my way to move forward this way. I think we're probably near the end. This is so confusing. Here, come this way. Whoop, thank you. Oh, that was fake. Come on, ow, oh, you stinker, I was gonna jump over you. Ah, oh, the game pulling tricks on me. Getting rid of my fire flower. Ooh, it's not being nice today. So what is this way? It has to be the exit. So that's probably the secret exit, probably somewhere else in that maze room. Have to keep an eye out for it. Oh, this is such a cool background. I like this one a lot. Oh no, <laughs> come on. I gotta be able to do that right. Let's try that again, maybe. Ooh, so one. No, come on, it's, it's, it's a lot harder than it looks, okay? Luigi's a lot to get used to. Oh my gosh, if I don't do it this time, I'll just go and end the level. There we go. That beautiful triple jump is gonna get us the course clear. He made it. So now we gotta do the level again, but try to find that secret exit. Hopefully that won't be too much work, but you never know. This has been a really tough world so far. And, ooh, nice. This is opening up. There's baby Yoshi. And let's hop back in, try to find that secret exit. Okay, so it looked like there was a little bit of an opening over there in the ceiling. Let's try to get back over there. Like, yeah, like, maybe here? Uh, not quite. There's definitely something around here. I don't know what it is, but I have a feeling, oh, maybe here? Oh, oh, come on, there's a ghost in the way. But that's definitely gonna be something. If I get taken out by a boo and I have to do this over again, I will not be happy. Maybe this is, um, Okay, never mind. 
No, no, no. This is where I'm normally supposed to go. This is so confusing, because there's it's so hard to tell where I'm supposed to go, where I'm not. Can I get a power up here? Because I'd really appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, so I got that. So this is where we're normally supposed to go. Come on, boo, this guy stinks right now. He uses all up in my business. It has to be somewhere, I know it is. I just gotta figure out where. Everything looks the same. Oh, here we go, this might be something. Uh, jump for it. Oh, come on, I know I can make that jump, I just did, I just, oh, game. Come on, why can't I make it anymore, what the heck? <laughs> this is driving me nuts. Oh my gosh, I can't make it. What happened? <laughs> Luigi, come on. Oh, that is super tough. You gotta like, right at the tip of your jump. Makes me think this isn't actually the way to do it. I am so confused right now, I gotta be honest. Having Luigi be bigger though would definitely help. So Boo, if you could just please move it, dude. I know I can do it, he just barely touches it. There it is, see, was that so tough? Oh my gosh. What the, what was with that jump? Is it so tough to make? Okay, definitely grabbing these coins because I need more lives as Luigi as soon as possible. I mean, I got 20 of them, so I guess I'm fine. But this definitely is the secret exit. No doubt about it. We're going up this red pipe. And yeah, looking like oh, it's all foggy and misty and mysterious. Oh, there's more than one crash ship. Spooky. Is there like invisible blocks somewhere? Most likely. Oh well. One. To, oh, I was trying to, for the triple jump. I don't know, didn't work, it's fine. Secret exit found, yeah. <laughs> Luigi going, oh, secret, shh. I like that. He's so much more like fun than Mario. And so he's like, Mario's fun, don't get me wrong, he's very fun. Luigi's different in such a refreshing way. So the mass of the ship falls down and a whole bunch of debris pops up and that's gonna lead somewhere. I love the secret exits, they're so satisfying because they have like this whole cool looking path to them. Okay, so now that we've done that, we got tons of things to check out. I think we wanna go this way for now. Try to snag that baby Yoshi friend. Hey baby Yoshi, how you doing? And can we, I guess we can't do anything there. I wanna try getting these cheap cheeps with the baby Yoshi and see what ends up happening because these guys will give us power so if we do this correctly, I can really use some power up, so. There we go, that's pretty good so far. Oh, we can get a star here too. So this actually might not be so bad. Whoa, whoa, baby Yoshi, baby Yoshi, baby Yoshi. Come on, oh, you just sort of float in the water. Okay, that's not too big of a deal then. There we go, we got them all, that's pretty good. And we get a peach at crown. <laughs> He's like, I don't want a peach at crown, I'm out of here. Ah, that's not good. I, I, I like those, but I need to be playing as Toadette to use it. That's sort of the biggest complaint I have. I don't think you should be able to get peach at crowns if you're playing as a character that is not peach at. Cause like then it's just like, that could have been a power up I could have used and I really do need more power ups. There we go. We're gonna try taking this one on as well to see if we can't get some more stuff. And do have to be careful. Once again, I don't wanna lose the baby Yoshi. I also don't want to get hurt if I don't have to. There we go. And boom, what do we get? Oh nice, a propeller cap. I forgot those were even in this game. That's exciting. Oh, I can't wait to use that. I don't know when I should, but I definitely should at some point. Okay, so propeller cap is mine. Very nice. We're gonna figure out what level we're going to next. I think it's just Sparkling Waters 3. Yep, here it is, Sparkling Waters 3, above the cheap, cheap seas. Some more cheap, cheaps coming in at us. This has been a long episode for me. Like, I don't think it's gonna be as long as you guys, because I'll be cutting out all the fails, of course, but it's already like over 40 minutes for me. Like, isn't that crazy? Lots of work going into this one. And we're just going up this way. Oh, so it's like waterfalls with cheap cheeps in them. That so, sounds both cool and scary. Is there gonna actually be a Yoshi in this level then? There is, little Yoshi and big Yoshi combined to be double Yoshi. So there's no way, no, 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 I can't lose both of them at once. They're my special boys. There we go. Um, whoa, watch it. I don't know how we're gonna make this work. Why did they give you a baby Yoshi right before all of this? Okay, I'm not gonna be able to get that one. That one's gone. So like, hmm. Yeah, no, uh, no, 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 no. Why do you have to run that way? Oh, that was baloney. Come on, game, you're so tough today. I don't know what's with the game today being so, super duper difficult, like more than usual, I feel. <laughs> okay, get this, that's nothing. Gotta be some more stuff around here soon, right? Boing, bouncing off of that. Oh, that's a P-switch. I wanted to hope, I was hoping for a power up first, but nope, it's just a P-switch. I mean, I'll take, oh, come on. 
I am not a fan of World 3 so far. I mean, I guess it's technically not World 3 because the ice area could have been World 3 as well. But you know what? I'm kind of calling it World 3. Okay? Okay. There we go. I get another Yoshi. Hopefully this one turns out a little bit better. We are going to grab this. Okay, I'm definitely gonna get that and hope that no cheap cheeps really get in my way too much. Get rid of him. Go this way. You can't grab the star coin with your tongue, unfortunately. Still no power-ups. Grabbing this, grabbing those. I wanna grab them like this real fast, just so that, oh, no, 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 no! I should've just moved to the left, I could've gotten on the water. I'm the worst Mario player today. I'm, I'm the worst Luigi player, I suppose. Oh my gosh. Yoshi, come back. Okay, I got him, I missed out on the green coins. That's fine, I don't care right now. Cheap cheeps are the worst. Oh, got it. Just gotta be very careful with everything else is all. So I got that there. I don't know where this next set, not this last set, but this final star coin. I don't know where it is. Just gotta be careful. Oh boy, got it, got it. Is that a full set? Uh, no it's not, okay. <laughs> oh, I do remember this. Yeah, there's a tough jump here that is made even more difficult by unpredictable cheap cheeps. They jump out at random times. What the heck is that? Why is this world so much more difficult in just the weirdest ways? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna take, I don't wanna take the propeller cap. I really don't. I didn't mean to take that. I was trying to back out. Ah, oh, <laughs> everything is difficult. Okay, so I'm gonna try this out as well as I can. I'm sorry, Yoshi, I'm so sorry, but I had to do that. I know the star coin is down here, right? Don't tell me the star coin is not down here. Don't tell me I abandoned Yoshi for nothing. No, 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 hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. That's also not what I meant to do. Who, uh, ah, I did it! There we go. Who, I honestly feel like Luigi is so much more difficult to play. Like this is the unannounced hard mode. I mean, maybe it's just because I've been playing as all the other characters that I'm just so used to them. This is really tough because the cheap cheeps are so random, and when you add a, like a point of unpredictability, it makes everything complicated, but we got the level done. I can breathe easy. <sighs> Let's go and get the fourth level done. Yeah, phew, that's how I feel, Luigi. It's really hard to keep up with lives with him. I mean, at this point with Toadette, we had like 35 plus lives, you know? So it, it's not easy. But we're gonna move to the left. We're gonna move down and do the fourth level, then the fifth level, and that should be much better. So yeah, let's try this out. It is Sparkling Waters for Urchin Shoals. That's a that's like a weird tongue twister. Urchin Shoals, Urchin Shoals. It's like a ch and a sh. That makes it confusing. Okay. So let's wait for this and get this guy. Oh, oh, already finding secrets, cool. Oh, I love the look of this area with like the overgrown grass on the stone and stuff. That actually looks really cool. I was hoping that would actually hit those guys, but I suppose it won't. I mean, I might here, because yeah, the, the the turtle shells don't travel across the water, unfortunately. It'd be cool if they did, but they don't. What about down here? What do we got? I mean, I should probably just go down this way, shouldn't I? Simple enough. Oh, you know what? Oh, and this is Mini Mario? Hmm. Oh, wow. Walking right down the wall like that's a little weird. But there's Star Queen number one. And then we can just keep running and right into this pipe. That is so bizarre. <laughs> Okay, so what do we got here? Just keep running to the right. I haven't done anything except for run to the right since I got mini Luigi. Isn't that weird? <laughs> there we go, I had to actually put a different input in. It was going down the pipe. Weird stuff, right? Unheard of going down pipes. It goes sideways into them, walking up waterfalls. So I don't know where this last one is. I can only hope it's not under the water because that would make things a bit more complicated for our buddy here. Okay, there's the halfway point. I suppose I will get it. Oh, they changed that. Usually getting the halfway point as a mini character would make it so that they become normal size once more, which makes me concerned maybe I shouldn't have become normal size again. Oh, I could have definitely, oh, that doesn't do anything, Never mind. So I could have definitely done something there. I don't know what I do here. Is there like a secret? Um. I definitely can go into that pipe over here then? And if I can find a way to, oh, I gotcha. Okay, let that all raise again. You gotta sort of time it correctly, and I did, and we get a one up out of it. That's pretty good. Go through this pipe and let's see what we get. We get ourselves star coin. We just gotta time this 
decently. And we got it. So there we go, there's all three star coins for this level. Definitely not as tough of a level. I can just say that right now without a doubt. Definitely not as tough of a level. What is down here though? Got some mystery coins. I guess if we were still mini Mario, which would have made that last star coin a bit more tough. So I'm glad we aren't. Yeah, I'll just wait up here for a second. And then, whoa, whoa, gotta be careful. Oh, let's get these red coins. Uh, maybe not, there's somebody in the way. Excuse me, sir, I got places to be and you're not really helping. Yeah, there's no way I can get it because these guys take too long. They're too slow. <laughs> oh, wow. Whoa, whoa, moving fast, Luigi. Ah, not quite a one-up. That's fine. We'll get a one-up next level because I'm at 99 coins. Yeah, that one was definitely easier, so it's fine. I'm happy to have gotten it done. So. Now we're gonna do Sparkling Waters 5, and then we'll go all the way back and do the special Sparkling Water level. That'll be fun. But for now, as you can see, we've got Sparkling Waters 5, Dragon Eels Undersea Grotto. Interesting. This'll be fun to check out. Dragon Eel, what's a Dragon Eel? I don't know. Guess we'll find out. Let's pop down this pipe. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, so what do we got going on down here? There's like some, there's both water and quicksand. Isn't that great? So we'll get a fire flower, which I already had. These guys sort of avoid you in an interesting way. No, how did how did I get hit by them there? That was weird. I feel like Luigi has a bigger hitbox as well, which, I mean, makes sense. He is the taller brother, but makes it just a little bit more. Oh gosh, that's a dragon eel. Okay, okay, gotta keep moving because I don't think he's gonna get taken out by no pesky fire flower. Oh, he can get sped up though. Huh, that's interesting. I don't know how I feel about all that. Can I go down any of these pipes? I could definitely get a lot of coins here. If Mr. Dragon Eel leaves me alone. Please do, sir. Oh, now it's just slowing him down. I guess if I hit him right in the face, it slows him down. Oh, come on. It's hard to press the button and swim at the same time. Gotta be honest. Grab this for as long as I can and then get out of here. Get, get, go, go, leave me alone. He's trying to eat me. I don't want to be eaten. Gosh darn it. <laughs> oh no. Uh. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Keep going this way. Ooh, here we go. Wait, 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 wait. hold on. Leave my fire flower alone. It hasn't done anything to you, Mr. Dragon Eel. Yeah, I get it, he's like a dragon and an eel. Haha, <laughs> I don't know why it took me so long to pick that up. Whoa, 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 hold on. Get him out of here, right now. Be gone. Very good. So I have two out of the three star coins. And lots more left to get. <laughs> I mean, only one more star coin. But lots more level left to complete. I'm not very good at talking today, I'm sorry. Yeah, let's try to confuse him a little bit and see if I can't get these. There we go, and I got it. Not bad, one up for us. Perfect. And I probably have to go down that red pipe. If I have to assume anything, it's gonna be down. And I can go down it, but is it? Yes, it is. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab this real fast. There's two dragon nails. There's, oh, okay, well, they're sort of blue. Huh, interesting. Guess there's more than one type of dragon eel. I don't care, though. I'm just trying to keep moving forward. I got all the star coins I needed. So if I could just get out of this level now, that would be fantastic. Oh gosh, oh gosh. We gotta see these dudes to make our way through. And he is hot on our heels. Get him out of here. He's like, ow! I know, that's sort of rude for me to do, right? Hit you in the face with a fireball. You know what's also rude? You trying to have me as lunch. So please refrain, sir. Ah, oh, I was supposed to triple jump after out of that. But it's sort of weird how they make that happen. Like, he, the triple jump doesn't work that way. So I don't know why they set it up like that. Anyways, we got it done. And as you can see, we have uh, opened it up to the castle. So we'll go ahead and get some extra power-ups and we'll try out the special level before we deal with Larry here. But I'm glad we finally made enough progress so that we can get to this point. It felt like it took forever. Man, this has been a tough world. So we got this Baby Yoshi thing again. So just like last time, we need to be able to get the, the toad first because if we get, there's two things I'm trying to pay attention to here. No, I didn't want to put that one there. Okay, put that there. And then one of these two is a times two. I can only hope it's that one. And then either we get a times two mushroom or a times two flower, I don't care. Uh, only... 
It, it's fine, it's fine. We got the times one mushroom. That's still something, you know? So I'll gladly take that. And we'll keep moving forward. So there we go, one more mushroom to our arsenal of different items. I'm gonna march all the way back to the special level. Now all the all the cheap cheeps are back, for better or for worse, I suppose. Okay, just dodge them for now. And then we're gonna go down this way and tackle the special level. It'll be pretty cool if you ask me. I love this, this is so cool. Just running over all these different obstacles, just hopping around. And what is this? This is Sparkling Water's Leaf Skyward Stalk. This is interesting. I think I actually remember this level. This one I think stands out in my memory. Oh, I think so, you gotta climb up the cool thing. That's a really fun idea. Oh, and the level, oh not the levels, the leaves end up actually, I guess, falling off. Because I guess it's like autumn time. I like that idea, that's fun. There's another acorn just in case I needed it. Luckily I did not. Anything over there? Not quite. And then there's also these like little branches that roll in and out. I don't know if they ever break. It doesn't look like it. Okay, just gotta be careful. Got it, and got it. There's eight of them right there, and that's 25 lives in total. No star coins yet, which is a tad bit concerning, but I'm sure if we keep moving. Okay, there's one. No, excuse me, Mr. Squirrel. I got places to be. I probably want this, the the uh, thing to catch up a little bit. What is with the Goombas on balloons? <laughs> Balloombas. <laughs> I've never seen that before, that's cute. At least I don't remember seeing it. Okay, grab all these coins, and what's up here? Nothing? Nothing. All right. Oh, that's a one up, that's a one up. Yeah, I got it, cool. That's 26 lives. So Luigi definitely has been a lot more of a difficulty for me to play, but I have been enjoying myself nonetheless. It's just been challenging as well, and stressful, which might make you think that I'm not having fun, but I am. And that's just what, you know, what games are all about, is surpassing challenges no matter how tough they may be. Okay, here's star coin number two. Right? No, there was, no, wait, what did I miss out on? Oh no. No, wait, where's, where is it? <laughs> I thought I was being quite diligent, but apparently, that's a load of baloney. I gotta look through this level again then. That's such a shame. I mean, beyond that, it was quite easy. Refreshingly so, almost. So where in the world could that final star coin be? It must just be in like a little hidden area where there's a pipe or something. Can't believe I messed that up. I stink. Yeah, he made it. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. Oh, hey, oh yeah, that's right. I, I finished it with a little extra. We'll probably get a star out of this. Let's hope. Oh, we get a mini mushroom. That's uncommon. Pretty cool. And it's pretty cool seeing Luigi in the uh, acorn suit. I don't know how, we haven't seen that too much, so that's always good to see. Anyways, keep moving with that. And where will that lead? Oh, you go up the tree, across the clouds, over the rainbow and all the way near the train tracks into the stone world. How cool is that? You know, just like all these other cool paths. We might, we're gonna have to run through them again to check them all out at the end of the series, like once we have everything opened up. But for right now, we'll save, we'll head back into that level, and hopefully everything will turn out okay. Oh, it was just right there in the clouds? Oh, okay, well, we got it. <laughs> it's pretty good. I, I guess I just really missed that. I don't know how I missed that. Oh, I feel so silly now. Okay, so there we go. We got that. No, no, turn around, Luigi. That's it. <laughs> we gotta save that for later. Don't want to spoil us now. So now that we've gotten that done, we are all set, as far as I can tell. We can always pause the game once we get there to check out um, the castle, but let me see. Pause the game real fast, take a look at our star coins, and that looks like it's the case. So let us move forward, go up this way, and we should be good to go. Larry Koopa, you're going down as we enter Sparkly, Sparkly Water's castle, Larry's Torpedo Castle. So I guess it looks like we're probably gonna go against some Torpedo Teds here. That might be fun, it might not be fun. We'll find out. Yep, I see them down there, there those are Torpedo Teds. Let's go ahead and grab this. It's always just good to have a nice flower. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, never mind then. Maybe it's not good to have a nice flower because I don't have one. I don't know what's with me making so many mistakes in this episode, but I really feel like, like some of this is the game being tough, and some of this is just me being silly. Oh, there's our first star coin. All right, I was hoping one of those would be a mushroom, neither of which were, but I do see a little extra something up here. That's just sort of a bit of a shortcut. That's appreciated. Let's go ahead and go through this pipe. 
And hopefully I can run into a power-up as we go into this awful underwater section. There we go. Give me that mushroom. Thank you. I'm gonna keep going. So I don't know when I'm gonna use that propeller cap that I got as an item in our item selection. I'm probably gonna save it until I feel like I really need it. It seems like it's gonna be the best choice because I honestly still like it a little bit better than I like the the scroll suit. I think it's a lot more controllable in the air. Then obviously you don't get as many chances to sort of save yourself if you're falling to your doom. But when it comes to actually getting up higher, it definitely helps a lot more. It's a lot about vertical movement in the air. Wow. Uh, the acorn seems to sacrifice some vertical movement for horizontal movement, which I'm not the biggest fan of. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is if that gets too close for comfort, we're just gonna freeze it. And it immediately breaks that frozenness, so I'm glad we didn't need that. That's scary. Okay, so this part's tough. There's a pipe up here, which I can only imagine is something good, right? Go for it. Is this star coin number three right next to star coin number two? Guess not, not, not quite. Okay. Uh, no, I missed one. <laughs> Darn it. Ooh, I thought I was gonna land on them for sure. We got it. And we can keep moving. So there are some red coins here that I'm not too enthused about the idea of grabbing them all just because I know I'm probably gonna mess it up, but I didn't, so you know what, look at me. Grab that right there, we're at 31 lives. Gotta be careful, gotta be careful. Nice. Okay, so things are going pretty well so far. I just don't like the fact that Torpedo Ted's go so much faster than we do. But we're still missing that third star coin, so my eyes gotta be peeled. I'm not letting that thing slip away in any kind of cloud of smoke, or, yeah, I guess that makes sense. A little cloud of smoke anywhere. Not happening. Can we go up here? Oh, we can, oh, look at that! <laughs> there we go. No hidden walls, no clouds of smoke, no nothing. Shielding me from getting that Star coin. <laughs> Wahoo! What's around here? Oh, we do have a fire flower, but to get it, I have to jump off of you. Nothing else up there? I suppose not. Okay, Larry, you're going down. I've got myself a power up. I got all three star coins. Luigi has taken some torment in this episode, but no longer. We're going on to your castle, or your castle, your, your airship, and we're taking you down. Okay, let's get to it. Oh, and down he goes. It'd be cool if each one had a mini airship level in it too. Like, that'd be really fun. Anyways, Larry Koopa, I'm taking you on. Dodging that, and just jumping on you. That was pretty good. See, I don't know how helpful the fire flower will actually be, but all this raising water definitely adds a bit of challenge. Whoa, watch it. Boing, just barely got him there. That was perfect. No, he got pushed up by the water. That does make it a bit tougher, doesn't it? Where am I? Oh, I got I was like way up there. Okay, so there he is. Oh, that is so weird. Come on, I got him. Took a lot more damage that time, but we finally took him down. Larry Koopa's defeated, and along with it, the Sparkling Waters world is also completed. A third one! Down and whatever, we, we took it down. <laughs> Okay, man, has it been a challenging episode? And it looks like Larry Koopa can't handle no more. He's riding off, oh, he's going down, watch out! Oof, that must hurt. Okay, but do we get the happy dance for completing everything? I sure hope so. Uh, yes we do! You got all the star coins and sparkling waters. Of course, that's a good thing. We are moving on with yet another world. As you can see here, it is the Frosted Glacier, according to this sign. Before we do that, I wanna showcase another character. Today, we'll be doing the Yellow Toad, because, of course, he's here. We haven't showcased him yet. We've done Mario, Toadette, and Luigi, so it only makes sense now to do Yellow Toad as we head into the Frosted Glacier. Boom Boom's waiting for us again. He never quits, does he? Uh, and then we also have a ghost house and Wendy Koopa in the cold area this time. That's usually uncommon. Anyways, we'll get, get to it and we'll do Frosted Glacier 1, Spinning Star Sky. That sounds pretty cool, so we'll get started with it. I love cold areas in Mario games, so this one's bound to be fun, I can only hope, right? Ah, oh, it's so pretty already. We had a little bit of a sneak peek at it on the special level of World 2, so yeah, this is gonna be pretty cool. Let me go ahead and throw that down there. 
and there was nothing there. Okay, can't get those coins now, that's fine. We do have to get as many coins as we can muster though, because as per usual, we start back at five lives when we change a character, which does make it a tad bit more difficult if you ask me. You know, like dying is a lot ow, bigger of a deal when you have five lives than if you have like 75. So that definitely makes it a, little, a bit more challenging. So in a little bit of weird ways, I'm having more of a challenging time playing the game now than I did the first time I've ever played it. And a lot of people were complaining because Toadette makes the game easier. So I don't know, I just find that very interesting. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and booty, oh no! Oh no indeed, did I make a big mistake? I mean, I would have had to use the acorn suit, so I've already done not so good. But now I've done really not so good, so, and I didn't jump. <laughs> okay, well, here's my second chance to amend all of that, whoops. Okay, so, let's try this all again. I was able to get that power up there. So I could, as long as you don't get hit, you're actually able to get everything quite easily. So there is, so I wonder what this is. If the star coin is up there, is this just a one up? Hold on, there's also stuff over this way. I guess you do sort of slide a little on the snow. Yeah, you definitely def like slide a little bit more. So is this like a secret exit? Or maybe this is just an easier way to get up here. Gotcha. But how would you have gotten up there without the Tanuki suit? And if you had the Tanuki suit, why would you have to use that? That's weird. I don't understand that one. But it's okay, we got some extra coins here and that's always good. Um, and I'll throw this that way. And woo Okay, well I won't be able to get that piranha plant now. It's fine, it's whatever. It was just a one-up that I desperately need. Oh look at these little uh, plant guys in the on the bottom there. You don't see those guys too often. It's pretty cool to see them here. Everything's so glowy because of the big star. I don't know, the area is beautiful. I can't get too bad of a mood in an area like this because this is so pretty. And we get another acorn. I probably should have held onto that for later. But hey, I'm making mistakes now. Oh no, oh no. Can't believe I actually got hit by that. <laughs> okay, get that and then get this one. Maybe I'll be able to fix this by getting another one. Oh no, no, no. Okay, I'm good, I'm good, got it. There we go, we get another one. Thank goodness. <laughs> I am really not that good at this game. Okay, get this one and throw that over there. Not bad, not bad. And what is gonna go on in here? We get another acorn. I should have just held on to it, man. Should have just not pressed that because that happens every time you turn around in a weird way there too. Did you see that? I don't know, I just feel like the game is just being peculiar today. I probably need to go down there for a star coin and now I don't have the, the cap or not the cap, <laughs> the squirrel suit. I don't know what I'm gonna do about that, because the end of the level is most definitely just over here, right? I'm almost certain. Let's check it out. We're gonna, we're gonna go down here and just like keep looking around. And end of the level. No, really? <laughs> what is wrong with me? Why can't I just complete the first level of any world without any issues? All right, so since I know that that is a thing, I'm gonna leave it, keep going this way, and see what else we can find. I mean, first off, definitely something over here. Is it a star coin, though? Oh, it's a star. That could be equally as helpful. Go, 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 go. Oh, this is cool. This is really cool. Come on, keep going. And got it. There we go. See, that's all I was looking for, is my wonderful, wonderful third star coin. And we got it. So there we go. It was already a challenge, but we got the first level done of World 4, and that's always a good thing to see. So with that being done, I don't think there's any secret exits to worry about except for the one in the ghost house. Looking at my list, it looks like that's the case. So we should be good. We definitely wanna get this baby Yoshi because baby Yoshis are the best ever, for, forever and always. I also really like Yellow Toad with the acorn suit on. Looks cool. Frosted Glaciers too, cool again fields. Let's try this out, see what ends up happening. I think it'll I think it'll be good. But I don't know. Usually the second levels of the worlds are a little bit better. I'm tempted to keep what I got. That might be a big mistake because the penguins can sometimes be turned into platforms, but as long as I have this extra flight, like maybe something good would happen. I'll have to wait and see. This might be a grave mistake. I almost have eight lives, so if I could grab as many coins as I can, that'd be good. So I don't have to lose any more lives than I already have. Okay, this is a bit of a risk. Oh, and there it goes. Oh, thank you, baby Yoshi, you're the best ever. I mean, I already knew that, but now I know it doubly so. Oh, you spit out little bubbles. So you don't do the same thing as the pink Yoshi. Got you. And with the bubbles, what can I do with them? I can jump off them. That is such an interesting idea. Okay. Anything under there doesn't look like it. Can I like put enemies in bubbles? Yes, you can, and it turns them into coins instantly. Oh, and power-ups. Okay. 
Uh, well, give me that, please and thank you. Whoa, and there it goes. Why do I make so many mistakes all the time? There we go. <laughs> uh, I love this game, it's wonderfully weird. Anything down there? I don't think so. So I'm just gonna keep going. Slide down this ice, and then, oh. You know what, let's just, no, Baby Yoshi, Baby Yoshi, no, no, I got you. don't worry, you're fine. That was scary. I just gotta keep running to the right. Don't let anything stop me. Oh no, ooh, maybe I should let that stop me. No, oh, why'd you let go of him, Toad? That was really risky, why'd you do that? I did not touch the button at all. Like, I mean, I've been just holding it down the whole time. Like, that's super weird. Oh no, why is it that every time I get a power up, I immediately lose it again? I gotta keep looking for the second star coin. I haven't seen anything. Hold on. No, oh, come on, can you please jump? Oh my gosh. Keep going, keep going, ready? Oh, good job eating that. I have a feeling we missed the second star coin, which is just wonderful. I don't know though, I might be wrong. Okay, so we can go up there. Yeah, eat him, get up this way. Grab that, a free power up. Oh, here we go. Let me just go ahead and put you down for a second and then accidentally not jump. Here. Go for it, go for it. And that's star coin number two. Never would have guessed. With how long it's been, you'd think it wouldn't have been. Okay. I love being able to jump off the bubbles. Like that's a fun little feature and it helps me get up the things a little bit more easily sometimes. I don't know why they got shot out that far. Come on. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Maybe not as useful as I thought. Boing. Come on. Really? No, no, no. Come on, let me get another penguin. And I'm going to jump. Dude, dude. What, what happened there? I both jumped off of him and ate him. Okay, baby Yoshi's starting to become more of a problem than he's worth because I don't know what to do about this. Ready, go, and boing. Oh my gosh, I'm the worst right now. I'm like seriously gonna mess this up. No, no, wait. Okay, I'm ready for this. Boing, I'm apparently not ready for it. Now do not fall. I'm starting to majorly run out of time here. We got 126 Mario seconds. Oh no, the ending was right here. Wow, <laughs> we made it, but it was not easy. We'll get the course clear and it looks like we'll be getting an item. The, the ice blue toad is a little odd looking with the blue and the yellow, but I'm sure that the uh, yellow, I mean, this is the yellow toad. So the blue toad with the ice probably looks like the inverse of this or something. Anyways, what do we get? We get a mushroom. I will gladly take it. So with that done, what are we gonna do now? Guess we'll have to wait and see. Well, it looks like we hit the tower already. That was actually pretty quick. I do wanna check out the penguins here though. Okay, so not enough room for this. I'm just going to, it's weird that it forces you to. I'm gonna put over a star. I don't think I need any more than two stars. Because like stars are a limited time thing, but the mushrooms, they last forever. Oh no, I missed it. Come on, I'm gonna get this penguin. One of these times, I'm gonna get the penguin. Now, dang it. <laughs> He's too too difficult to hit. <laughs> Ready? Now. Oh my gosh, there it is. I like how they have sunglasses. Sunglasses are cool. Okay, so I'm gonna pick you up. And this should be pretty easy. Got it. See, sometimes, most of the time, Baby Yoshi makes everything easy. I got another star again. What am I gonna do with this? I just put it over the other star. <laughs> Why did I think that? I don't know. I just wanted to showcase the penguins. I didn't care too much about the prize. I was hoping it wasn't going to be a star, but it ended up being a star. So just put that over the star. Yep. Because it's like I press B and nothing happens, so you have to put it over something, which is sort of funny. Why do you do it that way? Frosted Glacier Tower, Freezing Rain Tower. Let's get to it. Freezing Rain doesn't sound like a fun thing to deal with, but we gotta deal with it. Not with Baby Yoshi, though. He, he He's waiting outside. Yoshis don't like towers or castles or anything. Oh, icicles, Freezing Rain, I get it. Cool idea, but a scary one as well. I don't think I've missed anything yet. Trying to be as diligent as I can manage. So if this is a power up, it is. I'm gonna leave it for now. And hopefully, we'll be fine. Just keep moving forward. Oh, oh, that was weird. That was, okay, really weird. Whoa, this whole platform is moving. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, it's moving back. It's just sort of 
waggles. No star coins yet. It's a bit concerning. Usually you find one relatively early on. Oh, maybe over there. There's at least a red coin thing. Uh, oh, now I gotta get it. <laughs> if I don't get it, I'm gonna miss out. Oh no, I'd still miss out. There's no way. There's no way I'm gonna be able to get all that without getting hit and running out of time and not even getting anything for it. So I'm not gonna bother. Instead, I'm gonna move this way. So what's going on with all this? There's a star coin right there. Just gotta go and find out. Oh, look at us go, look at us go. Oh, oh no, ow. <laughs> Star coin number one, star coin number one. Cool. So I just gotta be careful here, is all. Which, I'm sure you've noticed, careful isn't exactly my forte at the moment. <laughs> okay, get up here and we're gonna keep going, Toad. But this game is so weird, because there's something about it. I Maybe mean, it's just because you know I've played all three of the other new Super Mario Bros. games last year, that like while I do enjoy the game and do think it's a good game, I just find it so easy to forget for some reason. Like all the levels, all the battles, all the things about it. There's just something that slips my mind about it quite often. I mean, I'm excited for New Super Luigi. I've never played that one, so I think that one's gonna be a bit more of a fun experience for me. I mean, not to say I'm not having fun here. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but, you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, I feel like that's sort of, because this is like, I think, the least popular New Super Mario Bros. game there is. Because a lot of them are really popular. And I mean, this one still sold like a couple of million on the Wii U, and I'm sure it's gonna sell a couple more here on the Switch. There we go. But it has been fun to play some good old Mario games again. And it does make me hopeful that maybe if this one does well, we'll see another new Super Mario Bros. game. I think a new Super Mario Bros. Switch could be fun if they really, well, switch it up, you know? Because I don't know, I feel like Odyssey really set the bar super high for Mario games again. Not to say that it was exactly low before. Ooh, look at that, getting some one-ups for it, but where is the final star coin? Hold on a moment. Star coin, where are you? Did I miss it? Did I really miss it? Oh no. Why do I always find a way to mess everything up? <laughs> Not good. Yeah, there's no way it's in the boss fight. I don't want to make any sense, so I just missed a star coin. That is super disappointing. I'm gonna have to play the whole level again. Oh well. Let's beat up Bam Bam or Boom Boom to get our frustrations out. That would help. Okay, got it. And he is going to get up and run at me, but not before I get the chance. Well, I guess he just got the ability to run it or jump again, just like he did with the previous world, weird. Oh, Toad is very happy about that. Toad wins, very good job. <laughs> this is new Super Toad U. Not Toad Bros, it's just Toad. <laughs> there we go. So I gotta go back in there, try to find the other Stark and wherever in the world it might be. Cause apparently I'm not very good at finding it. Oh, right here. All right, well, I found it. <laughs> now I gotta go and face the boss and hopefully Everything will turn out okay with it. I mean, I already did it, so I'm gonna go back to the overworld. I'll cut back to it now, so yeah. Okay, there we go. Level properly complete. Saved, awesome. So now that we've done that, we can move on to the next Frosted Glacier level, Frosted Glacier 3, Prickly Goombas. So if Goombas weren't worse enough when they weren't prickly, now they're prickly. <laughs> All right, we already got 15 lines with Toad though, so at least that's decent, and I can definitely eat you guys up, no problem. We still, you know, like Baby Yoshi at least, oh gosh, if I don't lose him here, Baby Yoshi, come back. Baby Yoshi, come back. Baby Yoshi, come back. Come back, Baby Yoshi. Blah, 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 blah. Got him, okay, we're fine, we're fine. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was gonna say, if we don't lose Baby Yoshi, he can pick up my spirits a little bit here. So let's try to make sure that happens. Can we turn these guys, oh, look at that. Oh, that's nice, it even turns them into power-ups sometimes. I mean, actually, we already knew that, didn't we? Yeah, we did. <laughs> well, I turned one of them into an acorn. So we'll just try to keep doing that, but these prickly Goombas, Nothing gets passed out, them. Sometimes it actually is harder to play with these guys. Come on, ready? Got him, oh, that's a fire flower. I want it, I want it. I don't know if I can get it. Ah, oh, you get back here, you get back here. Ah, oh, this is too late, it's going, it's gone. That stinks. This might be a power up. Oh, look we'll at that, another fire flower. Whoa, he got burnt. All right, you know what? Get that, and then I'm moving over this way. I am turning you into bubbles. Coins or whatever it is, I don't care. I just need it to not be a piranha plant. Really? 
Okay, Baby Yoshi, you've made it officially more difficult than it has to be, and he can't eat prickly Goombas. I really think that I might have to drop him. Okay, can I just get up there somehow? There we go, got the star coin, we're going down. Star coin, one of three obtained. I don't know why I make things so difficult for myself by trying to get Baby Yoshis to hang out with me all the time, but they're just too cute. I, I can't say no. Like, uh, this is a problem for me. Can we go down here? You bet we can. We can get ourselves a Yoshi, okay. Um, Baby Yoshi, no, no, no. Okay, this is already turning bad. Why would they do that right over where the fire bro is? That is so dumb. No, Baby Yoshi, I've lost everything. He's taking it from me. Oh, you are going down, Hammer Bro. Why would they do that right there? That's just like not fair. <laughs> oh, Fire Bros, I'm taking you all down to your own game. If I ever see a Fire Bro, I'm gonna whip out my own Fire Flower and show you how to do it right. So how do I get up to that platform? So there's definitely gonna be a way. Oh, and that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, I don't know if I can get up there now. The, the icy platforms don't make this any easier. Two. Oh, I can definitely get up there. Ready? Whoa. One, two, three. It is so close. Come on. One, two, three. I need the triple jump, but it's super difficult to do that. One, two, three. No, come on. He just didn't jump. Toad, you're really letting me down here, buddy. Let's get rid of you before you cause a problem. Ah, oh, I'm so close. That has to be how you do it, right? I mean, if I had Yoshi, this'd be so much easier, but no. What are you doing here? Get out of here! No! Oh my gosh, the game is so evil today. I'm definitely having, there we go. A lot more problems with this game than I have in any of the previous new Super Mario Bros. Maybe I'm just bad. And I can't really do this very easily without a Yoshi, but we're doing it. We're doing it my way. Oh no, that was a mistake. Oh no, it wasn't, I made it. <laughs> as long as I can make it. I don't know if we've reached a halfway point yet, but I'm pretty sure we have. I mean, I guess it shows up on the screen, doesn't it? Oh, there's the third star coin. You. Ooh. Hold on, hold on, that's not what I wanted. Go for it, and then you, buddy. Why'd I do that? Oh my gosh, I needed to do it, and I didn't do it. All right, show him who's boss, Yoshi. Got him, okay, this is a problem. Don't get taken out by a Goomba, thank you. No, nope. oh, okay, got it. Can I eat these guys? I can't, that's fine, I don't have to. We got all three star coins, get them out of here. Get out of here, thank you, jeez. Get some more coins while we're at it, just anything really. Oh my gosh, whoa, no way. What is with this, get out of here. Nobody wants me to have a Yoshi or a babe. That's not what I did. That's not what I did. I did not press down. Oh my gosh, really? <laughs> okay, Yoshi, just go down this way, jump. See, this is all I was doing before. I was just holding down. I did not repress it. It was super bizarre. Anyways, we'll jump up here. Got it, and then come on, come on. Yeah, we get that one up. Unfortunately, Yoshi can't travel with us, but at least we got some fun. Yeah, he's the winner. We got some Yoshi fun in with that, so that's pretty good. We almost have two million points as well, which is also good. With that level done, thank goodness it's done, by the way. <laughs> oh, we can get some extra one-ups for Toad. Yellow Toad, that is, and that would be helpful. I really like uh, Fire Flower Yellow Toad, looks pretty cool. Okay. So let's try this out. And coins, right, yep. Starts with coins like the first two. No, 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 okay. Well, I'm, I'm back down to zero. I got this one, I got that one, now I'm up to two. Got it, got it, that was really good. No, okay, I didn't hit the Bowser at the least, that's always nice. Oh, okay, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> Oh, oh, I almost got more than one there. I think that was my normal like five. If I could have gotten six, that would have been a new record. Oh no, I did get six. Okay, cool, new record. <laughs> Next time we'll try for like seven or eight. That'd be good. Look at that, a bunch of lives coming in. Now 24 in total now. That's always good to see. And we'll keep moving. What is happening next? We got that acorn to get, and then we'll also get hit by the mean, mean penguin. Penguin, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, anyways, let's keep moving. 
We can just sort of just get rid of these guys this way. It's easy enough, right? Is just to keep throwing these fireballs. Got him. See, couldn't have been any easier. And what do we get here? Probably just another star. Ooh, the penguin suit! Yes, that's actually really good. So we got the propeller cap, we got the penguin suit, we got the best hits of New Super Mario Bros. Wii in here. That's always good to see. Uh, we'll have to put these over something. I'm thinking we'll just put it over a star, because that's just what we get the most commonly, is stars. So let's just try that. Because like you want to have a couple of mushrooms in there, I guess. I mean, maybe not. Maybe we'll put this one over a mushroom. I mean, it's always better to have an acorn than a mushroom, I suppose, yeah? Okay, there we go. Discard this mushroom, and we're good. So with that done, we're gonna move down this way, right? Well, that's five, I need four. And this is four, Frosted Glacier four, scaling the mountainside. Let's get to it. Don't know how this will turn out, but hopefully good. Oh, we got a little squirrel. That probably means we're gonna find an acorn somewhere on this level. Can only imagine, that's not an acorn. Lots of bullet bills so far. Usually bullet bills do show up in some of the more mountainous levels. That makes sense. What is down here? Um, anything of interest? Potentially no, ooh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe I'm speaking too soon. What is this? Acorn, yeah, here we go. Very cool, I like that one. Gotta be careful, um, but I can just do that. And there's star coin number one. So definitely the acorn suit is gonna be very, very useful here. So we gotta be careful and try to get everything done without getting hit. Ooh, ooh, okay. We did it, we did it. Let's get this halfway point so if we die, we don't have to worry about doing it again. And what's this have for us? An ice flower that I don't really want right now. I'll throw this down that way to maybe protect us if anything wrong happens. Okay, this might be a bit of a mistake, but there is stuff here. It's just coins, but it could have been more. You never know. And that actually helped us get over two million points. That's awesome. I mean, points don't really matter too much in a game like this, but it's always cool to see. And what do we got here? Star coin number three. So actually, this level is going really well. I mean, there's still plenty of time for it to go really wrong also, so gotta be careful, but so far so good. I can grab that, I can booty slam here. Whoa, Bonsai Bill's showing up now. I don't know how I feel about that, just glide to the end. That was perfect. Why can't we have more levels that go like that? That was amazing, ton of fun there. Toad made his way through, and we're gonna move on over to the fifth level now in this world. That'll be good. Seeing how we already had it unlocked. I mean, that part wasn't too much of a worry. But we have that ghost house coming up soon, oh boy. That'll be interesting. But for right now, keep, oh, I can't go down that way. I can go through this way, though. And tackle Frosted Glaciers 5, Icicle Caverns, not more icicles. That'll make this a whole bunch more difficult, I think. But we just gotta hope. Oh, I don't know if it was a smart idea to try to dodge the icicle like that. Is there anything interesting up here? No, I can hear ourselves hitting the ceiling. Okay, had the check, right? So this one could be real tough. It might be like the castle was, or the tower, where there's just a lot of scary things. And I think that while I could go get that fire flower, I'd rather just do this. There's just a lot of situations where an acorn suit can be really helpful. The only thing I don't like about it is that when you go up, you go also like a little to the side, and this is not very reliable. Oh, that was it? No star coin? Okay. Oh, here we go. Had a feeling that looked a little bit precar precarious. Come on now. Excuse me, icicles. I got a place to be. Seven and eight. Very good. Nice jumping we did there. Wait, wait, wait. Let me actually get it. Don't hit those icicles up top because I'm pretty sure they can still hurt us even if they're not falling down on us. Still looking for two more star coins. Actually, no, okay. Looks like it could have been, you know? Just gotta be careful. Just gotta keep moving. But this is where it gets really useful to have a glide. Oh gosh. And you can get up there, no problem. There was probably like an invisible block somewhere, but I got it my way. And then I can even, ow, I was gonna say be impatient, and it's still sort of true, but I can't be too impatient or I'll get hurt like that. <laughs> that was silly of me. It's fine though. Ooh, if we could get rid of you again. Come on. Come on. 
Gotcha. You deserve that one. Maybe there isn't any way up here. So I guess really, if you wanna get up there without the acorn suit, you're gonna need to just jump off his head, which makes that a whole lot more difficult. Oh boy, there's some coins there, but not a star coin. Come on now. Let's go ahead and grab a couple of these, and there's an extra life. I'm not done though. There it is. Get up here. You got it, Yellow Toad. So I wanna hear your thoughts on this one. Lots of people seem to debate this one. I think this debate will go on to the end of time. Which one's your favorite? The Yellow Toad? Whoa, which way are we supposed to go? Did I do that right? Was this the correct way? But yeah, which one do you like more? The Yellow Toad or the Blue Toad? I would love to hear all about it. I guess if you had the acorn suit here too. You could probably just make it up there without it being a problem. But we did it on the first try as well! Yay! The He's the winner! I'm pretty sure that's just a line taken straight from Mario Party. Probably like recycled. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, with that done, we can keep moving. After we go to this mushroom hut, I wanna make sure that we get whatever power-ups we can imagine. Put them over the stars and the mushrooms that we currently have, right? Oh, I mean, honestly, that's actually not really that great. <laughs> Um, can I just leave? I don't I don't want mushrooms with the peach crown. I already have plenty. All right, well, I definitely want that. And I don't think that was the Bowser one, but I honestly don't remember. Oh, it was the Bowser one. Oh well, it's fine. It doesn't matter too much. Oh, too bad, nothing this time. A good time to showcase the Bowser one because I actually haven't. And, you know, just sort of see what Toad says when you get that. And, um, there wasn't really, like, I didn't want any more mushrooms, and I didn't want any more Pichette crowns, so. Frosted Glacier Ghost House, Swaying Ghost House. Let's hope everything turns out okay in this spooky, spooky place. I'm not so sure. I'm a bit concerned. But we'll give it our best shot and see what ends up happening. I do see a star coin already ready and waiting for us, but an auto-scrolling ghost house does not sound like my forte. What is with this button? That's going to tell me to go back this way? It has like a little flutter jump section as if we can get Yoshi. But you see like the little dip in coins like that? I don't know. I've missed out, haven't I? I don't know. This is very, very weird. Let's try this door if I can, or not. Oh, wait, no, hold on. There it is. Can we go through here? I've already missed a star coin. I'm, I'm rather confused. So I feel like I shouldn't follow the blue coins. Oh, here we go. This actually can get us a lot of stuff if we're fast about it. And then butt slam down here, do the same thing. Okay, we got a decent amount there. Not bad, can't complain. But was that it? I guess so. All right, I'll grab a couple more and I wanna make our way out. So, let's do this one. And this is probably where we're supposed to go. Looks like it. Whoa, whoa, no, I'm gonna fall to my doom. Dang it. <laughs> this is a weird one so far. So that door doesn't do anything. Then can we like go in, oh yeah, like right here. Oh, there were some coins blocking it from that side. Oh, and there's normally a platform there. Okay, that all makes a lot more sense though. So star coin number one has been gotten. We move into this room. This is where things get a little bit more tricky. We know that, that this down below is just a bunch of coins. So we could even just skip it if we wanted to. I'm thinking we might want to, just so I can keep moving forward. I mean, I really looked through that room. I don't think there's any kind of secrets I missed. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this one now. And hopefully everything will turn out okay. This is where things get a little weird, because there's that never ending thing down there. There's a never ending pit. I'm guessing what we gotta do here is press this button, and then yeah, go over there. Pretty simple. Who can we make it? We can, yeah, okay. So there's that. And. Now we're here, wherever here is. Oh, these coins are running away from me. Get back here, coins. What do I do with all this? This is like some kind of weird, ooh, I like it, but it's also scary. Got it, yeah. All right, so star coin number two. Was that everything in that room? Probably, maybe, I don't know. So where else do we go? Hmm. I mean, maybe just through that door. No. Is there, oh, right here. <laughs> okay, that's probably it. Maybe. Hmm. Okay, we're going this way. The game really wants me to at the least. Press this button. I can go through one of these doors. That door is fake. Is this door fake? It's not. Oh, is there a door to the left though? Where is it gonna bring me? 
Oh, hey, this is like a cool little bonus room. I mean, I'll try to hit this. Sort of at a weird angle. There it goes, it's a one up. Actually, I could really use that. There we go, 33 lives. So that was not the way I was supposed to go. That was just a fun little bonus. Which probably means that yes, I indeed have to. Unless there's like something, oh, there is. What's this? I don't know, I, I probably should have checked what's on the left as well. But you know, we're finding something some way or another. I don't know what I should be doing here. This is a door I can go through. Where does it bring me? Here. Uh, go to the left. Why don't I believe you? <laughs> I feel like I should not go to the left right now. Oh, and we're back here. Okay, let's see what this is. Oh, whoa, whoa, this is weird. I jump and it goes up. Okay. Then I'll go through this door before it ends. And... Oh, we're at the end. So I missed the third star coin, but we gotta find the secret exit anyways. Maybe it's one of those ones where the third star coin is with the secret exit, because sometimes that's sort of a thing with ghost houses. Okay, made it, made it, and we got it. 35 lives in total, two star coins, and look at that background, that moon and everything, that looks really cool. Awesome, awesome stuff. So with that done, we gotta hop back into that level, but the main exit has been found, so that is good stuff as you can see for ourselves. And that leads right to the castle. So I think after this, we can deal with the special level, deal with the castle, and be good to go. That actually works out really well. Um, so for right now though, back into the swaying ghost house, and let's try to find that secret exit. Oh, what's up here? No, no, there was something up there. Oh no, can I fall back down? Uh, I don't know if the, oh, the button's back. The button's back, good. Um, the problem is I need to be quick. No, that's not quick. Come on, go, 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 move it out of my way. Oh no, oh no, I don't know if I wanna make it. I don't know, come on, it's so awkward. I need to go through the door again. I need to go through here and reset it. That's what I need to do, right? I hope. I don't know, we're about to find out. Come on now. Run to the left. That is so weird how that works though. Like it's really hard to get up there because it follows your jump in a weird way. It's like an ever so slight delay. Okay, but I got so close there. No, jump, jump. Because what's happening is the second I land, I wanna jump again, but that is activating the little flutter jump because in this remake, they made it so it does that. I'm almost positive. Get out of here, big boo, you're a big jerk. Is that, it's up there. But I don't know, I feel like they messed this part up. It's really tough to do now. There we go. That took, I gotta be honest, that took way more tries than you would believe. I don't know what it was. It just like wasn't working because the same button as jump is flutter, which is not how the original New Super Mario Bros. U game was. They added that in this remake. Oh gosh, there's a final one. No, no, I gotta do it again. No, I gotta do it again. No, I can't reach it. No, I gotta do that again. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna go crazy trying to figure that out. No. Oh my gosh, this game is so mean. Why am I having such a harder time with this one? I will never understand it. I don't even care about getting the one up. I just, I, I'm gonna bring a Tanuki suit or whatever, a squirrel suit. Or maybe even the propeller cap. I would like to hold on to that though. I don't know. I'm gonna try to bring in an acorn suit and see if I can't get it done that way. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I gotta do it again. I didn't know that was gonna be there. I'm glad we got the secret exit, but I gotta get the third and final star coin. But because of that extra flutter, you can't press jump again until you land. But obviously that means you have to wait a second, which means it's a lot harder than it probably originally was. It's just, oh my gosh. And I forgot the, I pressed the wrong button for items. Nothing's going my way. There we go. See, it's much easier with the Tanuki or whatever it's called. You know it's a squirrel. I know it's a squirrel. You know it's a squirrel. It's, this is the different item. So I might not even, I'll try to use the P-switch here but I may not even need it, which would be preferred because this is a major pain in the butt. Look at how easy, I probably could have done that before, but I messed it up, I get it. There we go. Oh man, what has today's episode been? I don't know, the last couple episodes, like World 1 and 2 actually went surprisingly well, but everything since then has been crazy, 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 crazy. 
I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. There we go, I got the one up this time. We're over 40 lives, at least that's good. And we got a little extra item too. That'll, that'll pick up my spirits a little bit. And I don't have a full inventory now because I use this acorn suit. So I should be able to just slap that right in there, go to the special level, get that done, and everything will be good. Thanks a million for your help. Thanks a million for your help giving me another star. Okay, so now that we've done that, I'm so glad we've gotten that done. Oh my gosh, I can't even begin explaining why that was so difficult. I mean, I already did, but I'm not gonna re-explain it. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get that special level done. I'm pretty sure we've gotten everything else done, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's go figure this out. We'll go down this ladder and over this way. What is this? This is Frosted Glacier Walrus, Flipperous Lake. So I guess it's Frosted Glacier Flipperous. All right, let's go to it. I've never seen a Flipperous before. It's a new enemy, I suppose. That's pretty cool. Okay, so let's get to it. Where in the world, whoa! Oh, the Flipperses. They're making this stuff, ow, and there goes that. <laughs> okay, dude, you're getting frozen. Oh no, you're not. Now you're getting now you're getting frozen. There it is. You've gotten frozen. I can't pick you up though. Oh, you're too big. Good to keep in mind. Can I? I think I can hit this and turn it into ice. No, I can't. Well, that makes the platforms jump higher when you do that. When you go up and down like that. Weird. There we go. That is very weird how it does that. But it gives you a little bit of an extra height. There we go. Whoa. Watch it. What are you doing? Where are you throwing that thing? <laughs> what? How did I not let that? That was me landing on his head. That is super weird. Whoa, how? Whoa, got some major air with that. That's very interesting that it does it like that. Throw this over there. Get rid of that dude. And get another ice flower. That's what I was hoping for. Haven't found any star coins yet though. Also, this is like the only special level that has actually met the environmental theme of the world so far. Very odd, very, very odd. Hmm. Okay, whoa, watch it. No, that's not what I wanted. Ooh, scary. I don't know what this was, but it was supposed to be. Oh no, I might have to try to find another Koopa shell because that could have been my entrance into wherever the first star coin is because I haven't found it yet. This is a very well hidden star coin. Here is where a star coin is. Is it the first one? Let's hope so, ready? Oh no, where is the star coin? The game's really gonna do me this way? Like, come on, you can't do this. I could try to go back. I mean, we haven't like gone to a new section of the level. I'm gonna butt slam this thing and find out. Okay, it's just a one up. That's good to know. I mean, it could be behind one of these boxes and you just really gotta get out of the way. There's a couple of places it could have been that I could have just missed. Let's wait for this guy to be done. Yeah, when, once he's done, take a look at all this. Dodge the snowball, oh my gosh. No, why would you do that? Why would he jump? He's too smart. Oh, it was right there the whole time. All right then, there is star coin number one, actually found, and I get hit again. This has been a really tough level. And you know, it's just not easy. I don't know if I, I think I mentioned it, that this is like the only special level that actually missed the, matches the theme of the main world. Everything else has not been like that. Okay, whoa, I'm moving too fast here. Let me go get the second star coin again. But something I wanted to carry for the conversation, Yellow Toad versus Blue Toad, which one is better? I wanna hear your guys' thoughts. For me, I'm a little bit stuck between the two. I mean, yellow and blue are both plenty good colors, neither of which are my favorite though. I think I like blue a little bit more than yellow as a color, but yellow toad just has this charm to him, you know? I mean, I think a lot of people like blue better. Um. Oh gosh, that was good. He got rid of that enemy for me, which is appreciated when that happens. So I need to get by all this. That's not what I wanted to do. Come on, can I get him fast, please? Because I think I need to go down here. I definitely have to, come on. Booty slam this and go this way. No, oh yeah, okay. Well, that wasn't what I was looking for. Okay. So where is star coin number three going to be? I don't trust it, it's gonna be somewhere. These walruses, whatever they are, flippers, dudes, they're tough. They're just tough to work with in general. Anything up there? Not that I can see. But you know what? I'm gonna really let this launch me and look at that. Star coin number three. I was concerned it was gonna be there. 
And look at that, my concerns were well placed because it was there. All right. Watch out for that, and I don't even care. We are done with this level. We are all good to go. We're gonna beat up whoever's in the castle. Wendy Koopa, Wendy Koopa's in the castle and she's going down. That is for sure. I don't know why it's so tough for me, this game. Cause like, I I've played New Super Mario Bros. U and I feel like it wasn't this tough. Where is this gonna lead? Oh, uh, look at the cool railroad. So does the railroad lead two different ways? I guess we won't find out. Ooh, that is so cool. I can't check that out yet, but it probably leads to world eight or, you know, like the final battle area. I mean, is there, I don't know if there's even really a final world. I think it's actually just Princess Peach's castle. Like there's no Bowser world. All right, well, I guess we're running into some of the penguins here. For better or for worse, that's what we're doing. Okay, so, whoa, penguins everywhere now. I don't know how much I like this, gotta be honest. Okay, what if we just, oh, that doesn't really work, does it? Okay, thought I could just slam into them that way. Oh, almost got him. If we could just slam on him like this, I think it gets rid of both of it, but I probably should just, I just, uh, he's scary, okay? You know, he's not as scary without the sunglasses, though. And we get another p check crown. I don't need these, I'm not playing as Toadette. <laughs> Why does it do that? that? I definitely think there are actually some little tweaks that make this game more difficult. Okay, keep running. Um, so I can't hold any more items. I'm gonna put it over the already existing Peach at Crown. And we are going to move forward. Uh, Frosted Glacier Tower, Castle, Wendy's Shifting Castle. Wasn't Larry's also Larry's Shifting Castle? Probably not. I'm probably wrong. Anyways, let's give this a shot and hope Everything turns out okay. I'm gonna just try to do my best, to play my best. I'm not gonna worry too much about getting coins or lives or anything because it'll probably be the last round. I mean, I guess I'm playing Blue Toad after this who technically should have the same amount of lives unless he doesn't, but that'd be weird if he doesn't. Hmm, guess we'll find out. Well, let me get this. This is definitely a power up. Is there anything down there? I have a feeling I've already missed out on a star coin. Oh, look at the little mini thwomps. I think they're called thwimps or something. Can't remember. Oh, oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Let me get that before here. And then jump for it. Got it, there's star coin number one. Now I can get this so that if I die, I don't have to get it again. That's always good. So this might be a bit tough, but I wanted to throw this guy right now. I'm gonna get some extra coins out of it. <laughs> Wasn't all the coins I could have possibly gotten it from it, but at least it was more. Probably shouldn't have done that. Hmm, what am I doing here? I could switch over like this. Not really too much, whoa, no, no, whoa, 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 nice save, nice save. Okay, just try to be a little bit more careful. Just a teensy bit more careful. There we go, we got a couple coins from that one. I'm looking for star coin number two, wherever it may be. Whoa, whoa, that scared me. I was not expecting that just to be a pit but it also makes me feel like it's like a diversion. Oh, it may have been. What is over here? Oh gosh darn it. <laughs> that is very odd. Jump, go, go. Yeah, it was a diversion. What is up here? Star coin number two? You bet. So they're gonna jump. Oh gosh, that's actually a little confusing. But as long as I don't do what I just did, I would have been totally fine. Why'd I do that? Why did I do that? <laughs> Okay, so it has like a little bit of a timing to it. It's like one, two, three. One, two, three. Then I can move again. One, two, three. <laughs> I almost messed it up. There we go, I did it again. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. Get out of here, get a power up from somewhere, anywhere, I don't care. As long as we can get powered up. That's what matters the most. Okay, this has to be a power up, right? No, it wasn't. This is though, look at that, look at that. I wonder if I can actually take these guys out. I mean, it'd be tough to time, so it might not be worth it. Yeah, it's looking like it might not be worth it, but if I can do it right now. Oh, it does, look at that, see dude. And I think it looks as though, yeah, that might be the third and final star coin right down that way. So I'm gonna try this out. A bit risky, but we made it. No problemo. I mean, maybe. <laughs> okay. What is going on with all this? Third star coin just chilling out over there. Get it? Cause it's it's a cold room. It's like, this is basically the, the refrigerator room. Okay, so we did it. 
Where's Wendy Coop at? Probably over here. Uh, yeah, usually with these swamps, it's usually just better to run right through. And I did not do that. Come on, come on, got it. Now we gotta look around for a power up. Yeah, Fire Flower. That'll surely make things easier. We're back on better standing now. Let's get through here and beat up Wendy Koopa and finally be done with the Frosted Glacier world or whatever it's called. Who are you laughing at? I like how she has giant earrings on the cannons of the ship. Really adds to the design. I mean, it probably, it probably weighs on the ship, making it slower, but you know, you can never go too slow for style. All right, and here she is. Oh, this is gonna be tough. Wendy Koopa boss battles are always really tough, so I'm gonna do what I can about it. It'd be easier to just to stay still and hurt her this way. So, there's one I'm gonna try for. Her. I wanna see how long I can just stand here. Because I'm directly in the center between these two. Oh no, oh no. Ooh, that's a mistake. Now I can't. <laughs> Probably should've just stayed where I was, like I said before. Now I'm gonna have to go for it. Cause I don't know when she's gonna make these glaciers start falling. Glaciers, they're not glaciers. You know what I'm talking about, right in front of me, over my head. Just stalactites or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> there we go, they're icicles. Oh my gosh, I just can't find the words. Anyways, we got it done, that's good to see. And we have completed world four. Toad is beating her up. The Mushroom Kingdom doesn't even need Mario. As long as we have Toadette and Toad, everything will be A-OK. -okay. So off they go, going off to crash somewhere and we will unlock the next world, whatever it may be. But for now, I think that's gonna wrap it up. Yeah, look at that. We have collected all the star coins on Frosted Glacier. Isn't that a beauty? So we made our way through World 4 Frosted Glacier and today we are going to go and check another character out. Of course, we've played quite a lot of them at this point, but we wanna do the alternative to Yellow Toad, of course, good old Blue Toad. Now, he'll sort of take up the same slot so he has the same lives. If we had a power up right now, I think he would also have it. But yeah, a lot of people were upset that Blue Toad wasn't in the game, when in reality he is. He's just sort of tucked away to make room for Toadette. But hey, at least we get to play him. That is awesome. We're Move it down this way now, where there should be a whole new world to explore. So let's get to it, and oh my, what's happening? Earthquake, oh no, it's Bowser's ship. Are they leaving Princess Peach's castle already? They must have her, right? Oh no, no, they're stealing us. <laughs> this is what happened to Blue Toad, Bowser stole him. <laughs> That's what we're off to save is Blue Toad, the mighty cannon ship. So this is technically a part of World 5, so the jungle, and that's exactly what we'll be exploring in today's episode. But look at this, we get our, ourselves our first proper airship level of um, this game, which is always pretty cool to see. Get ourselves a little ice flower, which is nice as well. Okay, boing, got it, we're good, we're good. I love airship levels a lot, not only in this series, but just like in Mario games in general, they're usually a lot of fun. Sometimes it can be a bit tough in like Super Mario 3, 3D Land for the 3DS, but beyond that, they're usually a lot of fun. I mean, they're fun in that game too, they're just also challenging. There's our first star coin, pretty easy. And I know we can butt slam on these boxes and sometimes get some goodies, so always worth doing. Let's turn around real fast and grab this. Got it, got it. I probably need to freeze this dude. Oh, I missed it. Yeah, the freezing I feel like has, oh no, this is bad. This is bad, no, oh I got it, yes. Okay, I get another one back. <laughs> At least we have that going on for us. I feel like the downward, pro like, I guess like projection. Oh, how am I getting this? Oh, bouncing. Come on, can I do that again? Oh, there we go, perfect. And let's get this halfway mark. But I feel like it does definitely have like a, like it sort of goes down a little bit faster than the fireball does. That sort of goes out a little farther. Is there anything here? Not quite. Okay, there's the first section of the ship done. Doing pretty well so far, actually. And over here, what else do we got going on? Oh, we got some, oh, these guys are red torpedo teds? Oh yeah, that's right, they turn back around on us. Gotta watch out for this, but I can just freeze them. Doesn't really do much though. Oh no, I don't like that. Wait, 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 wait. Leave me alone. Oh my gosh, they just don't stop. They just don't stop in the, in the metal, uh. Cheap Cheeps aren't so good either. Oh, dodge it! There we go, we're fine. And there's Star Coin number three! Yeah, we did it! Very cool. Now, I don't think there's any secret exits on this level, so I think we're just good to keep moving forward. Oh, boy. So I guess Bowser just had a plan to intercept us a little bit here. Oh, no, 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 no. We're good, we're good, we're good. He's coming for us, but it's unfair, because he can go through walls. Oh, gosh, my voice. 
sorry, sorry. Okay, keep going through. We almost got it. <clears throat> I don't know what happened. Maybe Bowser gave me the cold. Are we just supposed to go down here? Is there anything to the right? There is stuff, but it looks to just be a power up. Come on now. Oh, got it. Okay, we're good, we're good. Watch it. <laughs> oh, that's so scary. Okay, we're good. Go down this pipe and see what else is going on. Uh, oh, it's Bowser Jr. I haven't seen you for a little while. How are you doing? Uh, he's not so happy. So how are we gonna fight him underwater? Because when we're underwater, we can't just land on his head. I'm gonna have to figure something else out here and I think I know what it is. So we've had some training with these guys now. So let's just have them go for us and hopefully subsequently go for Bowser Jr. Ah, uh, not quite. Oh, they sort of intercepted there. Wasn't expecting that. This is actually a bit of a tough battle out of all the ones that we've seen so far. This one's actually surprisingly a bit challenging because we need to lead this torpedo over to here, but he sort of floats around in a way that's tough to work with at times. Come on, come on, don't hit me. Hit Bowser Jr. These guys just won't do it. Really? <laughs> come on. That's just silly. I know this is what we gotta do. If I had a fireball, maybe I could hurt him that way as well. Okay, come on. Quickly, the no, no, wait, wait. Oh, come on. Oh, come, double come on. That's gonna get him. Yes, finally. There we go, there's hit number one. He's all over the place. This is tough. Uh, is that all you got? Oh, no it's not, <laughs> okay. We got some normal torpedo teds, which if they collide into each other, they sort of just push each other away. You gotta be ready for that. Because if not, you might be in all the wrong position. What is he doing now? He's just getting really close. Oh, 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 come on, come on. Just go this way, perfect, perfect, perfect. No, just barely missed, oh, that stinks. Where are you going? I wasn't even over there. Come on. Come on, when he's setting up the other one. I can't believe it. Oh my gosh, it's so tough because you can't really specifically control where they're going. It is a little bit of like a guesstimation in a way. There we go. That's good at the least. So now that we've done that, we probably only have to hit him one more time to get rid of this clown submarine. Oh, we got more of these guys. Watch it, watch it. We're good, we're good, we're fine. Oh, come on, Blue Toad. You can do it. You're the unsung hero of new Super Mario Bros. You gotta win. All right, you ready for this? Whoop. And then, yep, like up like this. Up like that, perfect! Dead in the center, we got him. See you, Bowser Jr. So I don't know if that was Bowser Jr.'s plan all along. It was like, oh, when Dad's protecting the castle, I'm gonna go and try to uh, intercept Blue Toad. <laughs> out of all characters. Oh no, oh no, it's a giant hand again. Get it out of here. Uh-oh. What is he doing? Wait, whoa, watch it! Wait, where, did we just jump through the floor? I guess so. <laughs> did we make our way out of the ship? I sure hope so. Yes, we did, okay, so we made it out in one piece. That's always good to see. And Bowser Jr.'s retreating, he's getting out of here. Oh, he's going back. There he goes again. Probably back to the castle. All right, nice stuff. I had a lot of fun with that one. We can hop back into that whenever we want, it looks like. Um, I will definitely save and I think we're good to keep moving forward. All right, so let's move in to the soda jungle. I think it's over here to the right. Yes, it is, the soda jungle. So if we were to look around, we could probably find some other ways to approach it and everything, but I mean, we've done everything we need to do, I think. Um, but yeah, this level, or this world, actually has a couple of different secret exits. It's a little bit of a tough one, so we'll definitely have to be ready for it. What does this pipe lead us to? I think this is just, oh yeah, the normal launching pipe. All right, never mind, get out of here. And let's get started with the first level, which of course is Soda Jungle 1, the jungle of the giants. Let's get to it. So if you guys didn't listen last episode, or at least maybe you didn't hear, uh, I did ask you guys what your opinion on is, or what is your opinion of Blue Toad versus Yellow Toad, which one's your favorite? I mean, I hate to pit the brothers against each other, if they are brothers, I don't know. But, um, oh yeah, and there's giant Goombas here, this is so cool. But yeah, I, I really like both of them. You know, I like both Yellow and Blue Toad. It's hard for me to make a choice, but I think that I do like, I don't know what I said last episode. I think I said I liked Blue a little bit better. I don't know though, like Yellow's a fine color. It's hard to decide, they're both great. Anyways, this is sort of like a giant area. Oh, I was supposed to, oh wow. Well, I was supposed to knock them around. There's like giant Goombas, there's, oh, that's even a giant Firefly, that's pretty cool. I already have one, but there's another one. And I think if I land on their head, yep, they pop into smaller ones. We could actually get qu quite a crazy combo on if I didn't stink. Like this. Oh, yep, yeah, that's pretty bad to do. <laughs> it's mostly because of the little flutter that happens when you hold the A button or when you press it while you're in the air. But yeah, if you do that for long enough, you could definitely get a couple of one-ups out of that. Now I do wonder 
is if this piranha plant, got him, nice, okay. So I wonder, yep, this does not hide a pipe of any sort. But of course, this is sort of a big reference to Mario Bros. 3, where there was sort of the same concept going on with the giant enemies, and that was always a pretty cool world. I have to play that game at some point. Mario Bros. 3 is one of my favorites. Definitely my favorite on the NES. Boing, got it, pretty good, pretty good. Let's keep moving, boing. Very nice, Oh, that Koomba just fell right off. But yeah, if you were to do that for long enough, obviously you'd be able to get quite a, a good amount of points, and eventually, in theory, a one-up. Let's try it here. Oh. Oh no, oh, I couldn't quite make it, that's a shame. But this should bust some of these blocks and maybe even get us to that star coin over there, which I hope is the one star coin we're looking for. Hey, what, how did you guys get over here? What? Okay, wait for this dude to turn around. He will turn around, right? There he goes, perfect. Uh, No, that was silly. <laughs> Grab this star coin, keep moving. Whoa, whoa, don't fall off the edge. Gotta be careful. Oh gosh, indeed. There's so much to look for around here. So I need to push this to the right because I probably need to go down that pipe. Indeed I do. A little bit of a uh, scare here because I could definitely get beat up here if I'm not careful. So what is this about? Are these just coins? Because I mean, I guess I'll take them, but I was hoping for something more than that. Whoa, watch it. Okay, let's get up here quick. Ah, uh, couldn't get them all, that's fine. Let's go up this pipe and see where it leads us. Just here, so just right over from where we were, I think. So that's fine. Oh, definitely get a power up from the flag. And boop. I don't think I can, yeah, I can't pick the big shells up, unfortunately, but I can get a fire flower, which doesn't one hit take you down. It's not a pipe I can go down either. Boing. Oh no, I missed him. Oh well. Boing. Uh, I don't like it. Get this guy out of here. Oh, we can go down this pipe as well. I'm looking for that second star coin, wherever it might be. Ooh, here we go. So I do have to be careful with this. But we got it. And like I said before, if we really wanted to, we could probably get a one up here. Oh, you know what, you know what, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. There we go, we're out of here. <laughs> so star, to star coin number two, it's been gotten, and we can keep moving forward. Whoa, okay, got him. Not a problem. Because if we just fire flower these guys, they get taken down real quick. So what's going on with all this? Oh, I see. So what I need to do is hit this to the right. It's gonna bounce, it's gonna start destroying those blocks. It'll go back through again. Look at that. And just falls down the pit. So I don't know if this stuff will be anything specific. Oh, there's a star, that's pretty cool. I don't know if I'll need that. So I'm gonna keep moving. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Come on, we can get some good stuff here, I'm sure of it. All right, cool. No, really? <laughs> okay, at least we made it up here. Ah, oh, man. Could have gotten that last Koopa, that would have been really good. But there we go, we got all three star coins, and of course, we got a couple lives out of it as well. We're up to 46 now, which is pretty good. Okay, so no secret exit in that level. Not too much to worry about. So we can march on over to the next level. That'll unlock a little path to a mushroom hut and two other levels, so that's pretty good. So let's start with this one, we got the Soda Jungle Mushroom Hut. We could always use a couple more items, right? So give this a shot, see what ends up happening. So we haven't seen this in a little while. We just have to avoid the three Bowsers, yikes. It might actually be easier to pay attention to the two ones that have the power-ups, there's just less to manage there. So that's what I'm doing right now. Oh, I've totally lost it, I've totally lost it. I think it's this, no, Never mind. Ah, it was that one, right next to it. Yeah, I got really mixed up there in the last little turn. Oh, well, too bad, nothing this time. It happens, I mean, I don't really need a mushroom or a crown, so to be honest with you, it's not a big deal. But you never know, so you gotta try it out. Okay, so with that done, we're gonna make our way down this way. Take a look at the left, we have the Soto Jungle 2, Bridge Over Poisoned Waters. Now this one does have a secret exit. I think it's one of four levels that has a secret exit in this world. So yeah, lots of hard stuff with this level. I'm hoping that we can find way over there. Don't know what that's about. Um, Maybe I could, if I could get a Tanuki suit, not a Tanuki, squirrel, you know what I mean. <laughs> so a lot of people have been asking me on the first episode, how do I glide like this? And all you have to do is jump and hold the jump button and you can glide around. So yeah, good to keep that in mind. I mean, I guess it's not jump and hold, like okay. You want to jump and do not let go of the jump button just keep holding it and you'll just start to glide. If you jump and then press, like release it and then press it again, you will do a little twirl, but if you keep holding it, you will start to glide after that. You just gotta keep that in mind. 
Hope that helps somebody out there. Mm, nope, nothing in there. Had to make sure. And of course you press the little uh, shoulder buttons if you want to. Oh gosh, gotta be careful of these Goombas now. <laughs> if you want to be able to flutter upwards like that. I think you can also shake the controller. Yes, you can. Okay, gotta be careful though, because you don't actually wanna, I don't know, like hit the controller against the desk like I always do. So can we get up there or not? Oh, we definitely can. Oh, definitely. All right, so let's, uh, maybe not from there. What I probably have to do is start gliding like this, and then, there it is! It's a little bit of a tough thing because you can't really see the pipe. Once you get it, yep, there's a star coin in here. So I'm gonna guess then that, yep, this right here is exactly what we're looking for. Oh, these all turn into blocks now, that's sort of weird. Where am I? Uh, I'm right here, got it. So maybe I did that incorrectly, I don't know. <laughs> I'll get some coins for it though. I'm not really worried about it. You know, all lives are nice. When we have 46 lives, we don't have to worry about it too much. There we go, pretty good, pretty good. 47 in total now. I think that if we reach max live, nothing important happens or exciting or interesting. Like I know in New Super Mario Bros. Wii, if you got, is there anything here? Oh, there is, okay. Um, if you got 99 lives in New Super Mario Bros. Wii, Mario would lose his cap. I threw that the wrong way. And that was always a cool little thing. I wish more than Mario games had something like that, just to reward you. Oh, that didn't really have much at all. Oh, is there something in here? You bet there is. Not anything crazy, it seems. Okay. Whoa, why'd I do that? Dang it. I wanted to throw that into there. It looks like, oh, oh, there's more stuff this way? And there really isn't much, though. Weird, okay. We're only looking for one more star coin. Where could it be? I'm not entirely sure. I'm gonna jump on top of this block if I can manage it. Eh, not quite. I think there's nothing up there anyways. It's fine. Oh, here we go. There's an acorn suit or a squirrel suit or whatever. And grab those three coins. Whoa, 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 whoa. Here it is. Here it is. Gotta be careful though. The platforms are disappearing. It's very confusing. Got it. And another squirrel suit for if I lose it against this, this, this Koopa. Okay, <laughs> we made it. So I'm just trying to make my way through the level now. I mean, hey, if I can get a one-up or something, that's always good. But I'm not too worried about it. There we go, there we go. Oh, oh, oh okay, I got it, I got it. That was a little scary. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I think this might actually be where the secret exit is, right here. Yeah, I'm almost positive that's the secret exit. So I'm going to leave that there for now. And, oh no, I just lost my squirrel suit too, which probably means I can't get myself this thing. Yep, ah, uh, it's fine. <laughs> we'll just be able to make our way through normally, like a normal person, and that's fine. We got we got it done with Blue Toad, which is fantastic. So we gotta get through there again, try to keep the squirrel suit and get to that secret exit, and then just climb up, we should be good. I mean, I guess we don't need to keep the squirrel suit, but it would be very useful, so that's what I'm gonna try to do. So let's get to it. Okay, so let's go ahead and throw this Koopa shell down there just like we did before. It'll make a little vine, we can climb up it, and I hope this is a secret exit. I'm gonna be looking mighty silly, but I do that all the time. I'm always looking silly, so I guess it's not that big of a deal. Oh, this looks promising. What is up here? There's a little something. Gets like a little running start. Wee! <laughs> this is pretty cool. All right, we made it, we made it. So I guess you really can't do that without the squirrel suit, huh? Weird. Okay, well, we did it. Very nice. Get an extra life and everything, so that's always good to see. Uh, squirrel toad, <laughs> squirrel toad, blue toad looks pretty cool here. I don't know, I like him in the squirrel suit. I like yellow toad in the squirrel suit as well. And uh, Toadan, I don't know, I think his color scheme is pretty good with it. Where does this lead though? It's like an arcing rainbow of brick blocks. I guess it just sort of skips a couple of levels. That's pretty cool. And then this is uh, the Soto Jungle Tower, which we won't tackle just yet because we gotta do Soto Jungle 3, Bramble Woods. Now this one I don't believe has a secret exit. Let's take a look. Um, no. That's fine. Ooh, look at this, it's like nighttime. That's pretty cool. I really like it when they try different environments and stuff. Well, where are you going? Oh, I really don't like these enemies. They're usually really tough. What do we got? We got a fire flower. I could try it. I don't know if it even gets rid of these guys, to be honest with you. Oh, oh, I don't want up. All right, thanks. I mean, that could have been a bit of a problem at some spots. All right, boing, gonna bounce off of you. It's usually easier to bounce off of them when you have the chance, because if not, they become big problems. What is this? It's another fire flower. Which once again, I don't know, it's, it's really tough to even land it on them. Oh, I do remember this. This is where it might just be easier to have a squirrel suit, but what we can do for now is wait for him to come back. 
All right, buddy, get over this way. And then when he gets right here, we bounce and go up this pipe. It's a little odd, to say the least. <laughs> and then what is even up here? We get a power up, which I guess will be helpful. Ooh, if we could freeze him, that could end up being really useful. I mean, it's not really too much, not what we were hoping for, which is a star coin. It, it's something, so that's always good. Okay, so this guy doesn't really go anywhere right now. Oh, let's be careful for this. I don't know if these platforms will move away eventually. Oh, so this guy, oh gosh, oh, scary. I don't like it. Bounce off of him, that was good. What's inside of here? Star coin number two is awesome. All right, that is some very good stuff. Gotta watch out for these guys because I know they'll stretch their little heads upwards. And like I can freeze them and then like stomp on them. It's usually a little risky though. So I'll do what I can. Oh yeah, look at that. It freezes like his whole body in a weird way. Oh, but now, he, now he's in my way. I can't get it. Ah, oh, wow, well, whatever. I'm out of here. And then bouncing off of you, that's for sure. Looking for that third star coin. It isn't down there. Hmm. I don't know if that was very useful or not. And I guess I could just do that now. Ooh, that was really good, actually. Nice, nice. What is this one, then? That is another fire flower. Which, honestly, I'm liking this so much because it actually does affect them in a little bit more of a way. I think I'll keep with it. Okay, so, whoa, really did that hit me? Oh, that was so baloney, but that at least got him. So I need to do that, and there we go, there's all three star coins. Actually, not that bad of a level if you come in prepared. And then I guess there's like a little mini Mario, mini Toad thing you can get done here. I don't trust this guy, but I need to get down there fast. Okay, got him. So I can hit him a little bit like that. And if I know that if I stay exactly here, oh, that actually makes him move. Interesting, I didn't know that. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Keep moving. But yeah, I don't know what the mini toad thing is. I know there's not a secret exit in this level, so I don't really know. Oh, look at that, nice jumping! That was awesome. All right, cool, I mean, maybe there is a secret exit that I just hadn't written down. That'd be a bit of a problem. I don't think that's the case, though. I think that's maybe just like a little extra area where we could probably get like one-ups or something. I'm not really too worried about it right now. But hey, yeah, let's plop out of here. And... Over this way, we got ourselves another one-up hut. So this might actually be quite useful. Probably gonna be the cannons again. Yep. I like this mini game though, so it's not so bad. I wish there was a larger variety of mini games, but hey, at least this is plenty fine. Okay, so there we go. There's an extra life from just getting some coins. Oh, I missed that one. Oh, I didn't miss that one though, look at that. All right, cool stuff. Got it. Got it. Very good. There we go, I got one Bowser, unfortunately. But come on, oh no, how did I miss that one? <laughs> I don't know how I managed that. Okay, Ooh. yeah, look at that, good stuff. Okay, last two right here, ah, oh, darn, it didn't really count. Oh well, that's fine. So in total, we got ourselves seven of them. I think that's a new record, or at least tying before. I think I got seven last episode, but I thought I got six, I don't remember. But that's still quite a lot of one-ups, getting us 60 in total. Toad might actually be the first one where we get 99 lives. I mean, maybe not, I don't know. Uh, because I know next episode we'll be playing Nabbit. A lot of you have been asking for Nabbit, so that'll be cool. Uh, but over here, what do we got? We got Soda Jungle Snake Block Tower. Let's give it a shot, and hopefully everything will turn out okay. Um, I think this one also does not have a secret exit, but we'll be careful nonetheless. So even this has some giant blocks going on. I like it. And we even get this. But this is where things get problematic with Nabbit, and I'm sure we'll talk about it then, is that Nabbit can't take power-ups. So if there's a power-up that needs uh, a flying ability, we can't get it with Nabbit. So I don't know if I'll be doing a full episode as Nabbit, or just like a smaller one. Like, like a small portion of the, of the episode I'll play with Nabbit. We'll have to wait and see what we end up running into. Okay, so if I'm careful here, I could actually snag this star coin. Oh, that was not careful. That was actually really badly done. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have rushed it. You know, whenever I rush it, things happen that aren't optimal. It's just it's so hard to know where this thing is gonna go. I mean, that's why I guess, you know, it's pretty long, so you sort of have time and room to figure it out, I suppose. No! Okay, I gotta move it. I gotta move it. I gotta move it. At least I got all of them, and I can get another acorn because of it. Thank you. The one thing I do appreciate about, oh gosh, gonna move from one to the other. I didn't mean to do that. I just meant to spin. Dang. That was silly of me. One thing I do appreciate about the acorn suit more than the propeller cap though, is that it's easier to grab because it just falls down to the floor unlike, oh, what's going on up there? Oh, I see. Can I get up there? I could probably get up there. Uh, maybe not. 
It's at just a perfect angle. You can't quite get up there normally. I don't know if there's a secret up there. I don't think so. We're just gonna keep moving. And there's these happy little dudes. Oh, wait, wait, got it. Acorn, pretty good. Okay, I thought that was the last star coin up there. Not quite yet. Oh, there it is. So honestly, all the star coins have been quite easy. Not so bad at all. I'll gladly take it. Okay, this is where things get a bit risky though. Gotta wait for these things to go by, but not too soon and not too late. I'm guessing this has another acorn in it. Probably shouldn't have done that. Probably should have saved that for later. But to be honest with you, I wouldn't have had too much of an opportunity. Look at all these coins. That is a lot of them. I mean, I don't care too much for them. Whoa, duck and cover. Just trying to survive with what I have. Oh my gosh, it's so scary. Okay, just gotta be careful. Whoop. Duck and cover again. Okay, we got it, we got it, we got it. Oh, and we're there already, first try and everything. Look at this, honestly, today's episode hasn't been going so bad. We've been doing pretty all right. I don't think we've died at all today's episode, like maybe once, I don't remember. And it's just boom, boom again. Kamek is gonna give him a new ability, whatever that might be. Uh, because he's been able to jump, he's been able to charge. He's been able to do lots of stuff now. Oh, he's bigger! Okay, so he could probably do everything he did before. You bet he can. But now he's just doing it even at a larger scale. Okay, so I, got, I gotta be careful here. But if I just slam on him like that, that is perfect. Okay, and then, there we go, we got him! Three hits, no damage taken. See ya, boom boom. For the fifth time now, we've defeated you. All right, well, there we go. <laughs> pretty good, pretty good. So there we go, there's another level completed. We're making some really great progress too, like not too bad on time. So there we go, the tower has been completed and it leads into the second, a lot more spooky portion of the soda jungle. So I guess all this purple goop is all just grape soda. Oh wow, whoa, the pixelated transition. What is going on to the left? I can't wait to find out, but for right now we gotta do Sungle, so, Sungle? Soda Jungle. <laughs> the, the ghost house, which way labyrinth? That does not sound like fun. But we'll try it out. Of course, it will have a secret exit because it's a labyrinth, it's a ghost house, whatever. Uh, so yeah, this might be a bit challenging. We'll just try to figure it out along our way. I feel like, yeah, th this game gives me the most trouble with the ghost houses, I feel like, overall. Let me go ahead and get whatever power up it wants me to take. I just feel like that's a good idea. And what door is correct? This left door seems to be about right. Hmm. It is a little platform that only raises when we stand on it. Gotcha. Which probably means there's something hidden in one of these walls. Oh, look at this! Golden baby Yoshi! Will he scare away the, I don't think we've had this guy in a ghost level. Oh, he does sort of scare them away! He's so wonderful! I love him! Okay, just gotta be careful because I can't wall jump when I'm holding this little guy. Definitely one of these things is gonna have a little opening. This one just has coins, maybe the other one or something a bit more. Having a hard time making too much uh, vertical progress here. Nope, just more coins, Never mind. No! Oh, you stinkers, you stinkers. Get out of here. Boop. There we go, keep going up. I just gotta jump back and forth real fast, like that. And <laughs> that should leave us, al they, that should help us get left alone here. Oh, there definitely is something up there. But is this a real door? This is, but that was probably a star coin. Should've just went for it. Dang. Oh no, we're back here at the beginning. So I actually might try that real fast. I mean, it might be a secret exit. You know, it just sort of happens the way it happens, you know? All right. La, la. So I'm just gonna sit here and dance back and forth. I mean, sometimes ghost mansions can be a lot of fun to explore. It's just that they're so gosh darn stressful too, you know? And you gotta be figuring out a puzzle while all these boos are chasing you and trying to sneak up behind you. It can be really tough. But some of the toughest levels definitely in the new Super Mario Bros. series, which, you know, is sort of known for being quite easy, so. All right, so we can get up here and there's another door. This really might just be the secret exit, which if it is, that's sort of funny. I mean, it might be just good to get it out of the way. Oh gosh, we're falling. Oh, there's definitely something over here. Look at this star coin number three. <laughs> oh, where's one and two? <laughs> oh gosh. So what's through this door? The door of mystery. Um, it is a secret exit. Look at that. All right. Well, let's go ahead and go for it, and we get the one up. Maybe Yoshi's just gonna scoot away and go. Thank goodness I'm out of that place. Okay. So let's see what that unlocks. Ooh, a cool vine. Where does that lead? Oh, is that the special level? It may just be. 
We'll have to check that out in a moment. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and try it out now. Uh, go up this way. And is this a World 7 level or is it sort of jungle special? Yes, okay, cool. So we'll take that on before the castle. That'll be great. So we need to go back in there and try to find the normal exit in the first two star coins. Hopefully that'll turn out okay. Okay, so we tried the door on the left. Let's try the door on the right because all that did was sort of loop us around after that. So I think we'll be good to keep moving forward. Oh my, this is dark. I wish we had that, oh yeah, I was gonna say, that golden baby Yoshi. Now we have it. Oh, the little rats. Hi, little rats. I mean, I feel like I do need to take them out because they can be quite tough. There we go. I sort of feel bad doing that because they're sort of kind of cute. They're creepy, but they're also cute. A weird mixture. Okay, yeah, I definitely need to get rid of these guys. Go ahead and just charge at them. And then these two are on a plop down. Perfect, we got them. Okay, there's a little P switch. Ooh, tons of coins again. What about this, though? There we go, it's a fire flower I didn't need, so I don't know why I took it. Okay, he's trying to run away. Oh boy. I'll go ahead and get rid of these two as well. A fire flower down there again. Oh, 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 he can eat them. Oh, okay, probably should have expected that. I've been so used to the little glowy features, I forgot they had other features beyond that. So there is something this way. Probably what I need to do is go this way then. Come on, eat these guys up. Thank you. Feel sort of bad doing that. <laughs> Let's get to it. Maybe we can find a star coin on the side. Oh, this officially leads us up here. I have a feeling that's not correct then. I don't know, this is a bit tough. Quite the maze going on now. Um, Just trying to look around for star coins and stuff. I don't see anything right now, but you never know. Get out of here, you guys. Okay, so, so far so good. Back it up, back it up. I got a Golden Yoshi and I'm not afraid to use it. Can Golden Yoshi eat booze? I don't think he can, but you know what? Now's a good time to try. He can! His hunger knows no bounds. I think it might have been to the left. If there was anything, it definitely was to the left there. Or maybe not yet. Okay, get all these guys. Perfect. Got him. Got him. Oh, couldn't quite get him. No, come back, baby Yoshi. Got him. Ah, oh, not quite getting a one-up out of it. That's a shame. Oh, that's a total shame. But no secrets anywhere. All right. Oh, man, where are these two star coins at? They're really well, and that's the exit. <laughs> where were the star coins? Oh my gosh. All right, let's get to it. No, 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 hold on. Baby Yoshi, we gotta get out of here. Yeah, there it is. That was pretty good, actually. So I need to go in that level for a third time now and get those star coins. Where could they be? Okay, so I guess we can figure out this door. I mean, I think this door might lead somewhere. Hold on, let's grab that, and then go through here. And let's see for ourselves, is this anything? Looks like it. Uh, definitely something new. Okay, watch it, buddies. Got these two dudes. Get to see them again, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of this dude. And then let's actually go into his little room. Oh, I saw it. I saw that star coin, boom. Star coin number one. Oh no, 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 wait. Okay, for a second I thought I was gonna be stuck. I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> Let's go down through this door then. Where will this lead me? I think probably back to the center, which if it does, then I think we've gone through all the doors, so all we need to do is go back through this way and try to find out where in the world that second star coin might be. We'll find it, one way or another, I'm sure of it. But for right now we gotta get a golden baby Yoshi. And now that we know what to do with this, it should be a heck of a lot easier. I just need to run through and eat, 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 and then do that again. They're gonna try to run away, so we can just eat them all up. Perfect, 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 perfect. Keep going. Eat these two. Got it. Whoa, where were you guys coming in from? Stop that. Uh, will this give me another fire flower? I will. Excellent. You know what then? I have all the reasons to take you out with fire flowers, but I'm gonna do it this way instead. So I think that everything else here is normal. I think the other door is gonna bring us back. So I wanna go through here, because there definitely was, like I went through this first door and then everything ended, so I have a feeling that it's somewhere up here. So if we ignore this door and take a look around, there's a fire flower up here. We have ourselves, um, coins. And I see this like little room to the left though. Like, I don't know if that's an exit, but that'd be weird. It's like a dead end area. So like, can we maybe, like get up here? I think we can, it looked, oh, here we go. Um, Yeah, look at this. Okay, this has to be something, right? Has to be. What else would it be? 
Let's give it a shot. Okay, I see a bunch of stuff. Oh, there it is. Perfect, so, you know, let's have some fun. I'll grab these coins, and I'll grab these ones as well. Perfect, just get ourselves some extra lives, and boom, we're good. So let me fill the room back up with light. We did pretty good there, so now we have, for real, all three star coins. I just need to end the level again, and we should be good to go with the next one. So that'll be pretty good. Okay, so we have two more levels out of brown shell here. Over here we have the Soda Jungle 4, Painted Swampland, and I'm guessing this is gonna be Soda Jungle 5. Yep, so let's go ahead and do this one, Painted Swampland. If I do remember this correctly, this is a very, very cool level. So let's find out together. And also keep in mind that there is indeed a secret exit. And look at this place! Oh my gosh, it's so cool. Of course, it looks like a Van Gogh painting, which if you don't know Van Gogh, is just a very popular artist from a long, long time ago. He's made a lot of uh, very cool paintings. I'm pretty sure this is a Van Gogh. Oh uh, yeah, I think so. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm not the most artistically or artist, I guess art history inclined, I suppose. Oh, let's get that, no, never mind. I was gonna get that star, but I guess not. <laughs> But there's a lot of ghosts around here. Um, but it's based on the painting, I believe it's called Starry Night. Now I could be wrong about that. And I can go down this yellow pipe. But man, I wish more of the game looked like this. Like, it's just such a cool little idea. I just feel like, you know, a lot of this game is very uniform in a way. It tries to, you know, just sort of do everything the other Mario, new Super Mario Bros. games do. Um, just for the Wii U at the time. I just feel like they should have gone a little bit more wild with it, like they did with this level specifically. Can't go down that yellow pipe. Just looking for star coin number two and three. But yeah, at this point, like everything's just so spooky and haunted. It's sort of like a haunted, I guess, like courtyard around here. There we go, that was pretty good. With well, these pipes lower when you stand on them, that's not good. They're sinking in the soda. What you think? Would it be too painful? But I guess it just immediately rots your teeth because it's covered in sugar. I should have just ran over it. I don't know why I did it that way. <laughs> that was just me being silly. So let's try that again. Hop back in here. Maybe I should have gotten the power up. I think I'll be okay, but it, maybe it would have been worth it. We have a lot of lives now. I got a lot of lives from that ghost house just because I was able to get the star and destroy all the booze. But yeah, if we wind up like this, right? We just run over, we're fine. So I don't know what, what I did that for. And we got our life back. So now all I'm looking for are some power-ups. Got it, that's good. Now let's be careful about our jump here. Oh gosh, it gets scary when these things start moving and you don't got anywhere to go. Okay, get here. Oh no. Oh boy, yeah, I had to get hit. No, and I still fell in the goop. Dang it, that was all my fault. <laughs> okay, so that time was a whole lot better. <laughs> I'm glad to say. So what is this saying down here? If I butt slam, will something happen? Ooh, but only if I was a bigger toad. That's fine, because we should be able to... Got it, there we go. Will that be a fire flower? That's not too bad. What's down here? Definitely something. Ooh, so we've gotten, oh, you know what? This is probably the secret exit. I forgot about that. Um, so I will actually, oh, I can't go back up either. I have to take it. What a pretty room though. That's super cool. So I guess we're doing the secret exit first. Whoopsies. Didn't mean to, but <laughs> let's get to it. Actually, maybe not. No, it is. <laughs> All righty, there we go. Secret exit for level four. I mean, that's still pretty good. We needed to do it. I can go through it again now, just get it done normally, we should be okay. It's a decently sneaky secret exit. There's just so many of them in World 5. Like, at the previous worlds maybe had like, most of them only had one secret exit, and I think one of them had two secret exits. But this one, I mean, what's weird about this is that the secret exit is technically the normal exit as well. I don't know, it's very odd. Um, but let's go back in there and try to find the normal exit and see where exactly where that leads, because now I'm a little confused. Okay, so it looks like we can go down here. Oh, nice. So that was a little Tanooki suit. Not Tanooki, I do that every time. Sorry, right, I'm just so used to it. And let's get over here. And we got it. Yeah, awesome. So let's go ahead and grab this one up. Oh, we're doing pretty good. Oh boy. So I don't, we haven't seen anything past this and there really isn't too much. Whoa, look at the giant Bowser in the background. That's so creepy. Oh, this is so cool. I love this level. I really wish there were more like this. You got the creepy haunted Bowser with no pupils. I don't know, it's just weird, but I like it. So that is the normal exit for that one. And as you can see, like, where would that have led? In a circle. So yeah, that's like sort of the incorrect exit. You need to find the secret exit for that one. And probably the same thing with uh, Sungle, Soda Jungle, I wanna say Sungle. <laughs> Soda, Sungle Jungle, something like that. Soda Jungle 5, uh, the Deep Sea Ruins, which uh, does, I think, have a secret exit. Let me take a look. 
It does, it does, yeah, okay. So 79 lives so far. We really could get to 99 lives today's episode if things don't go too bad from here on out. This level's pretty cool too. It's like a sauna in a way. Cause this is actually water we can swim in. Oh, this is really cool. I feel like this level's really tough though from what I remember. It might actually be partially, oh, I see you. Oh, I see you, sneaky little star coin. You can't get away from me that easy. It might actually be a partial underwater level. But there might be some points coming up later where we just, are completely submerged, and it looks like we're getting to it. Watch out. This really does feel like a haunted sauna. This is so cool. Like an old forgotten by time kind of thing. So we can freeze these guys now, which I don't think is as good as if we could just hit them with fireballs. Oh, well, if they hit the ceiling, that can be pretty useful. Uh, we'll watch it, guys. Oh, boy. See, I'm just trying to take out who I can, because these enemies can be a bit risky to go against. And it's just, you know, straight up hard to see around here, which doesn't make it any, ah, easier. Okay, I don't think I've missed anything yet. Trying to be very aware of the situation. Oh, oh, somehow that didn't hit me. Got it, and got it. What's that gonna give me? Another ice flower, which I guess is nice, but not exactly what I was hoping for. So what's down this way? Just a couple of coins? Looks like it to me. I just gotta hope that we uh, found everything we were supposed to. Okay. Um, well, there's this dude, which I don't like the look of. He's gonna try to eat us. There we go, there we go. Yeah, got him. Okay, let's get that halfway point. And what will this give me? Another ice flower. I'm gonna leave it. If I don't need it now, I take it. That's just selfish. Uh, there we go. What's over here? Oh, a star. Ooh, that could be really useful, actually. It lights up the whole area, so it makes it easier to see. I'm gonna destroy these guys. If I destroy them all, I might even be able to get a one-up. Uh, There we go, there's a one-up. I mean, I don't need a one-up, but if I can get one, why not? Okay, there is something. Oh gosh, I mean squish. Oh, that was scary. So obviously, I need to get over here. And yes, yeah, star coin number two. I was so worried that was gonna be star coin number three. Luckily, it wasn't. We've been handling these guys real well. What's over here? Anything? I looked at, whoa, don't want that thing squish me. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Everything about this area is scary and dark and confusing. There we go, we got it. Oh, what's over here? There it is, star code number three. Now, I think that thing to the right is the secret exit, so we'll take that one afterwards. For right now, we'll just take the normal exit. And what's up here? Oh, nothing, the Moai heads. I didn't even see him. I thought he was part of the background. That is very weird. Oh, couldn't quite make it. That sort of throws you forward because it's moving in a weird way. It's very, very odd. But there we go, we get the level done normally. All three star coins on the first go. I'm super happy about that one. And that'll probably loop back around just like the other level did. I can already see the path. All right, well, not too much to worry about there. All we're gonna do is hop back into Soda Jungle 5 and try to get to the end. Okay, so here we are again with this. This head hasn't moved. Okay, there it goes, there it goes. I was a little worried there. Like, what's gonna happen here? All right, get over here and go into this pipe this time. I'm almost positive this is a secret exit, so we don't have too much to worry about. Let's get to it. So more of the, these moving Moai heads that I'm messing up. Hold on. Ooh, ooh, come on. It keeps going and going, but we triple jump all the way over to it, 83 lives in total. Now as you can see, we get over three million points now too, so that is awesome. Very cool, very, very cool indeed. So that's the secret exit, so if we wanted another way to get through Soda Jungle, there it is, but we're not too worried about that for now, um, because we need to go to 5-6, which I don't know if that's along the path here or not. Ooh, there's a couple things to check out. These boos are all over the place. They just run around like little lunatics. Oh, it's like a little puzzle. I know there was one in here, but I actually want to see what's going on. I want to see what these boos do, so might as well check it out. Okay, there's boos everywhere, and I'm assuming that inside of here will be a star, so please give it to me, game. Come on, there we go. Gotta be careful now, because I don't know what happens if the star runs out. <laughs> there we go, we get a one up for it, and we get, oh, a P-check crown. <laughs> I don't really need that one, but hey, I'll take it. I don't know if I'll bother taking out the other booze. I don't think it's worth it too much. I don't remember where they were, unfortunately. But there we go, P-check crown. <laughs> that is our fourth one. Does this one have a boo? It does, so we're doing with this boo as well. That's fine, I don't really care too much. Okay, this one's actually much easier. Yeah, this is much easier, because there's no risk of falling off. I mean, there is, but there's not really as much. Okay, get up here, got it, and then 
fall down that way. Get these two, these two. Perfect, and got him. There's another one up. I thought that's the nicer part, is you get a free life out of it. More than anything else. Okay. So. With that done, we get a star. I'm gonna put that over the star. I think that'd be fine. <laughs> we'll just do that. I don't think we need more than three, or two stars. in this plenty fine. Because they're only temporary, temporary. So we'll check out what's in the Soto Jungle Mushroom Hut. Probably not anything I strictly desire. I mean, it'd be nice to have an ice flower too, I suppose. So I definitely need to focus on that and the Bowser. Because I don't want mushrooms. Like, that'd be a waste of a slot. So the Bowser's still on the right, now he's on the middle. I'm almost positive. I have no idea what the times two is. It doesn't matter too much. There we go. And there we go, just one ice flower. That's plenty fine for me. I'll probably put it over one of those stars, so. Okay, cool. And uh, yeah, with that done, I think we're good to move on to the next level. All right then, yeah, I will discard a star. There we go. Because it can be useful to have the P-Jack crowns if we're playing as Toadat. I mean, I think that after I play as, oh, that was that was the last one. So I guess we're doing all three of the boos. Uh, I think that after we play as Nabbit, I'll probably go back to playing Mario for the rest of the adventure. I mean, that's personally what I want to do. But we'll have to wait and see. Anyways, there is our star. I missed it, dang it. There we go. Get it. Got these two dudes. I'm messing up my jump like crazy. Come on, quickly, quickly, quickly. Get this guy. Come on, get him. There it is. And then. No! Wait, what do I do now? Okay, another one shows up. I didn't get a one-up for it. I mean, we are like strictly running out of time here. There we go. Perfect. And there we have it. A star. <laughs> I don't need it. I don't need it at all. Okay, so with that, as you can see, we get a star. And I'm gonna put it over the star. <laughs> Yes. There's no way to cancel discarding, so it's sort of the quickest way to do it. Okay, we're finally good to make our way down this way and see what the next level is. Oh, we got that weird transition again. There's two levels to go to. We have right here, Soda Jungle 6, Seesaw Bridge. Let's get started with this one. Now, Seesaw Bridge does not have a secret exit. We're actually through with the secret exit for the rest of the level, so that'll be awesome. Oh, look at this, we got little wigglers. These guys are the best. Uh, we already took them out. <laughs> sort of feel bad for that. And we don't want to land on top of them because that'll just make them mad. And that was the last thing I wanted from that. Whoa, whoa. My jump like didn't work there for a second. Okay, what's going on over here? Nothing? Oh no, there's something. I suspected as much. And that's not a power up. Okay. Yeah, then what is this? Maybe the first star coin. You bet it is. Ooh, that's tricky. Oh, that's real tricky, because we could actually die in this room if we're not careful, but we made it. That was pretty good, actually. I like it. Okay, so with that one done, I can dodge the most of these guys. This level, ugh, brings me back to some of the uh, jungle levels of New Super Mario Bros. Wii that were really fun. I mean, there were some really tough, not so fun, New Super Mario Bros. Wii levels. Oh, no. I should have thrown that Koopa shell over here. Let's see if he comes back. I mean, he should. Might have to just find another one. Oh gosh, whoa, be careful here. I wanna see what that is. I mean, that might be another power up. It's not common that they're in bricks, but they sometimes are. I can't reach it as small toad, so I gotta go find something else. Hold on, whoa. Ooh, I don't like this. Ah, I don't like this, I don't like this. Okay. Oh, how much you wanna bet that's a power up? Gosh darn it, now it's gonna go right into the goop. Well, I'm gonna bother, I'm gonna bother, bo borrow you real fast. Oh my gosh. Come on, come on, come on. I gotta be careful, because if I take too long, this Koopa will break out of a shell. Yeah, there it is, star coin number two. So, I gotta be very careful now. Okay, careful, careful, careful. Go over here, grab as many of these red coins as I can, because I do need them to get, uh, a power up, there we go, it is. A uh, squirrel suit, very good. And this has just a coin. That's fine with me, keep moving forward. I can't believe we haven't died yet. Ooh. Okay, boom, we got another mushroom from that. Oh my gosh, I don't want a mushroom. I already have one. Okay, keep going, go across this bridge like that, and slam through these guys. So where in the world could this last star coin be? I'm gonna have to start checking everything, pipes, and everything. I didn't mean to grab onto the side of that. Oh, here we go. 
This could be it. Very well could be. Yes, indeed it is. So, oh, oh, I don't like this. I get it though. Whoop, got it, there we go. <laughs> All these will block you off and you have to get to the end. Luckily with our squirrel suit, it would have been relatively easy. I mean, maybe, I don't know if relatively is exactly the word, but we could have done it as you can see. So that's at least lucky, but we don't have to worry about it. We did it the correct way anyways, so we're fine. So with that done, I'm gonna jump and glide, just try to get out of here. Oh no, this may have been a mistake. We're fine, we're fine. It's such a cool idea for a level. It's just super scary and tough too. I could get a lot of coins here, but I just wanna play it safe and make my way through the level so I don't have to re-get anything because that'd be the worst right now. Boom, there we go, we get a one up and everything. So 87 lives in total. We really are closing in the 99. Don't know if we'll be able to get it in today's episode, but I'll definitely try as we move on to the next level, which should be uh, the seventh, right? We need to do the seventh level, the special level, and then the final castle, oh, which is uh, Iggy, right? Yeah, it's Iggy, so yeah, we'll deal with him soon enough. But for now, Soda Jungle 7, the Wiggler Stampede. All right, more Wigglers going on here. Oh yeah, they are, they're, they're huge too. Oh great, I'm a little nervous. What is this gonna be? Another uh, acorn, so we'll leave that for now, and I see myself my first. Oh, be careful with this. There we go, very good, very good. <laughs> very scary, but very good. Wowie. Okay, that actually gets rid of them. I didn't know if it did or not, so it was a really risky move. Okay, whoa, what is that? Maybe star coin number two. We should definitely go and investigate it. It's definitely not a secret exit. It'd be very early in the level for a secret exit. It's just some extra stuff, I suppose. Let's get the extra coins first, I guess. Oh, no, it is. Look at this. Star coin number two. Oh, I see what we were supposed to do. I didn't quite do it. <laughs> I was supposed to hit this up. Gotcha. All right, very cool. If we get the star coin, that's all I'm really worried about. So there we go, star coin number two. And already the halfway point. This is a short level so far. I mean, there have been plenty of times in these games where, oh gosh, keep going, keep going. What is up here? Anything? I don't know. Oh, that was maybe a mistake. Maybe a mistake. Will another Wiggler show up? I sure hope so. <laughs> Cause if not, I'm stuck. Wiggler. No, 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 hold on. Oh, oh, he's back, he's back. Thank goodness. Hit that button again. Catch up to him. That was really scary. We got rid of the Koopa, which makes it a tad bit easier. Yeah, they're cheering for me. Got it. I just don't know if there's anything on the top of that platform over there. Oh, there's a Wiggler behind us as well. We got a little bit of a traffic jam happening. There we go. Oh, almost got them all. Missed one of the blue coins there. So where in the world is this last one? Boing. Got another one waiting for us right here that I'm gonna have to skip out on. There we go, I'm up here now. Sort of skipping down the whole Wiggler portion of this. I get another mushroom for one of those things, gosh darn it. <laughs> Not what I wanted. Oh, maybe it's up here? Doesn't, oh, here we go, here we go. So I guess the idea with this one is that you're supposed to wait for the Wiggler. Oh, he's like super under there now. It's, it's deep water or deep soda. What's up here? I guess there's coins. All right. Keep on gliding and I got it, I skipped out all the Wiggler parts. I mean, sometimes it's just simply easier, so I'll leave it be. But there we go, 3.2 million points, and along with it, 90 lives. Very, very good. Let's keep moving forward with that one. Okie doke, so like I said, we could go to the castle now, but what I'd much rather do is march all the way back. We can even take a little bit of a shortcut here, and that really shouldn't be too bad of a deal. We just end up right over this way. I don't know if that's actually faster, but at least we get to dodge the booze if there are any of them left, which there might be. We don't have to do the weird transition again, but at least we can just get up here now. I think that might be a tiny bit faster, hard to say. And we can get back up here where this is Soda Jungle, whatever those things are, the Parabeetles. Soda Jungle Parabeetle, fight of, flight of the Parabeetles. Very cool, let's get it started. Hmm. So, oh, this is gonna be a tough level, isn't it? It is gonna be a very tough level. So when we stand on these guys, they actually start raising, which is good. I already have a scroll suit, but good to know that that's exactly what I'm supposed to have. And there's star coin number one already. Yeah, but we've seen a similar level in New Super Mario Bros. Wii, I think it was. And these can be just very, very tough. So you just gotta be careful. Hard to tell where I'm going at the moment. But the big ones, when you stand on them, they start to fall. And the, the smaller ones will start to raise. 
Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Ow, oh no, that's not good. That's not good, I just missed out on the squirrel though. But if you keep jumping on them, they'll play a tune that's slightly higher each time. If you do that enough times, it eventually gives you a one up for some reason. What that reason is, I'm not entirely sure, but it's what it does. Okay, I'm gonna get another squirrel suit here. I missed out on the one up, it would have been great to get one. But I'd much rather have a squirrel suit. Okay. Come on, come on. I think it's like re touching each one without touching the same one twice. That gets you the star coin. Whoa, that's a giant bonsai bill. Oh no, not again, not again. Watch out. Oh boy, that, the guy, that guy is huge. Oh, there's another one coming too. You can tell by the coins. You can tell by the coins. Get me out of here. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Go up, go, 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 go. Ah! Okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Oh my gosh, that was scary. Oh, there's another one coming. You can barely know this time. This tells you by the blue coin. So if you don't press that button, you wouldn't have any way to know about that one. I don't wanna go too high up in the air. I might bump into one of these guys above that I wouldn't even be able to see. There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, what's going on with this? Um, I don't quite know but I think that I can maybe enter this red pipe with one of these guys. That might not be the case, but I have no clue where this, the third star coin is. So it might be also what's actually true. Yeah, okay, awesome, we did it. <laughs> that is really tricky, but look at that, star coin number three for us. Oh no, 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 ah, I thought this was gonna be the triple jump, but for some reason it wasn't. Anyways, 91 lives there. I probably had the potential to get way more, but I didn't. What an interesting special level. Very stressful, very, very stressful. But what does that unlock for us? Probably all the way over to world seven, the sky level, the sky world, whatever it is, which I'm not too worried about at the moment. Yep, not as extravagant as some of the other shortcuts, but still pretty cool. All right, so with that done, we'll save it up and we will move on over to the castle. So let's get to it. Okay, so here we are at the castle. It is Soda Jungle Castle, Iggy's Volcanic Castle. That's a lot of castle in that one. But yeah, this will be interesting. His name is indeed Iggy. Usually he has a chain chomp helping him out. That's how it was in the Wii and the 3DS game. So you can only hope that if that's the case here, it won't be so bad. Oh yeah, there's a raising. Well, obviously it's a volcanic castle, but the raising and the lowering lava, if that lava hits us even once, we're taken down. Like it's, it's done, it's over. I don't think there's a star coin in this little pit, but it's always good to check. Oh no, oh no. Doesn't look like it just yet, but I feel like it is in one of these. So we just gotta keep our eyes peeled for now. Uh, don't quite see it yet. Once again, you never ever know until it's way too late and you gotta do the whole castle over. And that always stinks. You know what, let's go ahead and freeze one of these dudes and use them to take care of the rest of them maybe? There we go. Oh, definitely could have gone a one up if I did that better. Oh well. Oh, maybe there's a star coin in this one. Uh, not looking like it. There has to be one somewhere. I know of it. Not down there. Oh, here we go. Ah, ah, that was so badly timed of me. <laughs> I did such a bad job there. Okay, well, we'll get a second chance and maybe that'll make it even better. You know what? If we, do we have any mushrooms in our inventory? I don't think we do. No, we don't. All right then, Never mind. Never mind. back it out. We'll just go in there normally again and try to be a little bit better this time into Iggy's Volcanic Castle. That would be good. Okay, so let's keep moving. And booty slam this one, perfect. Got it. And now I need a second power up, which I think another one's coming up in a second. But yeah, that was definitely start coin number one. I saw that much. Whoa, gotta be careful. I need this power up though. There we go. And if I do this correctly, we should be able to get two one-ups out of this instead of one. There we go. Awesome, 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 awesome. There's one one-up, there's two. Yep, very cool. I wonder if I timed that well enough. Maybe I could have even gotten three potentially if it could have slid over to this guy. I don't think that's possible, but it might be. So this is a bit scary because you do need the duck jump over that. I'm almost positive. Just like that. I mean, maybe you could have had like a moment too. But luckily, I didn't need it. There we go, we're fine, we're fine. And boop, that's another ice flower that I, I suppose I could just leave there if I wanted to. Come on. And I guess I'll grab this. 
Oh yeah, that won't keep him frozen for long because he's so big. Oh no. Oh boy! Oh, there goes my one-up. <laughs> All burnt up, the poor thing. Let's go into this pipe. I'm just glad we didn't lose our life there. <laughs> um, now this still, oh, I see. So there's another pipe to get up to. There has to be. Looks like it. I guess I gotta get up to this one? Is that what's happening here? Do I need to like bounce off of you to reach it? Yep, that's a little tricky part of this. Luckily, we were able to do it. And from here, I can throw the POW block and the star coin will fall. Easy as that. There's another life for us. A 94, it really is sort of a bit of a rush to see if we'll reach 99. Okay, keep going. And there we go, very good. Okay, trying to be careful here. Oh boy, oh I see that pipe. This is risky, oh man. It's a very short castle, but with a lot of challenging little bits to it. Okay, so this could definitely be a bit of a challenge because they bounce into each other and that makes them sort of move in a way that's sort of hard to predict, but we did it. There is all three of the star coins. We can keep moving. We'll find out what is next. I'm guessing the Iggy Koopa battle. What else would it be? And what's over here? Got a fire flower that'll probably be a little bit more useful for a boss fight, so let's get to it. Let's move on to Iggy Koopa. I feel like, yeah, this has been a long world. It took us over an hour to get through and we were doing a really good job with everything. Like maybe a little less than an hour for you guys, but for me, hour and 10 minutes so far. And usually, I think the last world took me like an hour and a half, so I feel like we're making good time. Not messing up as much, for sure. All right there, fire blue toad. Good luck. <laughs> Hopefully everything turns out okay. Oh gosh. <laughs> He's so wild. No chain chomp this time. I sort of missed the guy. Okay, so what is he gonna do? He's on the ceiling right now. There's one of them was red. Oh my gosh, it makes this dude. Oh, that's actually really cool. I forget what, these guys, I think they're called blargs. Okay, I'm getting you. Oh, you, you little trickster. He does not hang around for long. Can I go through the pipe? That'd be cool if I could go through and be on the ceiling and stuff. That'd be a lot of fun. All right, so I need to jump over him and wait for him to be ready to plop down. I need to jump on him immediately. Got him, perfect. So I need to pay extra, extra attention to where he's gonna pop back up. I wasn't expecting that, that's for sure. Oh boy, come on. Come on. The second he pops out of his shell, I need to be ready for it so that I can, oh darn it, you get back here. Yeah, I thought, I thought so, buddy. This is scary, actually, this is really close. This could turn out pretty bad. Oh gosh, I'm not careful. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, he's gonna pop out right now. No, where are you going, where are you going? You get back here, yes, we were able to do it. Oh, that was close, very close. Good job, Toad, good job. <laughs> All right, so we did it. We defeated World 5 Sword of Jungle along with the Iggy Koopa. Blue Toad's gonna show him his boss on that airship, right? Looks like it. Okay, so very good. He's flying away, right? See ya, Iggy. You are out of here. There it is. <laughs> yeah, okay, so there we go. And should we do the happy little dance for getting everything? Indeed we will, yeah -hoo! You got all the star coins and so did Jungle. So there's our fifth world. We'll be checking out Nabbit, I believe. See, so yeah, we've checked out Mario, Luigi, Blue Toad, Yellow Toad, uh, Toadette, and now finally, look at this, we have Nabbit. He is the easiest character, but actually has a weird set of caveats that we'll get into. I don't know if we'll be spending the entire episode playing as him as we move on to world, like I said, six, Rock Candy Mines. Uh, we will play him a little bit, but once we get into it, we'll talk about it a little bit. Here's Boom Boom hanging out on his tower as per usual, but there is a second tower. Wonder well, what's in there, I guess we'll have to find out. And along with it, the castle with Roy Koopa in it. So we're tackling the first level here, which is Rock Candy Mines 1. Let's get started. Nabbit is a weird one, because a lot of people think he's Bowser Jr. because of his little mask, just like Bowser Jr. has it around his neck. I don't think it's ever been confirmed or anybody really knows. So here's the thing about Bowser Jr., or not Bowser Jr., about Nabbit that you might notice is that he doesn't take any damage. And also, he's weird. <laughs> but he doesn't take any damage, but the, the the thing is that he cannot ride Yoshi, which is a total shame, and he can also not actually pick up any power-ups whatsoever. So while I did want to showcase him to some extent, I probably won't be playing him through the, throughout the entire episode, because there are literally uh, star coins, and maybe even certain jumps, that are not possible with Nabbit. 
because you can't use the scroll suit or Yoshi to actually flutter up to certain jumps. So we'll try it for this first level and see what ends up happening. But I don't plan on playing much of this episode with Nabbit at all because I do need to make progress in today's episode. But it can be nice, you know, if you have a level that you're particularly having a really hard time with and you know, you just sort of want to get past, Nabbit can be a fantastic choice because of that because, you know, he doesn't get hit by any enemies. Of course, like we just saw a second ago, he does still um end up, like I can't even get this one. I don't think there will be any way I can get that. I will try to, but I don't think there's actually any way I can get that as Nabba. Yeah, it's not looking like it. So I already have to switch away from him. I'm sorry for major Nabbit fans, but I just can't. I just, like, I can't get these star coins without him. Uh, it gets very, very tough, and some of them are literally impossible. So for right now, we'll switch back to like Mario. Um, I've been wanting to play more of Mario, but he's a fun character. I would love to know more about Nabbit. It'd be cool if he started showing up in like Mario Party and stuff. That would be really cool. A lot of people think that, like I said, he's Bowser Jr. Because if you look at Bowser Jr.'s scarf, it has that same like little mouth thing to it. So who knows if he actually is Bowser Jr. in disguise? I want to make too much sense because Bowser Jr. is also an enemy in this game, and he can play as Nabbit while going against Bowser Jr. Maybe it's like his long lost brother or something. I don't know. But yeah, I would love to hear your thoughts on Nabbit as a playable character in this game and as a character in general. I mean, I think he's pretty cool. I think he'd fit in just fine with like the typical like Mario Party crew and maybe even like Mario Tennis or something. What's going on down this way? I mean, I guess I could have thrown a shell down there. And that would have done something for us. I'm not too worried about it. See, so yeah, we'll be looking around for more star coins. We already got the first one, so that's a pretty good sign. This, these fuzzies are all over the place. If we get hit by them at you know a bad angle, we might have a problem because we'll lose our Yoshi and we don't want that happening. Let's pick up these and what do we get? We get a nice flower. I don't know if that's all mu that much better than what we currently have, but it's what we got. Now down here, I did notice there is certainly something, so let's flutter over. Where does this pipe lead? Hmm. I love the little extra drums that get added to songs when, when you're playing with Yoshi. Okay, got it. We're doing good, we're doing good. So that's star coin number two. Lots of risk there to fall into your doom, but we didn't, so that's always nice. We can get back up this way. I gotta say though, you know, I played this game, when I played it for the first time, I played it of course on the Wii U and I played it with the Wii U Pro Controller, and now that we've been playing with the Switch Pro Controller, I do really realize how much I prefer the Switch Pro Controller over the Wii U one. Not to say that it was bad, I just sort of like it better. I feel like it just has like more reliable like button placement and the way it, oh gosh, no wait, what happened? I don't know, that was weird. <laughs> like we hit the side of that block and we fell to our doom. Am I gonna have to get that second star coin again? Probably. Did we even hit the halfway point? Yeah, we did, dang, that stinks. All right, I'm back, I'm back. Let's try this again. There we go, gotta be careful, these blocks can be a bit tricky. But I just need to jump up like this, not mess up our flutter. It looks like I could probably get like a one up here. Yep, oh, that is so risky. I don't know why I even go for that. Like I have a much higher chance of losing a life. Oh my, this looks risky as well. Oh, I see what I do. Go ahead and give me another one of those. Thank you. I mean, I just spit it that way. Look at that chain combo, isn't that cool? Ah, oh, that is so awesome. So go ahead and grab that. And we're good, we got all three star coins. We got ourselves a fire flower I will gladly pick up. Just to make Mario a little bit more prepared for what might be ahead, whatever it could be. Oh gosh. Lots of stuff going on here. I can't believe I survived that. Keep going. Boom, we made it. Oh boy. Okay, so this World 7 have a secret exit. I mean, this first level in World 7, or World 6, actually. I don't know why I keep on thinking we're in World 7. And clearly we're not. That's the cloud world. Okay, go for it, and we made it. Good job, Yoshi, that was a fun level. I wish we could have enjoyed it with Nabbit, but unfortunately we can't. That's fine. So with that done, we're gonna keep moving forward and see what else we got going on. Cause I don't know if there's really too many, so like, you know, last world had a lot of secret exits. This one seems to only have two. So it looks like now I got the switch, I can press that. And I know there's a little secret exit thing over this way that we've already unlocked with this thing. I don't know where it goes though. Like I could hop on that and sort of see where it brings me. I think we'll save that for later though. For right now, I could go to Rock Candy Mines too. Porky Puffer Falls. Let's hope this turns out okay. I hate the Porky Puffers. We've run into them a lot in our new Super Mario Bros. series. And I'm sure they haven't gotten any friendlier over time. Because I just don't seem to be that kind of guy. I think I'll leave. I was going to say, I'm going to think I'll just leave that cheap cheap alone. And then I did not. All right, let's get to this. What is going on up this way? Oh, it's him. It's him. I don't like it. You ready for this? Ready for this? Whoop. 
Yeah, get out of here. Now they always come back. It takes a minute or two, but they always come back. And it is the worst. There we go, got rid of him. Anything going on up this way? Maybe? Ooh, look at this. Oh, that's actually how you get that. Too bad I messed it up. I mean, I guess it's not the only way you get that. Oh no, now we're in big trouble. Now we're in big trouble. He's just swimming around, he's trying to get me. Oh boy, leave me alone, you're such a bully. What did I ever do to you? He's like, you taste good, that's what you did. Okay, he's gonna go, I'm gonna throw this, and just gonna miss him. Totally whiffed it. Ah, get over here, be careful, be careful. So he's trying to get me. Look, I can't even imagine that, you know, Mario would taste all that much better than like the Koopas or the, the, the fi other fish, you know? Why does he want us so much? I mean, maybe he gets paid by Bowser, and that's just the long and short of it. Okay, come on, come on. Oh, I'm no way, no way, no way! Ah, oh, darn it. Couldn't quite reach. What about over here? Is there any hidden walls or anything? Not looking like it. Watch out! Yeah! And throw it. We're good. <laughs> So he's out of our hair for a couple of minutes. No, he's not, he's back already. We got a speedy return this time. Jeez. Okay, what's going on down here? There has to be something, right? No? Oh, you know what? I probably could have, let me try grabbing this shell. Perfect. It was actually really lucky. And star coin for us. So I can sneak under him. That's always good. And go, 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 go. Is this a, yes it is, perfect. Come on. Got him. That's all I wanted to worry about. So now I can actually explore down here rather freely and hopefully get ourselves an extra live here and there every once in a while. We earn up enough coins. <laughs> They're even cheering for us. Where in the world is this last one? Oh, he's back already. He comes back so quick. It's gotta be around here. I hear another one of those like little mystery power up things, which is always cool. I don't think it's over there with all these bricks. I'm pretty sure it's not, but it might be up here. Oh, maybe, just maybe. Let's try that again. Going across, jumping over here. Hold on, is there is there a wall here? Yes, there is, okay. And that's the most of that. Oh, almost got him. Oh, there it is, there it is. Okay, hold on. Get rid of you. Ooh, I'm getting a bunch of stuff here. I'm a little confused. I'm pretty sure there's no secret exit. So what this is, is a bit of a mystery. Let's find out. There's no secret exit, right? Yeah, there's no secret exit at all. Oh, I see, so it's probably just a shortcut to that star coin. So let's earn up all of these. 99 and boom, 100, so there is 43 lives. Butt slam down this way, and as you can see, we did it. So can we get up, back up that way? A little curious. I mean, I'm sure we can. I don't know if it's worth doing. Oh, that's really the only way to get that star coin as well. So, obviously, definitely worth doing. We can make our way out of here then. And is that it? I think so. Ah, yeah, we made it. So, 44 lives with Mario. Very good. Oh yeah, Mario time. Mario time. So now I think we're already good for our next tower. Out of two for this world. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Yeah, it looks like it. So what I gotta do now is I have to make my way down this way and press the blue button, and that'll activate this one path where we can run over here now and go to Rock Candy Mines Tower, Grinding Stone Tower. Let's deal with it. Hopefully this will turn out well. It would have been cool if this one had both Resnor and Boom Boom to make it a little bit more varietous, but hey, I don't know what we'll find in the next tower. I mean, I wish it would go back to the Mario Bros. DS days, you know, where actually, you know, every boss was like totally original. I mean, I guess it was Bowser Jr. every tower. But you know, that's still like, you know, but then all the normal bosses weren't the Koopalings. They were just like Giant Goomba and PD Piranha, you know? That's always cool. There we go, got this dude. Just trying to be careful. This looks like it's gonna be a tough tower with all these rolling guys. Ooh, is that star coin number one? Oh, it's Mini Mario, which I'm surely going to need. So I might want to take it, but it sort of popped up at the worst that's not fair. That was not fair at all. I wonder if it would have bounced off the wall or not. I don't think it would have. I mean, I have no clue. Maybe I should have just waited to find out. That was very silly. Okay, let me try that again. Okay, so let's try this again while there's none of those things popping around here. Run up this wall 
And look at that, there's the mini pipe already. So, that might be all we need. I don't know if we'll need it. Oh, this guy's big. Gotta be careful. So what I gotta do is from this side, wait for him to go this way, fall down. Go, 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 go. We got it. Run up this wall, and we are good. Oh boy, that's scary. I don't know if we need any more mini Mario though, so maybe I should hold on to him? It might be worth our while. Ooh, ooh, wait, 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 wait. Oh my gosh, we survived that. I think I might have messed up though. I think I might have to go to the right there, but now I can't. Oh, that stinks. Did I just mess that up too? I don't know if it's worth getting the halfway point then. Hmm. That really stinks. That might have been the star coin right there, the second one. We'll keep looking around to find out. Okay, go across like that. And then there's definitely, oh boy, something up this way. Just more coins. This is getting me real nervous. Like, I think that knowing Mario games, I should probably hold on to this mini Mario for now and see what else we could possibly find. Oh, red coin thing, which would be nice. I mean, it's just gonna give me a one up. I'm almost positive. Seven and eight. There we go. Yep, just another one up. Got it. I am fairly nervous about the fact that I'm pretty sure there was supposed to be a star coin there that I missed out on. There's another mushroom. Oh, oh, don't hit that. That was really close. Trying to look for more like little exits or secrets or anything. Oh, there we go. See, look, there is another mini Mario thing. So let me be careful here. Wait for that to spit that dude out, and then we're just gonna go down, and quickly! Oh boy, that's scary. What do we get, what do we get? Oh, this looks tough. Oh, these guys are moving quick. I don't like it. No, no, no. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't like that either. <laughs> Keep jumping. Is this star coin number three? Ah, it's star coin number three. So I did miss out on it. Isn't that the worst? Man. So I gotta go and do this whole level again? Oh, is this a secret exit though? Oh, it is. So I had to do the level again. No big deal then. Not as worried about it now. Oh, and we get the 311 as the uh, finishing time, so we get an extra little item. It'll probably be a star though, so I'm not too excited. Hey, what's up? Uh, you got something for me? Thanks a million for your help. Here, take this. It's gonna be a mushroom. Ah, oh, that stinks, because I don't have any mushrooms to put that over, so I'm gonna have to like downgrade something. Uh, hmm. Okay, well for now, let's not worry about it. Where does that railroad lead? I guess over to an extra level, which is pretty cool. That looks like a fun one. But for right now, I got this mushroom. I guess I'll put it over a peach at crown since I do have four of them. I'll just go ahead and do this. Discard this thing. And I'll make my way through that tower again, get the second star coin and move on from there and hopefully everything will turn out okay. Okay, so all I gotta do is go over here and star coin number two. Look at how easy that was. So now we should be able to storm through the rest of this level and sort of see what it's all about. Hope everything turns out okay. We got an ice right there. And I think I can go this way. Oh no, thought that was a little shortcut, but not quite. And is this where, oh gosh, I can't really quite remember. No, this was the, uh, the red coins, gotcha. I mean, I'll grab these again, cause why not? You know, get an extra one up out of it. I have almost 50 lives now, so that would be good. Got it. And what about in here, another one that I will leave for later just in case I need it. But yeah, up here is where we were supposed to, you know, go into the mini Mario thing, which we did. So now that we've done that, we can just go up this way. And we were right there anyway, so it's not too big of a deal. Throw that guy out of the way, get ourselves a fire flower. I'm curious to see if there's anything over here. There's not. All right, so let's go ahead and deal with Boom Boom. I can only hope it'll turn out okay. I mean, Things have been going so far so good in today's episode. I mean, once we switched off a of Nabbit, which I'm sorry we had to do, but we really had to do it. I mean, Nabbit would definitely make an area like this easier, but he couldn't become mini Nabbit or anything, even though you're so cool, you know? Oh, well. So he is, oh, he has wings now. <laughs> I was not expecting that. I mean, that's a, both an upgrade and a downgrade. He doesn't have any hands. How's he gonna like, I don't know, eat soup? Okay, so it looks like he's going to like, try to soup down on us, depending on the direction he's facing. Like, like, once he stops, we know he's swooping. Dang it, the angle is super weird though. Okay, let's try to, uh, I was gonna try to be ready for him. Oh, got him again, that was good. And then, there we go, very nice. Boom Boom's taken down, wings and all. And we got him, Mario's number one. 
So with that being done, we're not quite finished with World 6. We got lots more to go, actually. This is probably gonna be a long episode, because there's just like a lot going on in this world. Because now that we've done that, we need to move to a level three, I think? Which could be any of these, really. Um, maybe this one? Yep, I will save. And let's try this one out. This is level three, Rocky Candy Mines three, Waddle Wing's Nest. What's a Waddle Wing? I guess we'll find out. Could be a tricky thing to deal with. Uh, oh, there's chain chomps. I don't think they're Waddle Wings, but you never know. Oh, what's under here? Nothing? Hmm, that seems peculiar. Okay, for right now, I'll let this chain chomp do his thing so that I can ruin myself. There we go, and he's running. <laughs> I wanted to see what's down here. Oh, there's more, all right. Oh, cool, plenty more. I mean, not too much I really need. Just more coins. Yeah, I'm trying to just sort of avoid the chain chomps. I'm sure at some point or another, they'll help contribute to a star coin, so I will have to be aware of that. But for right now, we can go into this red pipe and see where this leads. Definitely somewhere. Ooh, is this like a puzzle? Hmm, yes it is. Luckily, I can just jump back up. Not really too challenging of a puzzle then. <laughs> if there's like no risk of actually losing. Anyways, we got it. So, that is star coin number one, correct? I didn't mess that up? Yep, we're good. Thought so, because we were pretty early on in the level. It'd be weird if that was already star coin number two. Get across like that very nicely. And then I think the idea here, yep, is that he's supposed to be launching to the left. I do appreciate that in this game, it only takes one butt stomp to unleash a chain chomp instead of like three, like it has in, oh, come on, previous new Super Mario Bros. games. That might actually really mess me up, unless there's a button to press. Okay, get out of here, Mr. Squirrel, because I only have so much time to make this work, which means you bet I'm guaranteed to mess it up. Go, 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 go. Oh boy, that was close. No, there was more? Why was there more? Oh, you stinker. Oh no, and I grabbed those coins as well. I might have to redo that whole thing now. Yeah, the button's not even there. That stinks! It might not even be worth getting this uh, halfway checkpoint then. Like, I might just wanna just avoid it. And I got it anyways, oh well. I'm gonna have to redo the whole level now though. I mean, I guess if I die, I can just sort of backtrack a little bit. It's not too bad. Nothing up there, okay. But that's really frustrating. So we got some really tough star coins in the game now. You just gotta be careful for them. So I should be able to dodge the squirrel this time. But you know what, I'm taking them down if I have the chance, because they've just been in the way too gosh darn much. Hold on, I'm not done up there. Nothing up there? If you say so, oh dude! I am so done with these darn squirrels. They are all up in my business, and I don't appreciate it. Ugh. See this third star coin, really, really easy. I haven't got a problem. But if I grab this, we should be able to get at least some power-ups back here. That would be good. Got it. And we're good. So for this one, give me that Tanuki. Not Tanuki, oh my gosh, I'm always forever going to make that mistake. Just, it just It's really easy to make, I guess. Hmm, so what's going on here? First off, let's get rid of you. Oh, don't hurt me. Oh, I don't know if they can hurt me when they're like that. What is this way, nothing? You're just sort of an opening to nowhere? Weird. And then this has to be the exit, right? I would suppose so. Alrighty, and go for it. We made it. Very cool. So I gotta play through the entire level again to get the, th the second star coin. But then after that, we're actually properly done this level. I don't know, this is gonna be a long episode. This is, there's just so many levels to this one. Because there's two towers, a castle, and I think seven levels? I don't know if this is, I think they compensate with that by not making a special level, we'll find out. There's a baby Yoshi over there though, I'm really excited. But for right now, I gotta go back in. Okay, so let's not mess this up so much this time. I mean, if there's none of the squirrels in the way, like that was the problem before, is all the squirrels were in the way. There we go, we got it, and boom. Look at how easy that is, it's so easy. I just messed it up because the game is silly and there's a lot of squirrels. So let me get to the end now and we'll be good to move forward. All right, so star coin number three has been gotten, so let's move down here, which should be Rock Candy Mines number four. Indeed it is Light Blocks Dark Tower. Ooh, one of the dark levels. These can be challenging as well. So I wanna double check real fast. Which ones am I looking for secret exit wise? Level five and level, that's it. Unless I missed one, no, okay, it was because of the tower also had a secret exit. Got you. Ooh, the Fire Flower will definitely be helpful here. Um, ooh, what is this way though? Oh, I was hoping, I mean, this is very helpful, don't get me wrong. Hoping it was gonna be a Golden Yoshi, because those guys are very, very helpful. But this lights up the whole room, 
and I can see for at least a limited amount of time. And then I grab this and we get ourselves another star. So I gotta quickly not play badly. The jump's a little bit different. <laughs> gotta be honest, like the jump is just ever so slightly different. There we go. Um, when you are in star mode, because, like you see how he sort of like jumps into like a little ball? Like, that's definitely a little weird. What about this one? Please let this one be another star, indeed it is. Very good. I'm falling all over the place, so I gotta be quick. Come on, come on. I had to get over here real fast right now. Got it. And what about this pipe? Gotta be something, right? Yes, it is. Hopefully that other one is also gonna be a star. I don't know. <laughs> oh, here we go. Actually, I actually might have to wait for the star power to end. Because if not, I'm gonna fall to my doom. I'm gonna fall right through them. So that's a little bit odd. This is gonna be scary, but let's go for it. Bounce off of you, bounce off of you, get the star coin. I could have gotten a one up if I wanted to jump off of all of them. I didn't mean to do that. Ah, oh, dang it. Oh well, gotta try that again. Okay, so I made it out of that all right. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't talk much because I was just focusing on it. Um, nothing else going on over here, so I think we're good to move forward. I don't think I'm gonna get the star power out of those blocks anymore, but I'll keep looking just to be sure. Okay, what's going on in here? Yeah, see, that's not a star. I think that would normally be a star, but it's not now. Ooh, this lights them all up, and there's bob bombs, which is never a good sign. Like, don't get me wrong, I think bob bombs are pretty cool, but they're always, whenever they show up in a Mario level, it means some difficult stuff is about to happen, and I'm not looking forward to whatever it is. I mean, at least when it comes to star coins. Oh, see? There's a bob bomb thing here. I need to have a bob bomb to get through this. Okay, there's another one here though, luckily. So I can grab him, go down this way, and just plop him down. Yeah, he did it, good job, good job. Usually those guys give me so many problems, so I'm glad we were able to figure that out. And there's something going on here. So let me try to dodge that guy, throw him down like that. And it was a one up. Well, that's not what I was hoping for. Huh, weird. There's no star coin there at all. I was not expecting that. So let's go ahead and press this button and see where star coin number three is. Because I had thought it was gonna be up there and I guess I had thought wrong. I mean, it could be up there. Hold on, can we light this back up? Thank you. No, this is definitely not it. But you know what it is? A way to take care of the hammer or the fire, bro. There has to be another way around here for the star coin. All right, boom, we get a fire flower again. Didn't quite need that. I wanna wait for this button and then we'll go up like this. Got it. Oh, I see it. You're protecting it? Not for long, buddy, that's mine. That is good, okay, so we got through this level. It was a bit of a challenge, but we made it work. Where are those bob bombs coming into? Well, I guess this is where they just spawn in to, to fall into the cave. Weird. All right, let's go for this. Boing, boom. There's another one up for us. Very, very nice. Core's clear. And now we can move on. So that was level what? F not six four, you know, five four. Uh, six four. So now we have to move on to six five, which I guess would be up that little ladder, maybe? So first off, we can get Baby Yoshi, and then we go press the button, we can get something else there. Hi, Baby Yoshi, you're adorable. So let me press this button, and we can go and do the one-up hunt, and that might be a little bit more useful. Rock Andy Mines Mushroom Hunt. Get some one-ups. All right, so we're pretty familiar with this at this point. We just gotta collect all the one-ups that are coming in. Two, one, go! Okie doke, okie doke. Got it. Got it, didn't hit the Bowser there, which is good. Try to hit every one up and not hit a single Bowser. Dang it, I hit two of them there. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm the worst. Uh, I don't know if that one was even possible. That one was immediately undone. It's not really doing too well here, to be honest with you. No, come on. Got it, and uh, yeah, I don't even know if I stayed positive there. And I missed both of them. <laughs> oh my gosh. How many did we get? Three, ah, oh, it's okay, could have been worse. So with that done, we get 61 lives in total. And we can check all this stuff out. So Baby Yoshi, you're coming with me, and we're gonna get up this way. Uh, Rock Candy Mines 5, Walking Piranha Plants. 
Oh, great. They were tough enough when they weren't walking, but now they are. That's gonna be a bit of a problem. So, let's go ahead and grab Blue Yoshi. Blue Yoshi's a little bit different. He spits out the bubbles, which honestly, I don't know how helpful that will be for this level, because we can't hold on to those chains. So we might end up ditching him at some point, and I don't want to even think about that, but it is a possibility. So, sort of mess things up for me, myself here. I gotta be careful now. I had to really try to get that acorn. Come on, got it. Get that. I do not want the ice. I'd rather have this acorn suit. Oh, here we go. Let me go ahead and give that a, no, Baby Yoshi, I needed that. Okay, Baby Yoshi, can I trust you to stay right here because I need to do this a different way now. This doesn't work. Oh, great. <laughs> no, uh, uh, really? Well, I think that Baby Yoshi's gonna be gone now. That sort of sinks. I mean, he still should be in the level, right? I don't know. It'd be cool if he was. Let's try that again. Get back over there, but now I don't have the acorn anymore. I mean, if I get the mushroom from that one area, like if I don't grab it here, and then I go and get a mushroom over this way and then come back. Why'd I do that? Be careful, be careful. Because I think maybe it was the one with the Koopa. Just throw that over there and get rid of all these dudes. Like that'd be appreciated. There we go. And that's gonna bust through that. And for now, I'm gonna grab this, I'm gonna move it. And that's good, that's good. Because now I can definitely go under here, and then we can go back and secure the question block that'll definitely, if we don't get hit along the way. Um, oh, oh, no, oh, come on, really? It threw me too far. So I just decided this time to go ahead and use a power up that I already had waiting for me. Oh, be careful, be careful. Um, I just used a power-up I already had waiting for me. I had the one mushroom in our inventory, so I just went ahead and did that so I could get this. Because I did it twice. I went over there, I tried to get the power-up, and I died on the way back. Now, if I remember correctly, this might be something. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. And I hear Mario getting higher and higher up. I suppose not, that is nothing. <laughs> Good to know, though, Good to know. What about down here? Nothing? Guess not. No! Oh boy, don't fall. Don't fall unnecessarily. It'll just be awful and embarrassing. What about this one? One of these has to, there we go, gotta be a secret. One of these weird little openings. So, my expectation here is to what? Oh, I remember this. This one's weird. It's sort of weird because this like goes against the conventions of normal Mario gameplay. But what they expect you to do here is, wait, was this wrong? Oh, that was wrong. I swear that there was one where it almost loops around as if, <laughs> It's like some weird, like, mirror world. Okay, I need to get that one up, because I really want it. I didn't want to get this checkpoint, but I guess I will. Oh, uh, watch it, watch it, watch it! But yeah, I did that all wrong, because I'm a dingus. I swear that that's how it was for one of them. We just get a lot of stuff. Like, a whole bunch of stuff. Interesting. And was it up here? It was. So let's get back in there, and actually get it this time. Because I swear that's how it was. Oh, I might not be able to get it anymore. Did I really mess it up, that up for myself? There it is, he's gotta get that double jump in there. Because if you don't know, you can triple jump in this game, and if you do so, it does actually give you uh, more, like you can double jump and triple jump, and each, the second and the third jump have a little bit slightly higher height to them. So that can get you some extra stuff. So here's the third and final star coin. You do need a squirrel suit for this one. It is pretty simple beyond that. All you gotta do is jump and glide, and then got it, perfect stuff. And then let's try to get rid of these guys without getting hit. Seems simple, but I have such an issue with it. I guess I'll just leave that. Maybe I can uh, utilize it later on. Ooh, can we get ourselves some one-ups here? No, we can't. Okay, just gotta be careful. I don't think there's a secret exit anywhere around here. Can I just get up here just for safety? There we go. Avoid that guy. Ooh, watch it, buddy. Personal boundaries, personal boundaries. Oh, come on, really? Okay, while we're invincible for a couple of seconds, we're getting hit, maybe I can do that. Okay, can these guys please leave me alone just for a second? There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, I don't like this, I don't like this. Keep going, glide, we got it, yeah. Okay, so I think we should be good. Just trying to look around. What is this though? Maybe there is a secret exit. I don't really know. Oh, there is, this is, yeah, level five. I forgot about this one. <laughs> okay, we might as well get it done now if I have it right in front of my face. Got it, okay. There it is. <laughs> I totally forgot about this one. It's a pretty simple secret exit. We got an item out of it, which will just sort of fill our currently unused slot because I used that mushroom. So there we go. 
Six five completed with the secret exit. I gotta go through it again, but that shouldn't be too big of a deal. I hope, thanks a million for your help. Here, take this. It is. Oh, nice, a nice flower. That's a little bit better than normal. So that is always good. And now, what do we got going on? What will that unlock? Not really entirely sure. It looks like another railroad heading to that. So that's not gonna help me with the blue switch, but for the red switch, you know, we got something going on. So I'm gonna hop back into this level, get the normal exit, and hopefully everything will turn out okay. Okay, so we're back here, and all I had to do was glide across like that, and there is the normal exit. Very close to one another, not really that big of a deal. I love his little his little flying thing he does when he completes the level with the with the, the squirrel suit. It's pretty cool. So this should unlock the path with the blue switch, which I'm guessing we're gonna need both of them sooner or later, so it's always good to have. But what's weird is like, what's the point of having this blue switch if I have a blue switch down here? Like, don't they all do the same thing? Yeah, they do. I mean, I guess with this one, I am forced to go through and press the blue switch if I actually want to move forward. I guess that is the trick. Anyways, now we have Rock Candy Mines Tower 2. It is Screw Top Tower, which I don't know if we're just gonna deal with Boom Boom again. There's nobody on the top of the tower, which is a bit uncommon. I don't know, I guess we'll figure it out. Um, hmm. Let's go ahead and spin through this. And what do we got in here? We still have to do the other level, the one with the little roller coaster. Maybe we'll do that after this. I don't know what level that is out. Oh, look at this. These are fun platforms. These remind me of the original Mario Bros game, uh, the, the arcade one, where Mario and Luigi are running around taking care of like turtles and crabs and stuff. There we go. Got it. And I might want to grab a nice flower for this one. I love being able to spin around on these things, though. They're a lot of fun. So what are we doing with this? Can I go in that pipe? I don't think I can. Hmm. It's a little bit of a weird area. Like a little bit of nothing over here for some reason. Huh. Okay, let's wait for this to come back. Because I just gotta be diligent, gotta make sure that we find these star coins wherever they might be. So it wants me to go up here. All right, well that's no problem. Where does this bring me? Up here with some extra coins, that's always nice. Got him. <laughs> Another applause. Thank you, thank you. Whoa, oh wow, we got sumo bros. That's cool. And boom, that's nice, that's nice. I can't get him though. <laughs> He's sort of in a bad position for that. Oh, come on, that ruined it. Oh, how did that not get him? Okay, get rid of this dude. I'm sick of it now. That ruined my fun. Where in the world are the star coins? We're going to the halfway point now and still not a single star coin, which is really concerning me. So like maybe up here? Ah, okay, well that hurt. And it didn't get me anything except for pain. Wow, okay, not good. Ooh, duck and cover under that one. I don't see anything over there. At least not yet. So go quickly, go quickly. Whoa, that was close. Okay. Be careful. Oh, come on, I was trying to duck there, but we're too busy spinning around. So this guy's not too big of a worry. The only problem with them is you can't jump on their heads. Oh, there we go. That's a star coin. Is it star coin number one? Really? Another of those were a power up. Oh my gosh, this is a really tough level so far. I'm a little worried. All right, so let's go ahead and try that. Yeah, I thought so. I was thinking about it. I was, I was making my way back over here. I was like, you know what? That's probably it, and I just didn't think about it, and I was right. <laughs> so let's go through this, and this should definitely be the location of the star coin, I can only hope. Maybe? Let me bounce off of these things, if I can. Oh boy, come on, get me up there. Oh gosh. Can I knock it up there? I might have to do this the hard way, which is getting hit, and then hitting the pal block, getting rid of all those guys. Yeah, okay. That's tough, that's a real tough one. I mean, maybe if I had like the, the suit, I could have maybe gotten up there a little bit easier, obviously, but I didn't, the uh, squirrel suit. Now I have to be really careful, because I have no clue if we're gonna be able to make it until the halfway point. I can only hope, right? Okay, there's this thing coming on. Over, get him, perfect. Keep moving, keep moving, because do either of these have a power up? This one does, which is both good and bad because there's a guy blocking it. Okay, we're fine. Keep going this way. Get this thing. Oh boy. So we know where the second star coin is nice and easy. So the only mystery after that is finding the third one. We'll have to look very diligently for it. As well as I possibly can. Whoa, come on, how was I supposed to know you were there? That's sort of baloney. Okay. Is there any way I can get this star coin maybe a bit easier? Like if I could just do that and then 
Mmm, that was close, that was close. Let's try to do that again. Because I'm just trying to find a way to avoid the little fire bar, and that worked, so that's good. Got it. And neither of those have power-ups. And then I'm just gonna get rid of you real fast. It doesn't look like there's anything over here. There we go. Got him. I mean, so far, when I wasn't being a dingus, the star coins were quite obvious, so probably just need to pay attention. I don't know if I should just rush this. It's actually turning out pretty well, pretty well, pretty well! Go, go, go! Yeah, very good. Oh, I gotta get that over here. Never mind. <laughs> okay, keep going. Very nice. And what am I doing here? Oh gosh, I really hope there's not a star coin along any of those walls. Oh, come on again with you! Get out of here! So there has to be something around here, right? Oh, here we go. This could be something. Um, Maybe the star coin will be up here. Oh, I have a feeling it is nice, but we're still looking for a power up. That would be also very preferred. Yeah, fire flower. Okay, so now that we've gotten all of that, we should be good to go through here, but is it gonna be boom boom? What is this gonna be for the boss? I don't know. Oh, is it a sumo bro? Why couldn't we have more boss fights like this? This would have been so cool, you know? Just like anything shows up. A Koopa, a Goomba, even like, you know, the squirrel guys. Like, what if they show up, Kami goes his magic on them, they become a boss fight. Like, isn't that awesome? And they'll get us run over and boop. Oh wait, hold on, let's do that again. Quickly before he electrocutes us. Oh gosh, hold on, hold on. Mm, get him. Oh, that's not it though, that's only part one. Then we gotta land on his tummy. He doesn't like that very much. He's big too, you gotta be careful. All right, no you don't. Oh, the, yes you do, apparently. Oh, come on. Didn't even get him. There it is. I can't get him from this angle. This is awkward, very awkward. Come on, oh, that's so not fair. I don't care what nobody says. Ah, okay. I can't get up from there. <laughs> no, come on, I hate the music blocks. There we go, see, that's a lot easier, because now I can just sort of shove myself in like, not like that, like, oh my gosh, come on! <laughs> it's super awkward. Okay, go in. Jeez, that is so tough. Come on, get back up, see what happens. You're gonna go over there? I gotta dodge those. Ooh. I don't know what he's saying. Uh, no, 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 no! It's really tough! This might be the toughest battle yet. All right, buddy, I know all your tricks. I know all your moves. I'm, I'm gonna go after you now, and we're gonna win. Maybe. Let's see if any fireballs will actually hurt him. Like, maybe if I could just get to a good position. Maybe that's all I need. Cause he, like, he's up here, and that hurts him. Oh, oh, that worked. Oh, that worked, and you don't even have to land on his belly, which is the annoying part of the battle. Okay, like, that still hurts him, like, or still stuns Mario when he, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on, come on, keep going. Yeah, that makes it so much easier. Thank goodness for the fire flower. Wowie. <laughs> awesome stuff, so the sumo bro is down and along with it. You're all finished up, there we go. So, actually, we're not all finished up. We're finished up with this tower, which was a very difficult tower. So you can tell there's a lot of stuff going on here. But the thing I think we have to go, the thing we have to do first, I think. Like, let me check. We've already done up to level five and two towers. If we go over here and press this button, what is this? This is level seven, so I don't wanna do that one yet. I actually wanna go back this way, go all the way down. This has to be level six then, right? Only well, makes sense, so we'll go up and around. And here, this is level six, Rock, Rock Candy Mine Six, Thrilling Spine Coaster. The Spine Coaster levels can be a lot of fun. Hopefully this is one of them, we'll have to wait and see. Oh boy, because sometimes it can be really tough too. What's with the mini Mario pipe right off the bat? That's weird. Wonder if there's like a mini Mario thing here. I am not sure, oh boy. I don't know how I like this, I'm a little scared. Okay, we're going down, we're going up. Going down, we got our first Star Coin already. I mean, there was only one Spine Coaster level in New Super Mario Bros. Wii, but it was one of my favorite levels of the game because it's a super cool idea. I mean, it was a tough one too. Oh, I missed it. All right, well, I'm definitely not getting these red coins. Gotta be careful though, he's gonna dive under the goop. You gotta follow the coins, which is hard to do when it's so dark. Okay, ready, 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 ready. Bop. Ooh, what is this? Got some coins. Is that it though? I guess so. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go hop back on top of him before something bad happens. Cause that might have ended up happening. All right, we're going up, we're going up. What is this gonna be, probably another fire flower? Oh, it's a star! I will gladly grab that if I can. Oh no. We still have to be careful with the goop though. The goop is still gonna be a one hit takedown as far as I understand. But this might help us dodge these guys. Uh, I bet you we could get 
A one up, there it is. That was pretty cool, actually. <laughs> Still looking for star coin number two. Yeah, there it is. Oh boy, jump for it. Just follow the coins. If we follow the coins, everything will turn out okay, I hope. Another star, maybe? You bet it is. Oh, better or for worse, we're going down. There we go, that was good. That was good. Oh boy. Keep my eyes peeled, oh no. Did I do that incorrectly? I have a feeling that there was supposed to be a star coin down there. I don't know. Ooh, I don't know. There might have been a star coin down that way. I'm almost positive there is. It just feels like it, right? Like, look at the stuff down there. Like, that looks weird. I might have to redo this level, which if so, that'll be a total shame, but we're about to find out. What's going on with all this stuff down this way? Oh, wait, no, it's down there. Okay, this is probably not how I'm supposed to do this, but I guess I'm supposed to get a star from somewhere. Oh, no, I'm so gonna die. I'm so gonna die. I'm so gonna die. Whoa, weird. I guess I had to get the star. Right? Well, how other way would you do that? I don't know. But how could I finish the level soon enough with the star if it's a preset coaster? That makes no sense to me. I mean, maybe the mini Mario. I don't know though, because I have to I have to do, redo the whole level anyways. Oh, that's a pain in the butt. All right, so I think we're coming up on the star that I need. Now, there's a star right before the pipe that we also need to get. I think that like what we need to do is there's a question block there, and we need to hit that question block. So when this gets going, we need to get up like this, and then we need to jump for it, and then quickly, oh, there we go, we got it. Okay, that's very big. Now that we've done that, I think we'll be good. Because I've had to replay the level several times to get this figured out. It's been real tough, but we need to jump, get this one, that's another star for us, and then we can just quickly run over like this, and we got it, star coin number three. Okay, very cool. I don't know where this is gonna bring me, but we might as well ride it. I think that at this point, oh boy, look at this. Oh, no, I missed a jump, oh well. <laughs> I don't need it, it's fine. As long as we get all three star coins, which we definitely did, then I'm good with whatever happens next. So now that we've done that level, we can go and do Rock Candy Mine 7. Where does this lead though? I don't really know. Like, does it have like an exit? It has to have an exit, right? I don't know. Yep, it just leads right there. So sort of a little bit of a shortcut through this area, but now that I've done that, I can press this button, we can move to the left, and we can get this right here. There's Rock Candy Mine 7, Shifting Floor Cave. Interesting. Okay, so for this one, I don't know what we're running into, but it looks like, of course, it's a cave, it's underground. I don't know why that has me a little stressed already. Well, let's go under and find out. What's weird is that this stuff doesn't even look like rock candy to me. Like, rock candy, is that Pop Rocks? Or is rock candy something else? Because I'm pretty sure rock candy, rock candy is Pop Rocks. Oh, this is interesting. All these different like poles shifting around. This could actually get quite difficult, so we do want to be careful. Oh boy, Ooh, that was close. That was really close. I don't know why I'm playing so risky right now. It's not paying off, as you can see. But there is indeed a star coin over that way. Okay, I do see how to get it. Ooh, don't get squished or anything. Yeah, I need to go down like this, grab it, and that's star coin number one. Now I do see some stuff going on over that way. I don't think it's gonna be anything, but let's try this out. First off, let's get whatever's in the question block. It is a fire flower, good. And is there anything up here? I don't think so. Didn't seem like it. Ooh, I was trying to get up there, it didn't quite work. The giant piranha plant is sort of spooking me here. We'll go ahead and get this. Got it. Excuse me there, dudes. Okay, <laughs> I always get afraid these are the ones that sort of plop down, but those are the guys with the sort of grayish shells. Ooh, I had a feeling. I had a feeling there might be something up here. Unfortunately, not a star coin but at least that's one last place to check. Oh, this is a problem. Ooh, gotta be careful. Gotta be really careful. This is where we actually have to time our jumps, which is a scary prospect when I'm not good at doing that. So I think I do have to go up this way. There's no secret exit for this level, as far as I remember, or as far as I saw from my list. And there's star coin number two. So that was correct. Whoa, watch it. I might actually need this bat's help. No, I'm good, I'm good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's a lot of piranha plants. This one's really long. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so it's like one super long connected one. Ooh, and I do see that. Do we need a Koopa shell? Ooh, we need a Koopa shell. I'm pretty sure about that. So let's run backwards and see if I can't run into another Koopa. It'd really stink if they don't respawn another one. Like, that does not be fair. There he is. So here's our Koopa friend. And I need to get rid of these two things. And then hop on you. And this is where we gotta be quick. Remember that the Koopa is still in the shell. And 
if he's given enough time, he will pop out of it. So jumping around like this will probably give us a little bit of extra speed. And then ready for it? Now. Yeah, awesome. No, no, no! Oh, that's so unfair! I gotta do it all again! Okay, so I have this Koopa shell and we're just gonna be going at it again and hope that I don't mess up the jump this time. I mean, I could throw the shell, but like I do have a bit of a risk of messing it all up when I do that. Okay, so all we gotta do once again is wait for that to retract, but this is where things become problematic. Luckily, I can wait right here, but man, oh man, is that ridiculous. It's a tough star coin. Obviously, maybe it would be a little bit easier with a second player or even just like a, like a scroll suit, but not everybody has that, so. <laughs> Luckily, we were able to do it the way that it's intended, I suppose. And we're, I don't know what we're supposed to do there. Maybe there was a button somewhere I missed. I don't know, but we got it done. We got an extra item out of it as well, which is always cool. And we can move on. So at this rate, I don't know if there's anything else besides the castle. I'm pretty sure that's it. We'll have to go and check our list after this, like the, you know, the in-game list. Because I'm pretty sure right now it's just gonna be the castle. Thanks a million for your help. There's no special level for this world. It's the only one so far that hasn't had one. I don't know if the next world will, but we'll find out when we get there. But for now, let us keep moving forward. What do we got going on now? So that's obviously gonna, ooh, go down there. Okay, and down here. <laughs> I was a little worried for a second. And there's also a backdoor entrance to this castle, which is very interesting. So we'll check that, all that out in a moment. For right now, let's pause the game, go to our star coins, and yeah, all we're missing now is the castle. So let's go to it. It is Rock Candy Mines Castle, Roy's Conveyor Castle. Oh boy. <laughs> and then we'll check out that back entrance afterwards. Um, just to sort of, you know, check it out, see what it's about. Oh, actually, this could be a lot of fun. You know, these kind of castles can be an interesting ride at times. So yeah, I'm supposed to run across this guy, grab this star coin. So is there anything up there I can really access? There's some coins. All right, oh, and the one up. Pretty cool, actually, there we go. So now we're almost at 70 lives, that's pretty good. Nice. Very good, very good. And what's up here, just more coins. Just trying to check everything out, being as diligent as I can be. Let's get rid of this guy. <laughs> I don't trust him very much. And I don't think there's anything up there, but there might be something in one of these. So I'm gonna check these out as much as I can. If this one's just coins. But I can land back on this, I can duck and cover. Hopefully, yeah, we can fit. And what about up here? There's a pipe! Probably start coin number two then. Let's hope. Yep, oh, we're gonna be quick with this. We gotta be quick, we gotta be quick. They had something like that in New Super Mario Bros. Wii, I remember, but it was a lot more difficult. It was in the uh, the beach level, World 4 in that one. Maybe it was World 5, I think it was World 4. Um, And all the blocks were falling down, I need to be real quick with it. Okay, so I'm gonna throw that guy out of my hair. Just like that, it was pretty nice and easy. Let's grab some of these red coins. I don't know if I'm gonna exactly need it, but you know what, if I have the chance to take it, I might as well. So we already got two star coins before the halfway point. That at least leaves us with only a little bit to worry about, which is always good. Another ice flower. Whoa, hold on. Got it, and almost got it. <laughs> oh boy, so what do we do here? Oh, was that a mistake? Okay, that was just a one up. I guess I have to, oh, come on. Press this button and all these blocks start falling. Was that a good thing? I don't know. <laughs> that was weird. Hmm, but there's the, huh. So where's star coin number three? Ooh, I don't know, I'm gonna go back. So it looks like these dry bones are like indefinitely falling, or maybe they're just respawning when I get over. It doesn't look like they're over here, but, oh no, 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 oh, whoops. <laughs> where in the world is that third star coin? So I've been looking around for that third star coin and I do not see it. So I'm thinking that maybe it does actually have to do with that back entrance. Oh, maybe just maybe. So we'll look around with that one and hopefully we can find it. But for right now, I guess that means we have to get, that's weird then. If you wanna get all three star coins, you have to actually be able to get uh, Roy Koopa defeated twice. Very weird. Anyways, yep, we're going against Roy Koopa. One of the oddest of the Koopalings, if you ask me. There's nothing wrong with that. I just think he has some weird sunglasses. I like him. He's got some style to him. He stands out a little bit. Oh, and he's got the big cannon too. All right, let's try to get this dude. I don't know how easy it's gonna be. Might be a bit tough. Ooh, duck and cover into that. Oh, well, that was a bad bad job. There we go, we got him. So let's see if we can't land back on top of him before he causes too much trouble. Because I think he's gonna pop out probably right around here. 
No, not yet. He's taking his time. He's really taking his time. There we go. So he tries to pop out in the center then, huh? So I'll be ready for that. Okay. Come on, probably this time. No. And this time? No. Oh, he didn't this time, but we got him. So once you get him in rolling around, he isn't too bad. So there we go, Roy Cooper defeated without it being too much of an issue whatsoever. Very good. Which means, like I said, that should f technically finish everything for World 7, but we'll be going around trying to figure out this little block puzzle so that we can get that final star coin. And hopefully that turns out okay. So he's gonna fly off, he's gonna crash somewhere as per usual, see ya. Boom, ah, uh, that was a little too soon. See, so where does that lead them? I think onto that railroad or something? No, it has a cloud over that way. So what that is, I guess we'll find out later, because I'm not too worried about it right now. Instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get up this way, press this blue button, go around like this, and I think I've gotten this right now. Just gotta press this red button, and we can just go the long way around. Look at how cool this is. Pretty awesome, right? And like I said, with this, we can go into the back of the castle, Roy's Conveyor Castle, the back entrance, and yeah, look at this, it's its own thing. Maybe there'll be like a secret power up? There's not. This could be it. Whoa, that's a fast conveyor belt. I don't like that. So let's try to take this slow so I can figure out where in the world the star coin, oh, it's right there. So this will unleash that, and then we only have a limited amount of time that I totally ruined. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Whoopsies, that is weird. Will it start me in the front or the back though? I have to walk all the way around, that'd be a total pain in the butt. Okay, thank goodness that's not the case. So I gotta be quick, but not too quick, or the block will just smack me down into the lava. <laughs> Do I have to refight Roy though? I probably do. I'd have to imagine I do. Oh gosh, get it, perfect. So let's try this again. Let that stuff fall. Oh no, oh my gosh. This It's tougher than it looks when everything falls at once. You sort of panic, you don't know where to stand. Ugh. Okay, so we gotta let all these blocks fall except for the very last one, which is right here. Go, 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 we got it. So there we go, there's star coin number three. Easy enough, right? <laughs> You would think so, but then I mess it up so often. Oh, can we duck under this? Oh, we can, just barely. So spooky. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and refight Roy Koopa, and then we'll be all done. All right, so there we go. We got it, and Mario is super excited because we got all the star coins and rock candy mines. We are making our way over to World 7, the second to last world before we hopefully save Princess Peach. It is Maring Clouds. Now, the cloud worlds are usually a lot more difficult than your average world, and it looks like maybe we've done in Boom Boom for good. Kamek himself was waiting on that tower, and of course, our last castle here has Ludwig Koopa on it, so we're gonna have to be worried about that. But for right now, all we have to worry about is Maringu Cloud 1's land of flying blocks. And hope everything turns out okay. Like I said before, I'm a little bit worried because the the cloud worlds usually just have a pretty bad rap of being really tough. So we'll give this a shot, we'll see what ends up happening, and hopefully everything turns out okay. But let's get to it. So there's a lot of squirrels all over the place. It's actually bringing me weird flashbacks of some Super Mario World levels where there's a lot of flying Koopas running around. But everything's moving towards us right now. Like, it's weird, this is not an auto-scrolling level. Instead, all of like, the elements of the level are scrolling towards us. Very cool so far, actually, I like it. Whoa, hold on, hold on. So where is this first star coin gonna be? I'm sure it's gonna be somewhere nearby. What is that? That is a spring that I would probably need to use. Oh no, if I didn't have the suit. You know what, I bet you I could still make it up there, maybe? Oh no, uh, maybe not. I might get hit, but I might still be able to know. There's no way. <laughs> well, I've already messed up the first level. Isn't that great? Okay, let's try this again. Let me immediately get uh, whatever uh, scroll suit we can find right here. No, not, not right there. Uh, where's the scroll suit again? Let's try to find it without making too many mistakes here. Did I miss it or is this it? This is it, yeah, okay. So grab that one and I just gotta be careful not to mess any of this up this time. I mean, I don't need the spring if I don't make any silly mistakes, you know? So, let's try to be careful about that. And grab some more coins while I'm at it, because there's just a bunch of them hanging out. Because that question block has, oh gosh. Oh boy, see, what is that over there? The, like, there's a star coin right there, but I'm pretty sure we need to go through this pipe to even make our way forward with the level. Like, maybe I'm wrong? Is this a bonus? Yeah, I think this has to be a bonus. Lots of coins. Well, this is a star coin. So I guess there's just two of them really close to one another. Weird. Yeah, we'll plop out of here. I'm gonna grab onto the side of the wall, and then, oh boy. Okay, hold on, be careful. Oh my gosh, I did not like that. 
No. Whoa. Oh, come on. It pulled it out from under me. Oh, that was so uncool. Watch out. Jeez. These squirrels. They are ridiculous. Okay. I don't know. If, actually, let me check out some of these blocks. Let me, let's make sure none of these are like a little secret. There we go. Nothing like no secret to get a star coin somewhere. All right. Let's move on to the next area. And let's see if there's any star coins waiting for us here. We do get the halfway point, so that might be a good sign. Lots of enemies and things in the way. Oh, you know what? I need you, don't I? And then, I mean, I don't know if this is exactly necessary to do. Gosh darn it, well now I don't get to do it. <laughs> oh, this is such a weird level so far. I don't know if it's even worth worrying about that for right now. The red coins are a little, it's a little too late. My gosh, this is, this is a scary start to World 7. And I warned us, and oh my gosh, why didn't you jump higher? What? <laughs> Usually they jump much higher than that. I guess he was just trying to jump from one platform to the other. I didn't know what he was gonna do. Ah oh, man, this is tough already. Okay, so we'll try to get that, and we'll do everything we can to get all of, are you serious? Okay, now I really need to get these red coins. Come on, come on, yeah, I got them though. What a surprise, awesome. Dodge the squirrel, get this thing, find out what that is. Oh, yeah, what is this, this is probably another acorn, I have to imagine. Well, let's let that roll onto the cloud. That way, if hopefully, if I need it, it'll be available. I mean, it might just end up rolling off here. Looks like it, but here's the third star coin. Oh gosh, gotta be careful. I almost just slammed right into the unknown abyss below. Just gotta be careful now. We've gotten all three star coins. We just have to survive. Uh, which is easier said than done in a level like this. Oh, come on. That's fine, that's fine. We still have two more hits we can take, or I guess technically one. I don't know. And got it, there we go, level one of world seven. While it was difficult, is finally completed. Wow, I am very nervous for the rest of this world now, that's for sure. But from what I see, there's really only one secret exit in this entire world, it's for the ghost mansion, which is to be expected. So at least we don't have to worry about that as much. And we do also get a little mushroom hut here, which honestly, I might go ahead and snag now because you never know what we might run into in here. So not really anything I really want. I wish I could just leave, but I don't think it'll let me. Let me find out. Yeah, doesn't do anything. And I wasn't paying attention, so I don't know. I know this one's definitely a mushroom. That one might also be a mushroom. I don't know if we've gotten the Bowser one. I don't know. <laughs> just put that over there. What did we get? Yep, ah, that stinks. We could have gotten two crowns. <laughs> don't think I would have really used them, so it's fine, it's whatever. I mean, I don't know if we, you know, maybe we'll play a little bit of Toadette in today's episode. A lot of people have been saying I should play more Toadette. So maybe I should go check that out. I don't know. I just feel like some people, like some people have been telling me like, oh, don't play the easy characters. Some people have been telling me, oh, please play the easy characters. So I really don't know. Maybe we'll just, just do what we feel like, you know? So more Toadette might be fun. Oh, and we're still Peach at. That could be cool. Very good clouds to seesaw shrooms. Let's get started with it. I mean, you know, I'm just here to have fun at the end of the day. So it doesn't matter too much. All right, let's get to it. So, and this way we can actually make the most of, oh boy, most of our, what's it called? Our power-ups and our like our peach crowns and stuff. We can actually use those. Oh, and it's Yoshi, that's great. And here's star coin number one. That was as easy as can be. So let's make sure we grab these apples so that we can get even more stuff. And there's another peach egg crown. Why did you even give me the fire flower? <laughs> Who knows? Can we go down this pipe? Uh, let's let this guy pop out so we can eat him. And then I can land on that dude. So, so far, so good. Can we eat these dudes? Oh, we can. That makes it so much easier. Whoa, I went right under him. No, Yoshi! Yoshi, come back! Yoshi, come back! Yoshi, where are you going? <laughs> Get back here? Yeah, we got him! I can't believe that worked out. <laughs> weird, very weird. Okay, all I wanna do is get rid of this dude, get up here, and get this thing. Trying, to, trying out all these pipes is what's most important for right now. Got him. And try these ones, nothing. Because you never know where the next one will be. I don't know if you noticed, but this world is gonna be really tricky. But it's the last one we need to do before we get to uh, World 8, where we can save Princess Peach, hopefully. And we get a one up, very good. There's only one star coin so far. And oh uh, no, watch out! Oh, that was weird. We get another Peach at Crown. Mm. Oh, I still had a Koopa shell. Oh, I was just trying to lick him up. So this is like quite a combo level. Can I get in that cloud? Thank you. So what is going on around here? Anything to the left? 
I don't think so. Just keeps going and going. Huh, maybe not then. The only unfortunate thing there is that, whoa, we didn't have our flutter jump. Oh, that was weird. Come on, go back up here and then, oh, how did that not get him? That was also very odd. Get this, get over here. There's definitely a star coin over this way. Just had to make sure there was nothing over to the left either. Yup, here's the star coin. So I will take that, get the rest of these coins. Very good. We do have a little bit less lives than we did before. Just because every character has their own set of lives. Okay, yeah, this Lakitu cloud is done for. Might as well just go over here. I don't know if I should just grab another one. Another uh, cloud. Might be worth our while. Okay. Uh, oh, got him. Pretty easy to do, honestly, with all these platforms helping us out. Keep moving this way then. And let's take a look up here. I mean, I might have to like go back. I'm just trying to figure everything out though. Okay, well, that's as far as the cloud was able to get me, which, oh, here it is. This is definitely it. No? I think I just gotta make the jump better. Oh no, really? Oh, that is the worst. Oh well, I'm so sorry, Yoshi. That sinks. And here it is, which is really easy to get with Peachette. When, if I could, I can see where I'm going. The thing about Peachette is that her like double jump isn't as tough as the scroll suits, because the scroll suit, you move a little in one direction or the other, but this one, you practically go straight up with the propeller cap. It's a little bit different. Speaking of, speaking of which, I really do want to see what Toadette looks like with the propeller cap. And the penguin suit, we haven't seen either of those with Toadette. So that'll be definitely cool to check out. Anyways, there's that done. And the course is clear. You did it. So we have 47 lives in total. The second level of World 7 is done. And I guess we get a little extra goodie for it. What's it gonna be? Thanks a million for your help. Here, take this. It is a fire flower. We, I, don't, I don't think we actually have any fire flowers in our select or selection, so that'll be pretty nice to have. Let's take a look. Is it true? Well, first off, we unlock that path, which is always good to have. More paths to get through. And that can just go in our extra slot. Yeah, we didn't have any fire flowers there. Okay, very cool. So I'm gonna make my way back around. And we have ourselves Marangu Clause 3, Switchback Hill. Very cool. So with Switchback Hill, hopefully everything turns out okay. But after this, we're tackling the tower already. This world feels like it's gonna go by faster than World 6 because World 6 just had so many levels. Okay, so there is the star coin. Oh, I see what I gotta do. I just gotta duck and cover, and then we just gotta time our jump, and we're fine. I'd rather not be Ice Toadette if I can just keep being Peach at. Oh no, well, too late. <laughs> oh, can I get up there? I can, but it doesn't seem like, yeah, there's not too much over there for me. Oh well, just gotta keep standing on these platforms. So I'll try to get up here as well. Get rid of that Koopa. That didn't give me too much yet. Hold on, is there anything up here? I don't think there is, but yeah, it doesn't seem like it. So apparently another feature for Toadette that I haven't even been aware of yet but apparently this is something, is that she actually swims faster than everybody else. So that's interesting to know. Is there something up here? You bet there is. Had to take damage to find out. Very unnecessary, but that's what happened. But yeah, she apparently swims more like the penguin suit, uh, like how most other characters swim with the penguin suit, so that makes her a little bit easier. So even though it says Nabbit's the easiest, I would argue that, she, that he's not, because like, he really can't get any powers that make it easier to survive pitfalls, which eventually becomes more of a problem than enemies do, is surviving the tricky jumps. So, I don't know, it's sort of like a mixture with him. I mean, I'm sure there are sections that are easiest with Nabbit, but not all of them are, you know, arguably. So that gets very interesting. It's sort of like both Toadette and Nabbit are easier, but maybe not easiest for Nabbit. Okay. So what's going on around here? This down, that down low looks odd. You see this over here? Yeah, that's definitely something. It is, oh, peach at crown, again. But nothing else? Not anything else yet. I'd rather stick with the crown for now. And I have a feeling I'm supposed to pick up this pal block and keep it around with me. Oh, I can't glide while I'm holding something. That complicates this. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Oh, I get it, I get it, I got it. So that definitely is a lot easier with the squirrel suit. Okay, um, I could probably get a one-up if I was careful enough with this. It's always fun to do this. There we go, one-up. And if you're good with no enough with this, you could probably 
get up to 99 lives. I don't wanna waste too much of our time, but it gets really addicting to do, and I don't wanna die. Oh, ah, come on, let's get the 60 lives, there it is. And let's just try to keep making our way out of this level. There we go, look at that! Boing, and boing. And then wait, there it is! <laughs> Could've even gotten another one there if I landed on the Koopa again. That is so cool. <laughs> Could've kept going until I had like 99 lives, or died, or something. But, you know, I wanted to keep moving. That was cool. You did it! So awesome, awesome stuff, we got that done, and that means, of course, we can move on to the tower. We really are moving fast. That's three levels done in 15 minutes, so like five minutes a level. It's actually pretty good. So let's walk across these platforms, and go to Marangu Cloud's tower, slide lift tower. So there's slides that will lift us somewhere around here. Gotta keep that in mind. Okay. Ooh, gotcha. So I'm gonna get up here real fast if I can. I'm just trying to take him out. It's not working out so well. I might just have to ignore him. What else do we get around here? We get a, another p -check crown. Don't quite need it. I'm just gonna avoid him at all costs and try to find our, our first star coin, which is bound to be around here somewhere, right? Hold on, let's try that again. Oh boy, there it is. Oh gosh. It's, it's tough to wall jump off of these for some reason. There's a Smash Bros map that is just basically this. It's weird. Okay, I got some coins for doing that, I guess. No, what? Yeah, she's like not wall jumping for some reason. Can Peachette not wall jump? No, see, that's not the case. It's just very weird. Okay, ooh, here we go. There we go, we got him. Not a problem. And give me that star. That might make things even easier here. Go for it, go for it. Gotcha. <laughs> And anything fun up here? Not quite, just more coins. So not really too much done with the star. We got rid of one fire, bro, but isn't it too big of a deal? Where are these star coins at? I really hope I haven't missed any yet. Oh, definitely something's over there. Let's figure out what it is. Oh, here we go, it's a little moon. But that can't be it, right? It is, wow. I love the moons, they're very cool. Now we're at 70 lives. But I was hoping for a little bit more. Whoa, watch it fire, bro. Come on, got him. <laughs> it took a couple of tries. And nothing down here either. Where in the world is the star coins? Oh my gosh. Getting a little concerned here. I don't know what's with the little gap in the ceiling there. Come on, there is a star coin. I'm gonna be very surprised if this is the first one. And look at that, it's the first one. How weird is that? Now, is there anything else up there? No, it's just a ceiling. Gotcha. How weird is that? <laughs> so what's going on now? Definitely gonna get this halfway marker so that we don't mess anything else up. Or if that we do mess something up, we'll be okay because we can just get back to this point. I might have to hop down there to the right. Because like you might notice that there is some extra stuff down there. What's the dealio with this? Guess it's nothing. Very, very weird. Okay, so one question I wanted to ask you guys, P-Chat related, is what do you guys think about the character first off? I know we talked about that a little bit when we first showcased her, but also, do you think that she's gonna be a more common character now? Do you think this is gonna be something that is just New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe? Because that's sort of the weird thing. This really could have been anyone. I mean, obviously they didn't want it to be Princess Peach because obviously you're saving her. That wouldn't make any sense. But then, I guess they wanted somebody who would, oh no, 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 no. Oh gosh, well there goes our Peach chat. <laughs> uh, they wanted somebody, ooh, here we go, who controls like Princess Peach. But then why not make it Daisy or even Rosalina to an extent? I mean, I'm sure they could have th thought of something. Or maybe even just make it, I mean, maybe this would have been too much work for them, I don't know. Um, but I think it would have been pretty cool if maybe it was another character and for completing New Super Mario Bros. U, maybe you unlock uh, like a bonus mode where you can play through the game. How do I do this? Can I not do this without a floating ability? Cause that really seems like what's going on here. Hold on. Maybe if I just make this, no, there's no way I can jump that high. Really? Weird. I don't think I'm getting that wrong. I think I can't get it up there. All right, well then it might actually be better just to die and then get back here with uh, a power up. That is very weird. All right, so I'm back into this pipe and I have Peach at this time. There's no real like dangerous obstacles here. It's just one of those things where like, there's no way you could have made that without this. So like that's sort of the tough part here is actually getting here with a power up. But we're able to do it this time. We can flutter up like that and boom, got star coin number two. 
And look, it even tells you to glide back this way. So they know that there's no way you can really get up here without it. So that's fine. I mean, we just have to keep that in mind. And now that we know, we keep moving forward. Trying to be careful this fire, bro, though. Whoa, that's a big giant fire thing. Whoa, hold on. Is there, there's a fire flower right there, which I actually do not want. All I want to see is what is up here. Oh, there's another pipe. <laughs> Where does this pipe lead? This pipe's all over the place. Baby star coin number three. Ooh, this is scary, actually. Dude, we gotta be very careful if we don't want to be squished, but we also just have to be very wary of where we're stepping. Cause like, even this, I gotta get to the left. Whoa, whoa, come on, come on. Once again, if we make the wrong step at the wrong time, we can most certainly be squished. Okay, get over here, wait for everything to move again, and I think we'll be okay. Oh, thank goodness. So what is this over here? Probably, yep, a peach jack round. Which I don't need, so I'm just gonna leave it. <laughs> I mean, maybe I could have taken it for the extra points, but I'd rather just save the time. And look at that, it even gives us a little bit of a shortcut up here, so not so bad. I mean, it's a tower, it's not a full-blown castle, so it makes sense that it's not as difficult. But we sort of made our way through that pretty quickly. So we're going against Kamek, which usually save for World 8. All right, Kamek. What are you gonna do, huh? Oh no, this looks very familiar to some of the other Kamek battles, but also a little bit different. So he's gonna be teleporting all over the place like he normally does, or it's gonna land right on his head. Okay, there he is, there he is. Ooh. Oh, we almost were able to get that. You could like totally break it with Peach Hat, it's amazing. Come on, get a little bit lower, buddy. Come on, you can do it. I guess he's not interested. He's gonna create a couple more blocks. I'm gonna hop up here. And as soon as he's ready to start throwing down, I'm gonna go for him. What's with the tiny little Goomba in that one? Come on, oh no! Oh, but I still got him! Nice, okay, so we, we got some pretty good time with that one. I feel like you could get, probably get like a really good speed run time with to or Peach at than you could with like Mario or something. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe that won't even matter. But it seems like you can definitely circumvent some of things a little bit better, which is always cool. Okay, so with that done, it looks like we're moving to a ghost house after this. Very fun, I suppose. I mean, sometimes they're not so fun. But maybe this one will be. We don't have to worry about it right away because we got ourselves a one-up hut to deal with first. Now, our use to these, of course, we'll collect as many as we possibly can and see how things go. Two, one, go. So extra coins at first, nothing crazy. And then we got our first one that I missed and I missed the second one, so this is definitely not gonna be like my best score ever. Oh my gosh, I'm missing all of them. And then I get one and immediately is tied to a Bowser one. Sometimes it is random, it seems, and it's just like impossible to pick up the, the one up one without picking up the Bowser one. Like I got very lucky there. Ooh. Oh my gosh, now I'm actually in the negatives. Okay, I got one. I think I got one one up in total there. <laughs> I did not do a good job. Oh no, I got two. All right, awesome, I'll take it. There we go, we get two one ups, a uh, two up and we can keep moving forward with that one. So now with that done, it looks like we can march on over this way, see what's going on. It is Marangu Cloud's ghost house, spinning spirit house. Very cool. All right, I'm looking forward to this one. Hope everything turns out okay. I don't know why I'm looking forward to this one. I just have a good feeling that it's not gonna be, oh my gosh, I'm already scared. Never mind, I had a good feeling about it. My feeling is, that feeling was sunk down to the bottom of my stomach when you see that many moves. So can we walk through this? We can, and get a fire flower. Fire Toadette's cool. So there's so many doors, which one's the right one? I've made a major mistake thinking this would turn out okay. Okay, so now we're on the spinning platform. Hmm. Do I wanna go through this door? Okay, well it's a fake door anyways. Just gotta be careful, oh, 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 oh. I don't know if I should be doing this, no I shouldn't be. What's this? It is another fire flower, so I'll gladly take that. I don't think I've missed out on like a star coin or anything. Oh, this is moving back. Okay, let's just move now. <laughs> I don't I don't want to go all the way back. Oh, that is this a this is a different room. It's just like little barricades now. Then that's a fake door. That's a fake door. Oh, okay, so we could go up that way. But this is a real door. So you sort of have to like play the level a couple times to figure out where everything is. Which can be fun, but it can also be scary. Yeah, I think those guys usually take two hits, don't they? Well, oh, you know what? I probably shouldn't have done that, unless there's supposed to be more guys in these boxes. 
I think so. So I messed that up. Well, there's a star coin that I, I'm gonna have to come back to get. Maybe I can come back through here if I can figure out where the door is? Huh. Yeah, that's weird. I guess I was supposed to guide that guy around until he broke all the stuff we needed him to break. Where are we now? Oh, we're back here, right? So if I go over here, there should be a wall? Yes. So this is gonna be a fake door. So can I just go back in? No, wait, wait well, that wasn't the door, remember. It was this one. So let's try that again. And see which star coin that is supposed to be. Yeah, okay, he's back. Hey, buddy. So I've just gotta sort of jump around you, but also try to hope you don't break the boxes because I'm sure that one of these has another guy in them. So far, so good, but you never know. Because he sort of has a bit of a drag to him. Go for it, go for it, good job. Okay. He definitely takes a lot of fireballs. And that's the first star coin, very good news. So we're making our way through okay then. That's a good thing to see. Okay, so with that done, we know that this door is complete. I can't go to the left, I can't go up, but I can go to the right where I can jump off of this. And what about to the left? Nothing. To the right, there is a wall, so not really anything. Okay, let's give this door a shot then. I'm glad that we actually found the first dark coin first. That usually doesn't happen. I usually find like the seventh one. <laughs> There's only three. Watch it, watch it. Ooh, uh, hold on. I have a feeling there's something against this wall. It's just a bunch of coins. But I had to try. Whoa, I missed it. <laughs> Whoopsies. Get back up here. And what do we got? Another fire flower, I don't quite need it. So I guess I'll just leave it just in case I get hit somewhere. Maybe it'll stay, I don't think it will though, unfortunately. So that room wasn't really too much, just a couple of coins and a power up. But maybe we'll lead somewhere new? Yeah, this is definitely a different room. Where currently I can only, okay, well I can go down that way too. Interesting. Does this door lead anywhere? You bet it does. Let's go ahead and try this one. Oh my, there's booze everywhere. I think there's some secrets somewhere around here. Oh, there is a star coin right up there. So if I just hold on tight, and we're gonna sit here and slide. And then ready for it. Oh, no, oh, hey, hey, get back here. <laughs> hold on, I'm not done with you. Ready? Oh, yeah, I got it. That was funny, but also really weird. Oh, no, 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 let's be careful. That's not being careful. I wanted to get this power up. Got it, very cool. So that is a fire flower for us, which means I should be good with just going through here. That was also the second star coin, so that's really good. Um, And can we go down this way now? We could try this door. Is it real, is it fake? I guess it's real. And it's another one of these rooms, which I'm not a big fan of, especially with the angry question blocks of doom. Oh no. Oh gosh. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Gotta be careful. Oh no, 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 no. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. I got all the coins. Or at least all the normal coins, not all the star coins. So once we get the star coins, everything will be okay. Then I'll just have to make my way through this level and then find the secret exit afterwards. Oh gosh, big boo. Okay, I got lots of stuff to dodge. I have a feeling I'm supposed to guesstimate where the, okay, never mind. I thought I was just gonna fall and I was just supposed to know where the star coin might show up. Is this thing gonna fall again or something? I don't think so. So I think we're gonna go through this door. And that's the exit. So we need to find star coin number three and the secret exit, it seems. All right, these guys are gonna charge me. I don't really care. <laughs> we're just gonna keep moving and hop back into that level. <laughs> Does she say go toad? Or toadette? She probably goes toadette, yeah. I don't know why I thought it was go toad. That wouldn't make too much sense. Uh, so there we go, there's the normal exit. Now time to find the secret exit. Ooh, this has a couple of paths to it already. We can already see the final castle and everything. Like, I mean there's three more levels left, but it's definitely going faster than World 6. But let me hop back in and try to find that secret exit. Okay, so there is like a little section to the left there that seems very odd to me. So what we're gonna do is head to the left. There's another spring. Maybe we could just, yeah, look at that. So where does this door lead? Little corner over here. Hmm, this seems odd. Oh, okay, so it's like a whole bunch of invisible stuff. There's a button. Oh, I'm gonna have to follow these blue coins. They definitely lead somewhere. Oh, yes, they do. Okay, so this has to be 
a star coin. Yep, there it is, star coin number three, and we're definitely on the path to the secret exit, so let's hope this door gets us there. And if so, we've conquered this ghost mansion, which is really good. All right, let's run, 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 run. I don't know what ghostly question blocks might show up. There we go, we do it. Not a problem. So 76 lives in total, and more importantly, the course is clear. Both with the star coins, both with the secret exits. I wonder where this one's gonna lead. Because I believe it might just be the only secret exit we have to worry about. Looks like it, this is the only secret exit in the entire world. Or entire world seven. And we can see the smoke clouds of the castle in the background, we really are getting somewhere. Where did, Where is that going? All the way to the castle? All the way to the castle. What an awesome little trip. Do we slide down it? Wee, that's so cool. <laughs> All right, so what's going on with this? Ah, I see, so I can either deal with the little fuzzies. I don't know if this is correct, but I'm gonna do this one. Cause I wasn't really looking. <laughs> oh, oh, it is correct, nice. We got ourselves a fire flower. Very cool. So that'll be added to our inventory, which is always nice as well. And they actually disappear now. So I could actually just march my way over to this level. Of course, this is uh, Marangu Cloud 6, but I'm not too interested in the moment. What I'd rather do is try to... Okay, so is it gonna give the whole puzzle again? I suppose so. I mean... Yeah, so this is actually a straight path to the to the level here. What level is this though? Is this level... This is level five, I wanna do level four. <laughs> Come on now, is that what I want? Okay, go back here. Okay, now this one, yeah, there we go, that's what I wanted. So we're gonna go, well maybe, maybe that's not what I wanted. Is it even possible to get over here right now? Uh, that's not where I, okay, I just gotta take these guys out. <laughs> I was gonna take them down and hopefully that'll help. So, we're fire toad at right now anyway, so I, I might be able to just to fire, yeah, I can just fire them away. I don't even need whatever this is, it's a star. But I will take it, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I would love to have it, there it is. So let me get this treasure chest. It has, oh nice, another propeller cap. I will gladly take that. Okay, so with that, what do we got going on now? So where am I gonna put that in my inventory? I'll have to figure it out. I could go ahead and put it over a P-Jack crown. I think we'll be fine with that. They basically have the same function, except for this actually works on all characters. So with that done, let me go back, because I really want to check out the fourth level. Um, so yep, let me go. And let's see if it'll actually let me this time, because it's been very silly. See, so yeah, if I want to go over there, will I actually have to, no, but that wouldn't, oh, I see. I need to go down here, like that. Go to the right, go to up, and then there we go. Level number four, it is a bouncy cloud boomerang. So let's get to it, and hopefully everything will turn out okay. But then we have two more levels after this in the castle. So I guess there's no secret level for this one. Yeah, level six and, or world six and seven don't have any special levels, which is sort of a shame. That didn't work the way I wanted it to. This looks like the opening of a new Super Mario Bros. Wii level. What's up here? Oh, an ice. We'll take an ice. Hopefully that'll work well. Hmm, I don't like these staircases. Well, it's not that I don't like them, I don't trust them. <laughs> I feel like some of, them, some of them are gonna be hiding something. Hey, can we bounce? Oh, we can bounce off of this? Oh, that's a lot of fun. I like that. Let's freeze you. These are the kind of levels that usually have the toughest star coins, though, sometimes. But this is where, you know, I was talking last episode about Nabbit. You know, these are the levels where Toadette is an easier character because she can actually have more variance in the air with stuff with the propeller cap and, ow, and the, the P-Jack crown. Get you out of here. What is that? That's a moon, no! Wait, oh wait, there was stuff under there. I didn't realize. Oh, I could have gotten a three up moon. That would have been awesome. I mean, I've gotten quite a few of those in this series, so I'm not too worried. Got it? Oh boy, watch out for this Koopa as well. So what is all this stuff really? Like, there might be, whoa, that gave me some major jumping. Nothing in there. There has to be something in one of these pipes. No. Huh. Like, I'm sure one of these has something important. Right? Has to. No. What is the point of all that down there then? Let me get down here real fast and see if I can't like rub against this wall and nothing again. <laughs> what a weird little area. But this pipe, that seems peculiar to me. As if there is something, I just haven't seen it yet. Mmm, I do not trust that. It has to be one of these. I think one of these has to be like a vine or something. 
it's gonna be this one. Yeah, there it is. We figured it out. But just the context clues were there. We just had to look into it a little bit more. Okay, so with this one, I'm gonna bounce up like that and see what's going on. Not too much there. There's definitely going to be something somewhere. Some kind of star coin. Okay, I don't wanna do that and end up not being able to get up here. Okay, I might just have to bounce on this one like that. There's a star coin. Go and get it before it gets away. There it is. All these coins are bouncing around. Got it. Okay, wait, that was star coin two. Where's star coin one? Hold on, we gotta go back. Luckily, I don't think we've gotten to any like unreturnable areas. Okay, watch it. Had to be in like one of these pipes, right? Watch out for the boomerang. Oh, it's right there. How did I miss that? <laughs> don't worry, I got it. Oh, oh, don't die, don't die. Oh, gotta be careful. Okay, no more Koopas. Let's just try to find like a checkpoint somewhere. Like that would be really nice. And also if we could get the Peach Egg Crown, it'd actually be a really nice level for it. This is really tough to do. Cause you jump so high in the air. Come on. Oh no, oh I did it, awesome. I actually was not expecting to, but we made it work. Okay, very, very cool. I'm gonna try to ignore you guys because I don't want a nice flower right now. How much you wanna bet that that has to be something. Oh, okay, that isn't, but this is. Let's check this out. Whoa, is it launching me? Whee! All right, well, it's something. It just wasn't really what I was expecting. There we go, we got him. That was awesome. <laughs> now we just should just be able to jump up there, no problem. And star coin number three. Not a problemo. This has been actually a really nice level. I mean, there's been some tough parts with that. Okay, so what are my chances of getting a, an extra life with this? I feel like it's pretty low. Oh, that's another star, actually. Maybe not anymore. Um, I'm just gonna keep going. Get past that guy. There we go, there we go. There we go, got those extra lives coming in now. Oh wait, got him. <laughs> okay, let's try to dodge that. And boom, one extra life for good measure. 83 lives in total, how cool is that? You did it. Very cool. So there we go, we got it. And with that done, what's going on now? Looks like, yeah, we gotta march on over to the fifth level now, and hopefully that other dude won't get in the way. We'll have to wait and see. So where is the path to level five? Okay, it's a straight shot, but we have to deal with the little dude. That's fine. We should be able to handle that. So just walk across and boom. I mean, if we equipped a star item, it would actually knock those guys out immediately. I don't know if it was worth it or not, so. Yeah, duck and cover for that. Same, oh wait, can't, oh, you guys are going down. You ruined my peach at crown. Got it, and got it, look at that. I made quick work of you chumps. Okay, maybe that's a little rude. Hey, another penguin suit, awesome. We're getting some good power ups though, so that's good. A propeller cap, penguin suit, some of my favorites. And they're both from New Super Mario Bros. Wii. It's almost like I'm biased. Okay, so we'll go ahead and put that over probably another peach at crown. It's because we get these a whole lot easier than we'll get penguins for sure. And fire flowers don't show up on the, the you know, the mini games too much, so we wanna keep those. Mary Goo Clouds 5, a quick dip in the sky. Don't know what that's supposed to mean, but I guess we'll find out together. Might be a good level, might be a tough level. Not really sure, oh, it's one of these. So yeah, we can actually showcase how Toadette swims. She actually swims like she has a penguin suit on. She swims really fast and she actually swims in all directions instead of only really left and right and up and down like Mario and Luigi and all the other characters do. So definitely something to keep in mind if you're having a hard time with the swimming level, you might wanna go ahead and try Toadette or nab it if you're willing to go that far. Okay, so let's get up this way. Nothing going on with that. I do really like how you can play as different characters in this game. I really wish that was a feature that was with the rest of the new Super Mario Bros. series. I mean, it is to an extent. You can play Luigi both in, uh, oh, is there something? Ooh, uh, both in the DS and the 3DS versions. I probably don't wanna go up there though if I don't have to. There's a three up moon and I'm gonna meet it down this way, hopefully. <laughs> Where'd it go? There it is, there it is. I'm gonna wait for it. Boom, three up. Very cool. So I don't know if there's any kind of like secret over here. It doesn't look like it, but you gotta be careful. So we get another fire flower. But yeah, like I was saying before, um, when we were playing through the castle, I still think it would've been pretty cool if maybe they just made Princess Peach a playable character. Like, don't get me wrong, I love playing as Toadette, she's awesome, and I don't think they should've gotten rid of her. But like, I think that like, you know, it would've been cool to actually 
really go wild. You know, like basically what they do with Super Mario 3D World. Not only could you play as Mario, but you could play as Luigi, Toad, Princess Peach, and Rosalina. So like, I would have really liked to see that for the new Super Mario Bros, especially since it came out around the same, same time, at least this one did. But anyways, in the deluxe version, I had the chance to fix that and actually put like Rosalina in the game, or just like a really unexpected character in like a fun way. Now, I don't know if there's anything up here, so you better bet I'm gonna try to figure out if I can get up there. I don't know, it doesn't seem like it. Yeah, doesn't have anything up there. Okay, woo, this is so tough. It's hard to actually keep up with it all. Okay, try to get into this block. Why is she tiny, Toad? Toadette. I feel like she's smaller in the water. Am I wrong with that? Okay, like look at the size she is now. And then we hop out of the water. Nah, she's about the same size. It just looks a little weird. Okay, never mind. All right, so let's get over to here. I'm gonna try to get all these red coins, but I'm missing them. She swims almost too fast, oh my gosh. I feel like I might have missed something there. I'm a little concerned. Um, Let me try these pipes out. Got it, there's nothing there. I mean, there could be something with the piranha plants. I just don't think so. Whoa, watch it, buddy. Yeah, nothing. So let me just swim up this way and swim over to here. Oh gosh, there's definitely something there. I can already see the star coin at the top right. Gosh darn it. It's very tough. Okay, gotta be careful. What's with this? Where does this lead? Oh, whoa, cool. So that's star coin number two, and along with it, oh gosh. We got like a bunch of Koopas taken down. And there's star coin number three, dang it! I, I moved a little too fast. Cause she jumps out and into the water, I feel like faster than your average swimming character. That is a bit odd. So let me try that again. Was there a trick point in that at all? There was, so hopefully I can do it again and it'll be okay. So I was able to get all the red coins this time and because of that, I have Peachette again, which honestly might be a big help here because all I gotta do actually, I don't even need to grab that star coin the way I did. I can just launch her like that. And that's probably gonna be easier, hopefully. Because all I gotta do now is just try to find my way up here like that. Perfect, get up to this bubble and into that pipe. And I think that's it, I think that's the end of the level. I mean, there might be a little bit more towards the end here. Okay, can I bounce off of you? You bet I can. Easy peasy. Got another one up, and we have 87 lives in total. I love this background, that looks really cool. Just like seeing all the rolling clouds and what I guess are technically hilltops in the Mario universe. They're very weird. And with that, we should be able to keep moving. Looks like it, so all these levels done. It was a bit of a tough situation to get them all. But Maring Maringu Cloud 6, shaking above Mist Valley. Ooh, what is Mist Valley? That doesn't sound like a friendly place. I mean, it could be. I just don't know. Oh, I see, it is quite misty. Boom, got him. Definitely wanna get rid of those guys as soon as possible, because they are a pain in the booty. Another Peach at Crown if we needed it. We don't quite need it at the moment, so I'm gonna leave it be. Boing, boing, got him good. Try to get rid of those guys, but didn't work out so well. But yeah, I don't think these guys blow you away. They just sort of, you know, make it harder to see, which is still a problem. So we wanna put that to rest as soon as possible. Oh, that was scary. That was really scary. Oh, that got rid of him too. Oh, we wanna go under here, don't we? Indeed we do. And then I can just grab that. Perfect. I'm sure if we went fast enough, we could actually just go around the other way. But we don't have to worry about it. Okay, so I might wanna worry about these Koopas, but I can't really see at the moment, so never mind. What is down here? Oh, you know what, it's not worth finding out. Oh, it's a moon! Ah, oh, man, oh well. Let's keep going. Whoa, whoa, she has a really tall spin jump. That is crazy. Okay, so let's make sure this camera stops scrolling before we move too far, because I don't wanna miss out on a potential like extra star coin or something. I think that's it. Yep, okay, so we can go down this pipe. So uh, we're doing pretty well so far. I mean, really not too much more to worry about, right? Got ourselves a checkpoint flag. And if there's nothing over here, and let's get to it. Hoo hoo! Okay. Watch it, dude! Whoa, okay, that messed me up. You just moved at just the right time. Fire bros, hammer bros, they all do the same stuff with that. Okay, oh, well there it goes. I can't get that now. That sinks. Mm. Oh, that was not the star coin, but it was something. Wait a minute, I don't trust this. Am I supposed to be down there right now? 
No, I'm fine, I'm fine. Like I could try it so that I could get those green coins. I don't think it's worth it. I think I just need to keep surviving and trying to get wherever I need to go for this last star coin. It was a bit risky, to be honest with you. I need to do a lot of spin jumping. And why I'm trying to do that is so that I can see as many, okay, of the clouds being cleared out as possible. So there it is, but how do I get to it? I don't know. Um, maybe I could get a power up from here and then get over there real fast. This is gonna be risky. This is gonna be real risky. No way, that is so unfair. Ah, now I gotta go, no. Oh, well, that was weird, that was not me. I guess if you hit the floor, she sort of flutters up. Maybe that was me, maybe I struck the controller. That was very odd. Anyways, that stinks. You basically have to have the power up ready at that point, which makes it really tough. Okay, so I got the crown this time, just from all the green coins and stuff. Only thing I have to worry about is this. Oh boy, that is really scary. I was just barely able to get myself out of that situation. So I just need to keep looking around. I mean, I know where it is now. I just have to be ready for it because it does get sneaky. There we go, that's all we had to do. It is a tough one. I mean, obviously if you got a Koopa shell, you could also get it that way, but that could be a tough situation. And I guess I'm not getting that. Luckily, I don't need it. I just need to get my way to the end of this level, hopefully. And I'm gonna land right on top of that, dude. Anything in those? Just some coins. What? I can't see that! I can't see that! Oh, that's the whole point! Ah. Ay, ay, ay. We did it though, we made our way through. I just gotta keep going, and hopefully this is the pipe to freedom. Maybe. I mean, we got all three star coins, so if we could just keep going, get out of this level, that'd be great. Ah, sort of messed that one up. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. It would be interesting if they did a new Super Mario Bros. game with Mario, Luigi, Wario, and Waluigi. Like some kind of like weird mix-up game where it's like it's a side-scroller, but it features Wario and Waluigi. Like I thought that'd be pretty cool, right? Something like that. And there we go, that castle's unlocked. Sorry, I just sort of went on a random tangent about Wario and Waluigi there for a second. I mean, I don't know, I was still continuing my thought process of uh, all the like different characters they could add to this game, including Toadette, not excluding her. Okay, so we got a star or a mushroom. I wanna get the star. I mean, I don't know why I wanna get the star, but I wanna get the star. So I'm paying attention to the star and only the star, maybe that's a mistake. Okay, so. There's a star, I have a one-third chance, and I fail. Ah, I was right there the whole time. Oh, well at least I got a star out of it, so that's pretty good. You won, check it out! So I don't even know where I'm putting that. <laughs> Probably nowhere, I don't know. We'll have to see what we have. And then I can go and take on the castle, and then we'll be done World 7 already! Oh yeah, I'm just gonna put it over a star, I don't really wanna go over any of this. We have a pretty good inventory, and I wanna keep it that way for as long as possible, so one star slot is on getting. So with that being done, let us move on over this way and take on Marangu Cloud's castle, Ludwig's Clockwork Castle. So this one is bound to be difficult because this entire world has been quite tough, but I don't know, it's actually, I mean, it, it, I feel like it isn't as bad as last world, so. I'll have to find out what's going on here. Oh, I do remember this, this castle though, and it being tough. Ludwig is so interesting, he's always the last guy, you know? I mean, I don't know if he was in Super Mario World, but he is in this game, or in all the new Super Mario Bros. games. So like, that's really what I'm, I mean by that. Got it. And what is going on with this? Okay, I do want that, please and thank you. But I might have to do. Oh, come on, really? Well, with my extra moment of invincibility from getting hit, I'm taking this, because I feel like this would make it, oh, and also, is there? Ah, look at that. Paying attention to the context clues again. Gotta pay attention to our environment and everything. Anything up there? Doesn't look like it. So we have to land over here and take a look at everything. Yep, just like that. You never know when there might be a hidden little star coin somewhere. So you always gotta be willing to look. Okay, we need to, ooh, okay, I didn't realize those took up a physical presence as the little dividers. I thought they were sort of a part of the background. Ooh, gotta be real careful. And then, what is this gonna be? An ice flower that I don't really want. I wanna keep with this but it is good to have an extra power up if we need it. I'm gonna dodge that little dude. Oh no, it's a, it's one of the uh, big hammer bros, the sledge bros. They're not good. Oh, there's the star coin. No! Okay, it's fine, it's fine. If I go over here, I can grab this checkpoint and then I can die and then I, wait, yeah, that's uh, that happened again. So 
I guess with Peachette, if you fall in a pit, she'll have like a little extra chance just to pop back up. That was not me. All right, well, I'll go back in there. I might actually grab, this might be the best time for a Peachette crown. So I'm taking it. Let's hope this turns out okay. I'll go back to the Maringu Clouds. Castle, Ludwig's Clockwork Castle. We can do it. I know we can, I just didn't expect that to happen. I probably should have, oh no, I'm going the wrong way. Hold on, already forgot my plan the second it happened. Oh, that was rude. So if I if I do this while you're on the floor, that'd be best because it'll knock you out. That's what I wanted, no it's not. No it's not, are you serious? Are you serious? Come on, that is stinky. That is just straight up stinky because I'm running towards it, but there's, just, there's stuff in the way. So I really didn't want to have to do this, but I, I need to get up there. Like you can't actually reach the pow block normally. This is a really tricky star coin. I'm like going nuts trying to get this thing. It's driving me nuts. Oh my gosh. So try this again. She looks so cute in the propeller suit though. All I gotta do right now is just, while he's on the floor, just like that, and then we just slam on it. Slam on it, give it to me, thank you. Now if I die, I'm gonna have to do that again. So let's hold on to what we got, you know? I mean, what what is in here? Yeah, that, I don't want that. See, like that wouldn't have helped me. So I did need this, like I straight up needed it. So we need to find star coin number three somewhere around here. Oh, don't get squished, yeah, thank you. I don't like this guy one bit. So if I could yeah, get rid of him like that, that's perfect. I mean, I could try to, I'm not getting those. <laughs> There's too many of them all over the place. I'd rather just keep with the good old propeller suit. It's my favorite power up, at least in this game. And most of them are, again, to be honest with you. So where in the world could the last star coin be? I mean, it could be up here. Oh, there's a pipe up here. Then most likely. So let's just go up like this, and we got it. Come on now. What do we got? Is it gonna be another situation like before? Where the star coin's just gonna show up? Because I'm gonna be ready for it, ignoring all other coins. Because this star coin's gonna show up and it's gonna expect me to grab it. That's not it. That's it? I guess that's it. Weird. So that is not the third and final star coin. That is just a bunch of coins. Weird indeed. Okay, let me slam this dude so he's not in my way. And look at that, there's some extra coins in there, but not the third star coin. It could be anywhere. Slam on him, boom, from way up above, that was cool. What is that, that's the crown, if I wanted to try the crown, but I'm making the most of this while I have it. That is for sure, oh, there it is, there it is, okay, so. Why isn't the platform push this one around, you know? <laughs> okay, got it, got it, and then we just gotta get back up this way. I think I'm gonna try to take on a boss fight with the propeller cap, because it's just really cool to do. Let's get to it. <sighs> I, I don't know, she looks really cool in this, so. Ha <laughs> ha ha, what are you laughing at? Wow, look at the background, the background's really cool. You can see the, uh, the airship and the castle in the fog. That's gonna be intense next episode. We're gonna hop in there and deal with that. But for right now, we gotta deal with Ludwig. He's always so chuckly. Oh no, oh, 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 yeah. You're not the only one who didn't jump really high now. How do you like that? That was cool, that was really cool. And then you're going to, oh no, you got me, you little stinker. Let's hope he pops back out on the side. Cause that's what I'm ready for. Uh, I don't know if he's going to. Yeah, he didn't. Oh, well, that's fine. We only have to hit him one more time. Whoa, he's splitting into three. I mean, maybe this is good, so we can actually show what he does as a boss. Oh, man, he is all over the place. I haven't been paying attention to which one is him. Oh, it was that one. Well, there you go. <laughs> we got him. See you, Ludwig. I think his technical name is Ludwig von Koopa. I think it's like a reference to like a composer or something. Not really sure, but there we go. That is the last level of World 7, I believe. We'll go ahead and check the list after this. But all of the Koopalings have been beaten up, and hopefully that means they're done for, for this game. We'll have to find out soon enough. I mean, there might be actually a little bit more. I'm trying to remember. Ooh, I mean, Crash is off to who knows where. And here we go. What is this? Ooh. I guess we'll save. And before we finish off for the day, I think there's actually one more level left to do. Uh-oh, just like last time, the airship surprises us, sneaks in, and snags us, right? Oh, no, maybe not, I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to guess, guess I just hold on. Uh-oh, no, leave us alone. 
No! Marangu Cloud's airship boarding the airship. Oh boy, this is not good. We'll have to look around as much as we can and see if we can't find some power-ups. Get all the star coins we can. She looks super cute in this as well. Oh, this is just like Super Mario 3, where you have to actually get onto the ship first. I mean, usually that's like a little cutscene. But here, it's like it's an actual thing. This is super cool. It really is boarding the airship, like it says. Oh boy. So this thing will slam down. That's a little scary. Oh boy. Let's duck and cover right here. Ah! That's scary as well. Leave me alone, you big bully. Whoa, whoa, hold on. Whoa, I'm gonna go ahead and become Peach at. It might be easier, because I don't, actually don't really wanna uh, latch on the walls like that. Still no star coins out. Okay, we're, we're sort of a step ahead of him right now. No, we're not. Uh, wait, 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 no! Wait, can we land on top of it? Oh, we can, <laughs> interesting. I didn't know you could do that. Okay, so what's down this way? There's nothing down that way? Oh, you're gonna punch it. All right. There's another peach at crown. I'm gonna leave it for now, just in case. Okay, so whoa, that just pushes us away in such a weird way as well. Okay, no, we gotta go. Oh no! Whoa, 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 whoa! You changed position for me there. That was weird. Where in the world are the star coins? Okay, there's one of them. You yeah, just punch right there. And while you're concerned with that, oh no. Sort of turned that around on us. We're fine though, we're fine. That was star coin number one, so we haven't missed anything yet. And here's the halfway point already? So does this level even have the airship? Like, do we even go on it? Oh, yeah, right here. Wait, how did it get here? It was over our heads a second ago. Weird. But hey, whatever, just keep going. Oh, we had, oh wow, I didn't know they had this in this game. They had the little motion controls. Weird. This whole game, they hadn't had this at all. I haven't had like a single motion controls required thing until this moment. That is sort of weird design. You don't really want to introduce motion controls into a game that hasn't had mandatory motion controls the entire game and now you're on like one of the last levels of it. I mean on the second to last, the last level, the second to last world, like that's just bizarre. Anyways, what does this have for us? I think I actually need to keep going with that. Um, so let's go and grab it. <laughs> Hold on, and that sort of happens too. I'm just trying to move the platform, but if you move the controller too much, she's gonna do that little jump, which is unintentional, but that's just what happens. So that's why it really shouldn't be motion controls. Come on, come on, like the idea can be fun, but the execution's not always the best. So you gotta be careful, because this thing's spinning around. Okay, go, 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 go. We're doing all right, we're doing all right. Just trying to find out where this last star coin could be. So far doing a decent job not finding it. <laughs> That's not something I want to do though. <laughs> okay, I got those three. Oh wait, turn around, turn around. I mean, I don't really need this one up it's gonna give me, but I'll try for it. Come on, there it is. Okay, so there's the star coin. Got it. The problem now though is that my my platform's leaving me behind. Oh no, it's, it's fine, it's just right there. Oh, we did it! There's all three of them. So is the level over now or is it just beginning? It'd be cool if it was like a level where you had to get two sets of star coins. I mean, it'd be tough, but it'd be a fun idea at the least. Is there anything else over here? No? Okay. So, let us go into here and see what we can find. It's another checkpoint, so maybe I was right. I don't know. Ooh, I don't want that. I want to keep as uh, Peach at. Is there anything over here? Like a second power up? Not looking like it. All right, so go into this pipe. And this will launch us upward. Maybe this is like a second airship. Oh, look at this, it's Bowser Jr. again. All right, buddy, you wanna go? Cause I'll go. Let's get up there. Oh no, that's not how we're supposed to do this, I think. Yeah, he's a weird boss fight. Cause he like, he punches the floor, he tries to break the platforms under you. But I know we could probably make this easier with P-Chat. I don't know though. Oh boy. No, I can't quite, actually, surprisingly enough. Oh, that it might help? No, it didn't really change much, ow! Oh, that actually didn't hurt us. Oh, that will. Whoa, be careful, we gotta get up there quick. And then, ah, oh, darn it, it hit us. So we've gotten two hits in, we need another one to really do away with them. Yeah, we wanna knock those off, because if not, they're gonna get rid of our platforms, which we really need. Oh, get up there, get up there! Boom, we got him! See ya, Bowser Jr., that actually went really well. Yay! All right, awesome stuff. 
So with that done, Bowser Jr. is defeated and we're falling! Oh no! Where are we going? I don't know. Wait, are we not done? Hi. I mean, you still seem to think you have the upper hand. Oh no, because you literally have the upper hand. It's above us. Oh no! Run! He's, he's like, no, they ran away. I've never seen them do that. Uh oh. You broke daddy's ship. <laughs> he's gonna be mad about that one. You are gonna get punished. No TV for a week. <laughs> poor, poor Bowser Jr. All he was trying to do was, you know, defeat his dad's enemies for him. Oh gosh, and down goes the ship. Yikes, we have destroyed Bowser's entire fleet of airships at this point. Yeah, nice stuff. And whoa, what's happening now? He is not happy. I don't know, he's trying to be threatening. All right, see ya. So we still have one last world to get through and it is in the clouds of mystery. It is quite intense, isn't it? Well, as you can see, there's still plenty to celebrate though because we got all the star coins and Marangu clouds, which means we only have one more world left to get through. Before we say Princess Peach, we are making our way to the final world and hopefully rescuing Princess Peach. We'll go ahead and play as Mario for this one, I think. That'll be fun. And we're just gonna hope that everything turns out okay. Uh, because this time, of course, wow, Peach's castle has been turned upside down. There's a moat of lava covered in a dark mist. They've made this place their own. Oh gosh, Princess, we'll do what we can to help you. All right, well, let's get to it. Peach's Castle, level one, Meteor Moat. Oh my, I feel like these levels are gonna be tough. There's only one way to really find out though, and that's to get into the action and try things out. But yeah, so this sort of follows the same normal uh, level design as most World 8 worlds. Is there anything up here that I can actually use? I don't think so. I think it's just supposed to be like a little overhead protection. But, it's a bit more difficult. Oh my gosh, because I stink at the game. Well, I don't know if it's difficult. But it's a bit more different um, because it's in Peach's castle instead of, oh my gosh, why am I the worst right now? <laughs> it's in Peach's castle, that's the whole difference. It's super crazy and I like the idea. I hope that they, you know, keep, like if they ever make another new Super Mario Bros game, I hope they keep with this idea because I feel like they really did mix it up a little bit more in this new Super Mario Bros. Like, we and New Super Mario Bros. 2 sort of followed a pretty basic formula, but this one, I feel like, really tried to mix it up at least a decent amount. I could have done more, of course, as always, but what game couldn't do more, you know? So I already got the first star coin. Let's try to get the other two without getting beat up too much. We had a sort of a bad start, but if we don't die on this level, that'd be great, because we always die on the first level of each world. None of these have power-ups, which is concerning. Oh no, I went right through the block. Well, there I go, I died on the first level. Okay, so what we're supposed to do there, I guess, is just press the up button really fast, because if we do that, or wait for the meteors to break it, like whichever one sort of comes first. Oh, we can make those smaller. Interesting, I didn't know you could do that. But if you press down and butt slam and then press up while you're butt slamming, you can actually undo the, the butt slam motion. Whoa, I don't know what's up with this. I guess there's just a bunch of uh, breakable bricks here. Just looking for that third and final star coin somewhere around here. Whoa, ho, ho, that was close. Oh, it's gonna be something with this, isn't it? Oh, there it is, there it is. Okay, um, there we go. That shielded me for long enough that I can do that. Oh gosh, this platform is a little scary because it sometimes just dives under the lava in a way you might not expect. Oh, I wonder if there's a secret exit. There may just be. I had to check my list. I don't think I even have it up. Wanna just hop right into this action. Okay, so yeah, that was very interesting. A good first level, but I'll check real fast to see, is there a secret exit? There is, so we need to go back through there and try to get through all that without dying and try to get up to that pipe and hope everything turns out okay. It might be easier with like Peachette or something, but I'd rather keep it with this for now and see what ends up happening. So let's get another power up and I guess I'll be right back once we get over there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is uh, probably not that. That was probably a bad idea. Uh, because I wanted just to get rid of the enemies. I didn't want to get rid of the path. But yeah, we just gotta run and just sort of go for it. There we go. Oh, actually, that wasn't so bad. Awesome, so we can get up this pipe and hope that the secret exit is there. Looks like it. Uh, gonna pull off some pretty crazy jumps there if we want that, but I don't really care too much. So there we go, secret exit it is. And the course is clear. So where's that gonna lead? 
Not entirely sure, but we can find out together now, can't we? Probably to some extra level that we'll worry about later. Ooh, look at this. It goes up to the side. Little wall. And all the way over there. So that has to be like an extra level we could, we could probably worry about later. But let me double check now so like I don't forget it later. Or just what the number of the level is. This is level number four. Okay, so we'll do two and three first. I think this is quite a short world to be honest with you. But that's fine. Some of these worlds have been quite long. Anyways, we got Peach's Castle 2, Magma River Cruise. Let's get started with it. Hopefully this turns out okay. Ooh, so it's a magma river, all right, and we're cruising. Now we can't go too slow, we can't cruise too much. Oh, okay, because there's a giant fog in the background, that's sort of an instant takedown if we, uh, no, what? Not what I wanted. What are you doing bouncing around like that? Get out of here. <laughs> if we take it too slow, big problems can arise because that fog will catch up with us, and that's where the big problem comes in. Whoa, we got a Blarg! Gotta watch out for him. Is that we got this little jungle thing from New Super Mario Bros. Wii in here. The uh, little jungle raft from that game. It's now just sort of a bow and raft. If more than five enemies are on this platform, mm. Oh, look at that, got a one up. That was pretty good. I think I gotta go up here. But um, if more than, oh, can you move please? Thank you. Well, not really, thank you, you hit me. <laughs> um. And when the five enemies are on the raft, that is when it'll stop moving and that fog will catch up. It'll be a big problem out. These guys are just all up in my way. We got some mini Goombas coming in from this side. I don't like that one bit. The best I can do about it for now is just to bounce on them when I have the chance. And when they're on me like that, they, the, the weird thing about the mini Goombas is they'll try to get all over you in a way that's not fun. There we go. Luckily, we actually haven't had the raft stop. Oh, come on, dude. That was sort of baloney. I'm trying my best here just to get a power up and there are none. You move slower with the Goombas on you too. So that dude is over here. Oh, and I can't even do this yet. Oh, now I can. Oh no, that's a big problem actually. <laughs> you know what, get rid of this dude, which I could have sort of kind of not done it the way I did. Oh my gosh, that was really close. Oh, that was super close. Let's go ahead and get this. No, no, really? I feel like the controls are weird in this level for some reason. Get this guy out of here. Where is that final star coin gonna be? I don't like this at all. So those guys are all gonna be running around, causing me a big problem, but they also just walk straight off. So if I could wait for this Blarg to do his Blargy thing, or he just runs around like Wah. And I can slam on that, or not. Okay, so there's the last star coin right there. So this is where things get a little risky, not only with this dude, but with the fog catching up. So I need to quickly Get it, and then run back, run back, run back. Who boy, scary stuff. But we got all three star coins. Which means at this point, all we have to worry about is getting out of here. One up or not, <laughs> we made our way out, thank goodness. Oh yeah. Mario time. <sighs> so with that done, what do we got going on now? That was the second level. So we had the third one and then the secret exit one. Yeah. Right, yeah, I think so. So that'll be interesting for sure. This is Peach's Castle 3, Rising Tides of Lava. And while I do have some power-ups, I feel like I do want to save them. If I start struggling on this world, then maybe I'll start using them. But if I could save them, that'd be great. Oh, I do remember this one. These are always super duper tricky. Super duper tricky indeed are these raising lava levels. Oh, I see what I gotta do here. If I want to reach the star coin, I gotta wait for those dudes to do that thing. What is going on with all of this? Whoa, whoa, be careful, be careful. Don't wanna do it then. Oh, you know what? I'm guessing I probably could have thrown a Koopa down there and that would have done something. And will this, yeah, this will lower, which I don't wanna do right away because, you know, could have landed in the lava. Are you serious? Okay, be a bit patient. And, oh, I should have been patient. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. What is with me? Okay, I probably need that button for one reason or another. What? I tried to press jump there, but I guess I hadn't landed yet, so it did the spin. And that's why the spin shouldn't be the same as a jump button. That was weird. Did I even get a single star coin there? I don't think I did. Oh, well, maybe I got one of them. I, yeah, that's right, I did get the one that was on t top of the, uh, the little turtles. I don't know what they're called. Maybe they're beetles? I think they might be called beetles. Go ahead and get a mushroom and actually pick this one up. Get up this way and grab five more coins. We get a one up, so there we go, 70, 72 lives. 
is pretty good. Oh, just barely got that. Please don't get hit. Thank you. So I'm gonna wait for him to move. And then, gonna do that. And this has to be some coins or something. Oh my gosh, well, I guess I'll never know. <laughs> really? Why can that happen? Get down this way. And then we gotta be slow with this one or fast. Whichever one choose now, we get a one up. At least that's something. So, I know for a fact there's a button we can press and that'll do something for us. I think I'm gonna wait for the lava to lower, which will happen right about now. Oh, I, I see, I can throw the Koopa shell. That'll get me a couple of coins. And while that's happening, I'll follow behind. Oh, this is scary, this is scary. This is scary! Oh, hey, what up, nice. Did I miss anything though? I actually don't think I did. Oh, I remember this one. So while it might seem silly, it might actually be worth getting the checkpoint flag first. Because I remember this one. Because we don't want to replay the whole level if we die from this one, because there's a very high likelihood we will die. Uh, no, we did that actually really easily. Look at that, we'll have to do it again if we die. Oh gosh, you know what? Let's go ahead and grab that, thank you. Having the extra hit will probably be useful. So this is where this gets a bit complicated. I don't want to lower this one closer to the lava, but I sort of kind of have to, if I want to get up here. I guess I didn't exactly have to do that either. Oh my, Oh, scary, scary. Okay, uh, that's not enough, that's not enough, no! I'd do that all over. These are tough levels, these are really tough ones. They're shorter, which makes them feel easier, but they're definitely tough. Oh, oh, I didn't even mean to do that. Whoa, oh, oh, okay, let's not fall to our dooms. Let's get up here, this might be where the third star coin is. So I need to do this and then not mess up. Yes, it is, so that's actually sort of a good thing that I died. Um, all right, well, what the heck? <laughs> was I supposed to bounce off of him? I think I was supposed to bounce off of him. Oh no. I mean, I sort of did, it just didn't work. Okay, let's try to triple jump. Ready, one, two, no, 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 wrong. One, two, three, well that was a double jump. It's sort of weird, you have to sort of quadruple jump. Ready, like one, two, three, no, that didn't count. <laughs> For some reason, that didn't count. I can't get it! What am I supposed to do here? Why is this level just so unnecessarily difficult at this specific spot? Can I go back in? Oh my gosh, you're kidding me, right? Oh no, 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 hold on. Hold on, can you come back over here, sir? Because if I can't land on him, I can't get this done. And he's so small, and he has these little like fireballs that make it so tough. Oh, we did it, we did it, we did it. Okay, so I just gotta go ahead and get through the level. I've already done this a couple times now. I've, I've landed on him, I've gotten through, and then I've messed up something else. So I'm trying really hard just to make my way through the level. And it really doesn't matter if I get bigger Mario because that's not the tough part. The tough part is this one right here because I need to be able to land on that guy at just the right time so that the lava, so it's gonna rise right now. Just like that, and there we go, we went through it. Oh my gosh, it took me like 20 minutes. You can see how many lives I've lost. I think we were at like 80 lives before. So I lost a ton. No, don't die, don't die. That was really scary. <laughs> Oh my gosh, why would they do that? You know, there are some levels in like every Mario game that just sort of like eat away at your soul because they're so unnecessarily difficult in such a weird way and it's just out of nowhere. This is this game's level. That is this game's level. Okay, so of course we can march up to the castle doors right now, but before we do, we still have more stuff to get done over this way. So let's go ahead and check it out. This is the fourth level. This is Peach's Castle 4 Firefall Cliffs. And doesn't sound like a, a splendid place to be, but hopefully, you know, the previous level has taught me that I should be ready for anything at this point. Nothing can get in my way. I can only hope. Be able to climb up stuff. This is actually pretty cool so far. Got that mushroom. And nothing going on there. I don't know if I should have gone up to that corridor to the left. It doesn't look like there was anything there though. Just gotta be very, very careful, because you never know what might try to ruin your day. Apparently. Okay, get that star coin real fast. So there's star coin number one already gotten, that's good. So I definitely just wanna hang out wherever there's something above our head that can protect us for at least some amount of time. Uh, this is probably gonna give me a power up. Yep, it's the acorn suit, so that is good. Whoa, let's be careful. There's coins up there. What is that it? It appears to be. And I'm gonna hope it, oh, a star! That would be good to have. All right, what do I use that for? Like maybe to get up one of these? 
I don't know because the controls are a little awkward to make that work. Um, is that another star? Oh, it is, it is, it is. Got it, perfect. Come on, where's star coin number two? It definitely wasn't over here, right? I sure hope not. Um, hold on, hold on. That's just another acorn. I feel like I missed star coin number two somewhere. And that has me very nervous and upset. Uh, get that. Thank you. There definitely is something up here. There has to be. Ow. Or maybe not? Maybe I'm just going too soon? I guess so. <laughs> I thought that was gonna be like a little secret or something. Apparently not. Okay, there's a star coin. Is it the one I'm looking for? Let's hope, get up there quick. Yes, it's star coin too. Have no idea how that ended up being the case, but it is and that's all I need to worry about. Okay, there's more stuff going on this way. What is this about? Uh, we got that. Oh, watch it. Okay, get these three and these and these. And there we go, give me that acorn. Thank you. And we'll, really, excuse me, excuse me. And there goes my potential one up. It most likely was. Oh man, oh man, world eight is tough in this game. Okay, we're up here now. Which way should I go? I feel like this way is the more difficult way. So it has to be the way that ends in the star coin, right? Uh, I can only hope. Yeah, it is awesome, thank you. Jeez Louise. All right, let's just go through this pipe now. Don't think there's anything else going on. Okay, so with that being done, we'll get this level done without too much of a problem, right? Oh no, oh no, Whoop! we made it. I definitely have some lives to earn back up. I mean, I say, I say that, I still have 55, so I still have a lot of room for mistakes, but I'd like to earn it back up. That was insane. So, <laughs> Let's try this out now and hope that everything turns out okay. We can go into the castle and maybe, just maybe, we could save Princess Peach. It is a red hot elevator ride. I'm a little nervous. Like, quite literally, anything could be in here. I mean, Bowser might just be chilling out, but okay, what's up? <laughs> My new house, what are you doing in here? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, we're going through a castle that's actually Peach's castle. I like it, because that has all the, the the decor of the average. And here we go with the motion controls again. I'm just throwing this in here out of nowhere. So we're gonna have to be careful with this. Of course, we're gonna try to look through and find, oh no, the coins are our, our, our enemy here. That makes it real tough. Hmm. Okay, got that done. So I'll have to be very, very careful to try to make sure we get all those coins. We also have to make sure we get the star coins. Or at least make sure they don't land on our platform. Like either which. Okay, there is star coin number one, I can only hope. So this one might be a bit tough to get, but I gotta go over there and then slide over like that, pick up that coin. And there's something weird going on this way. What is this about? Oh no, come back up, go come back down. Okay, now go up. Okay. That was a bit odd but nothing too crazy. Okay, come on. Oh, now we got bob bombs falling down. Really anything that falls will mess us up here. But I'd rather it be coins than bob bombs, so let's get rid of you. And then I'm gonna press that button. Ooh, star coin, star coin, star coin. Focus on the star coin first, the blue coin second. There we go, and then, okay. Not too much more than that, but that's still good. Two star coins down already is pretty excellent. There's another, can we pick that up with the platform? Yes, we can. Oh, but it counts as one? I was gonna bring it with me. Oh, the lava's catching up, I gotta be careful. Whoa, whoa, that got me? Oh, come on. That was so close, too. Okay, let's get all these. Dodge the bob bomb wherever I can. No, oh, I almost fell off. That was so close to being me just falling off the edge. That would've been bad. Come on, star coin number three, where are you? Just trying to dodge what I can in the meantime. Oh, it's over here. So I see what I gotta do, but it ain't easy when we got these dudes doing what they're doing. Okay, I got it. Oh boy, oh, that got me again. I guess it does have like a little bit of a tail to it. Okay, there's the end, right there, that has to be it. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, ready? Jump for it, wait, jump for it. Yeah, I made it, oh boy. <laughs> oh my gosh, it worked though, it worked out. Oh, and that's, the, wait, that's the end? That was it? All right, no boss fight at the end or anything. 
So this can't be it. This isn't the end. No Bowser fight. Huh. All right. There's still the swirling vortex of doom up in the sky, which I guess is just really all the swirling smoke and everything. I like that picture is like taken out right off Super Mario 64. Uh, the, picture, the picture of Peach. Yeah, there's more up here, so let's get up the stairs and dealing with you now, Bowser Jr. Yes, I will definitely save. Don't want to miss out on none of the action we got done already. All right, so Peach's Castle Castle, the final battle. Hopefully this is for real the final battle. So is there even like anything going on here? Is there any star coins to get? Or is it just a boss fight? No, there are star coins to get. Hi, Bowser Jr. Oh. Ah, so you knock these bones, or can I knock the bones around? I cannot, so I gotta be careful about that. That'll probably knock me over. Does the lava raise or something? Watch it! Okay, that really does knock me over. Something fierce. Okay, I gotta be real careful. Oh, that squished me. This is not turning out so well to start things off. Oh, definitely wanna get in there and grab that. Thank you. Watch it. Can I land on you? Would that hurt you? I mean, you got that little like protective casing, a little bubble. Oh, is that platform gonna fall? It is, and so am I, because I kept sliding, because the game sort of freezes when you pick up a, a power up. I wasn't expecting it, that was just weird. Oh no, can I get this, can I get this? I got it, okay, not a big problem. Got it, got it. Whoa, watch it, sir, I got places to be. And Whoa, he almost just pushed me right off there. So let's get this power up, and then stay up here for a second. That's good, and he's probably gonna slam on this thing, so I'm gonna jump over it. Okay, so at least that knocks out all those bad guys, too. Oh boy. Okay, we got it. And then can I just butt slam? I can't. So how do I get down there? Not like that. What? What is with that one? What? Because I can maybe throw like a frozen dude down there, but if not, I don't know what the heck you do. So as I'm walking back to this, I'm starting to realize the answer is pretty simple. He just has to slam on it. So if we just wait right here, you'll probably get ready to do it. And I didn't mean to do it, uh, do that. I was trying to move, but he moves actually. He slammed, like when he decides to slam down, he decides really quickly. So you gotta be careful about that. And I don't know if any of those are power ups, but I guess I won't figure it out now because I gotta keep going. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I know exactly what I gotta do here. You just gotta be quick with it. All right. No! He dunked me! Why? <laughs> no! Darn it, Bowser Jr., you're too tough! Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh ho, ho, I made it! I can't believe it! Oh, don't slam dunk me again, please, Bowser Jr., please! Oh, he's chasing me! Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, don't push me like that, what's over here? I gotta know. Is it anything? It's a one-up. All right, I guess. I'm getting out of here. Oh my gosh, <laughs> jeez Louise. So, what is going on here? We got our giant Bowser door of doom. We got ourselves an ice flower. Is there anything on this side? There's a fire flower. I think I'm gonna go with the fire flower instead. It's a nice classic item. It'll get us through this tough time, I can only hope. I am nervous. I am real nervous. It has been a tough job getting all the way to here. World 8 has been very challenging. Which is weird because some of the World 8s in other Mario or new Super Mario Bros. games actually usually aren't that bad, but this one was real tough. And Bowser, looking like actually it's in its normal form here. I'm gonna go ahead and use as many uh, fireballs as I can to get rid of them. I thought that'd just be a more interesting way than hitting the button. I mean, even though I could have hit the button right there, I'm just gonna keep hitting them. Come on, come on. Can we get him? We can see a Bowser. Oh, can I also hit the button? There we go. Awesome stuff, so of course that would have knocked that down. And Bowser would have fell on in that way as well. But we got him. So princess, where are you? Can only hope that that's all we have to do. Uh-oh, what are these two up to? Oh, Kamek, are you okay? <laughs> they're speaking the same language, off they go. Oh no, you know, we really should see it happening at this point, this is the third, fourth time technically that Bowser has been like beefed up by either Bowser Jr. or Kamek. And the third time, that has been something that I think is gonna happen again. There's Princess Peach crying in her tower, the poor thing. Oh, Is she okay? Hi! 
Ah! Oh no. We'll help you. Hopefully. <laughs> Hi, Bowser Jr. Whoa, he's big! Is he usually this big? I guess so. Oh my gosh, he's giant. I don't know why I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> All right, you're, we're fighting both of you, huh? Well then, you're both going down. Okay, let's dodge that real fast. So, I don't know what we're gonna do about, oh, that hit me, really? Well, there, oh, there goes my pun. I was gonna say, maybe we could use the fireballs. Oh, hey, look at this, I can use the clown car. So what can I do with this? I can maybe dunk his head? B. Okay. Oh! No, wait, that's not what I wanted. Oh, no, give that back! Uh-oh, this is bad. They are doing the father-son combo. And while I am very scared, it's also really cute. Okay, fly up, fly up, fly up. And then, oh, he even shoots out his own little fireballs. Dunk! We got him in the head there. That's pretty good. Okay, what is he gonna do now? Oh, gosh. Whoa, whoa, whoa! He was gonna jump and move? This is actually really bad. This is really, really bad. Really, really, really bad. Um, ah, run Mario, run! Whoa, boy! Okay, I'm on the right side of him now. I've only hit him once. Where's Bowser Jr.? I don't know. I could get taken out here at any moment. I gotta be careful. Keep moving, keep moving. There's Bowser Jr., but Bowser's jumping around. We got these big, they're not big, they're normal size. For a second I thought they were bigger than normal. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, no, 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 I was trying to land on him there, it didn't work out. Don't throw more of them. He's just like his father, except he threw uh, Mecha Koopas. Oh boy, no, no, that's not fair. Run away, run away, run away, run away, <laughs> run over here. Oh my gosh, this is not cool. Come on, Bowser Jr., try to slam on me again. Don't throw the bob bombs. you're throwing the bob bombs. Aye, aye, aye. Okay, he's trying to slam on me. I'm gonna jump, I'm gonna land in there. We're gonna go, 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 go. Come on, second hit on the Bowser right here. Oh gosh, is he shooting a bunch of fire at me? No, 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 no. I need to get over there right now. Come on, come on, come on. Here's our chance, he's a little burnt out from that one. Boom! There it is, there it is, there it is. I can't get to it right now. Whoa, no, oh, come on, it's so big. How are you supposed to dodge that? Yikes, I was hoping we could get this done on the first try, but not looking like it. Darn. Oh, that was good, that was good, that was good. Okay, so before we can even do too much, just get over here real fast. Come on now, come on, I don't think he can get me from here, maybe? Oh boy, that was close. Come on, he's gotta be jumping out soon. That is perfect, that is perfect. Slam on him again. Yeah, look at that. So he, can he jump again? Will he jump again is more the question. And then, hey, hey, that's what, <laughs> we got him. See, this is mine now. Oh, run, 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 run. Oh, come on, just try to dodge him. Ah, oh, that didn't work that time. It's fine, it's fine, because I can just land on his head again. No, uh, not happening. Oh, I can't do that. Now I'm back down to mini Mario? That stinks, because it's sort of inconsistent. Sometimes you can walk in front of Bowser, sometimes you can't. And it sort of stinks because of that, but if we can just hit Bowser one more time, I know we can do that without needing to be hit again, right? Come on. We did really good there. The bob bombs are coming, I can ignore those. And then, oh no, I can't do it because the fireball's in the way. That was really bad placement and timing. Like, come on. Now Bowser's jumping around like a total jerk because that's necessary. Go for it, land on him. Go, 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 go. I know he's gonna try to spit fire at us, so just go for it! We got him! Yes! Oh my gosh, it took so much time and effort. But we finally did it, he's swaying back and forth, and me and Mario Bowser are just looking at him. He's like, come on, Dad, hold on, hold on! Oh, he's gotten too many hits in the noggin. Ooh. Yeah, he's a long fall. So after a treacherous eight worlds played as Mario, Luigi, Toadette and the Toads and a little bit of Navit. We did it! We beat Bowser! What about Bowser Jr.? <laughs> He's just gonna jump off with him. All right, well, we did it! There's nothing that can stand in our way now. And somehow we got bigger again. <laughs> Princess, are you there? Don't worry, you're safe now. What's with Navit in the corner? <laughs> He's just watching from afar. Aw, <laughs> now it's like, what? Oh no! <laughs> All right, so Princess Peach is saved and along with it, hopefully the Mushroom Kingdom and Peach's castle. The smoke cloud is clearing away and the lava turns back to water and everything feels like it's all right again. Oh, there's all the Koopalings. They're like, come on, we gotta get out of here. Is Bowser still giant? I'm sure he is. 
Yep. <laughs> See ya, Bowser. He's like, wait, wait, wait for me. You guys. <laughs> All right, see ya. Get out of here. Oh, nice jump, actually. He's, he's oh, who, who just fell off? Was that Bowser Jr.? Oh, well, now they're all falling down. Oh, that was Lemmy, I think. He's holding on to the tail. Watch out. Oh, right into a mountain. <laughs> now they're all in the Koopa clown car thing. Hold on tight, everybody. <laughs> that is wonderful. All right, see ya. Oh, we're just with the yellow toad for some reason. There you go. Yeah, the whole crew's here. All right, so we did it, except for blue toad. Even Navit is up there in the uh, the castle. Well, he'll blue toad will forever be in our hearts. But there we go. We finally did it. It took a lot of effort, but we completed new Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. I honestly feel like that was the hardest one. There were a lot of tough parts of this game. All right, so the credits are over. All right. <laughs> Okay, so what's gonna happen now? I'm not really sure, the end. But we were able to get that castle 100% completed as far as I could tell, so we should be good with everything. I can only hope. Oh, yeah, there's Nabbit. We'll be doing those in a bonus episode, but hooray! Congratulations on completing the game. A star has been added to your save file. You can now save at any time from the menu. That's useful. And what is going on over this way? Ooh, you can now use the pipes to get to a secret island. Hop in a pipe and check it out. And then what's going on over this way? Ooh, what in the world could that be? I wonder. You can now use the pipes to get to Superstar Road. By the way, have you found all the star coins yet? Well, we'll find out in just a second. It looks like we have. You got all the star coins in Peach's castle. That's gotta mean something good, right? Indeed it does. As you can see, all of these levels are open to explore, seeing how we got all the star coins. And once again, another celebration. You've cleared all the courses through Peach's castle. Con congratulations, a second star has been added to your file. And another celebration. You've collected all the star coins up through Peach's castle. A third star has been added to your file. And that really is it. Update your save file to indicate you've completed the game. Absolutely saved. We are making our way into the ninth secret world. We defeated all of Bowser and his goons and it was great. We saved the Mushroom Kingdom and everything. So as you can see, these are all the worlds we've conquered so far. And if we keep going, after Peach's Castle, we have the Superstar Road, which is our World 9. And then we also have Secret Island, which is something we'll tackle probably in the bonus episode. I don't remember what's over there. I don't know if I've ever even seen what's over there. So right now, we'll go ahead and do Superstar Road, and hopefully everything will turn out okay. But yeah, this will be pretty cool. And boom, right inside. So the big thing about this one, similar to New Super Mario Bros. Wii and probably most of the other ones, Superstar Road, is that you need all of the star coins previously in the game from worlds one to eight to actually fully explore world nine. And that'll be the case here in Superstar Road one, spine tingling spine coaster. Let's get into it. So let's get it, let's, I guess I get into it. I don't know why I tried to say that twice. But what's at least really with this is that there's not gonna be any secret exits or anything. It's just gonna be simply exploring the level, trying to get, oh, this is cool. Um, trying to get all the star coins and stuff. I do love this idea though of having the, the spine coaster and have it in this nice grassy area. It's very weird, but I do, I do find it interesting. Let's go ahead and try to be very careful under all these, uh, uh, whatever these things are called, I always forgot. Anyways, keep going, they're fuzzies. That's what they're called, I think. Oh gosh, haven't seen any star coins yet, but each level does have a couple more, so definitely have to, oh no, do this for the 100% completion, that's not good. Oh boy, oh is this thing gonna be on the same path as us? Oh, it almost was. Oh, is that a mushroom? Give it to me, give it to me, oh wait, no, no, no! <laughs> Dang it, that's how I wanted to do. Oh gosh, this is tough already. Okay, so I don't know what we're gonna need the star for, but I'm gonna expect that it's, it's gonna be used, you know, for all these Fuzzies right here. No, 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 wait, 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 what's happening? What? Oh, I sh okay, that's what happened. I need to, okay. Uh, <laughs> that is not a good start, whoops. Okay, so we got a fire flower this time, which might be much better. Okay, ready? Boop, bop, bop, got it. So now I have the star, so I don't really have to worry too about too much, except for getting the actual star coin, which I know for a fact is gonna pop up right here. I missed out on the star. It's not that big of a deal. I know this is gonna, whoop, just like that, just like that, just like that. Very good. Oh, it's scary. 
I mean, I have the fire, so the fire flower. So if I need to, I can just get rid of them like that. I don't know where this last star coin is, so we gotta be ready for it. Oh boy. Maybe following the red coins will help me figure out where I'm supposed to be going here. Yeah, see, it's helping me get ready for all the, the fuzzies that are heading my way. Come on, come on. There we go. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. How do I get it? Just like that, okay, that was sort of weird. But we made it work, which is all that matters. I gotta jump, I gotta keep going. Oh, I thought I had to there. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. We can keep making it, right? Oh boy. Jump, don't jump, I don't know. Okay, get up here, perfect. Whoa, no, 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 oh boy. No, no, hold on tight. Ah, we did it. Oh my gosh. Very cool. So, with that done, we have gotten the first level Star World completed. It was short, but it has some difficult moments, so that was a little ridiculous. And then also unlocks a little uh, extra thing here, which I actually might take, because I'm a little low on power-ups right now. I'm sure we could get something good here, right? I can only hope. Oh, it's actually this bonus game, cool. So we need to avoid the Bowser as much as we can. There's two of them too, so that does make it tough. I think I'm just gonna pay attention to the two power-ups instead and see how far we can get with that. Come on, they're both on the right, both on the left, both on the right, both on the right, both in the middle. All right, actually, that was really easy. So we should be able to get all these, both of these, no problem. We get the propeller cap and we get the penguin suit. Awesome, awesome stuff. So with that done, we get, we get two new power-ups. Very cool. Okay. So we still have eight more levels. Is there eight or nine levels? I guess there's only eight. So we have seven more levels left to tackle. Let's tackle nine two or Superstar Road to run for it. That's a very foreboding name for a level to just go right into it, not knowing what we're gonna run into. And I guess it's not really what we're gonna run into, it's what we're running away from. Oh, maybe we're not running away from anything. Instead, we're just trying to make it to the other end. Oh, and I gotta throw out these fireballs so that nothing stops us. Gotcha, but you don't wanna do that too much. Oh, I probably should have thrown that. Oh, maybe not. Okay, there we go, perfect. Get that. I don't know where the star coins are. We got one here, perfect. Keep going. Ah, ah. Yeah, we made it. Very good. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Gotta keep moving, gotta keep moving. I just need to throw these fireballs out here, but you can't run at full speed when you do that, so you gotta be very careful. Oh, all right, go. I love this idea, it's a lot of fun, but it's really stressful. Oh no, oh no. No! I, I jumped onto the Koopa way too soon. Man, that stinks. Let's try that again. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna grab this Koopa shell and throw it this way and hopefully we don't run out of time. The problem is we actually go faster than the Koopa shell ever so slightly! Oh boy, that was close. That was really, really close. Okay, we gotta like, wait for this Koopa to raise ever so slightly as well. There we go, there we go. And then, ah! Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Oh, that was scary. I thought we were falling to our doom there. Ah! Whoa! No! 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 <laughs> oh, it's really tough. Yeah, okay, I made it. I haven't seen what's after this, so, so it's still a bit of a mystery to me. Oh, oh no. I know exactly what I gotta do here. Oh, yes, okay, we did it. <laughs> that was so close. My gosh. So scary, but we made it work. That was nine two. That one took a lot of attempts. These are really short levels, but really difficult ones. So, I don't know, it might be a very short video for you, a very long video for me. We'll have to end up, we'll have to see what ends up happening. Oh, also, even though I've completed this, there's another one? There's more powers I can get from there. Interesting, I'll keep that in mind. I don't know if it's just indefinite now that I've beat the game. Swim for your life. Oh, that is not good. It's gonna be the evil fish. I know it is. It has to be, right? The evil fish of doom that's gonna make me wanna cry. I guess we'll find out. I mean, maybe not. Maybe it'll be the, oh no, it's even worse. It's the other fish of doom that makes me wanna cry, but not the same one as the puffer fish. It's the underwater evil fish that'll eat you in one hit, and you have to uh, hit him more than once with the fireball to get rid of him. I'm pretty sure that's an addition to this game. I'm pretty sure in the other ones, you only need one hit. And he respawns way faster, way faster than I would like him to. <laughs> like, I think maybe 10, 15 seconds at max before he shows back up. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get rid of these guys. And then I'm gonna try to do that and then angle ourselves up, get rid of him again. Get ourselves some extra room here because these urchins are everywhere and I'd rather them not be. 
Get rid of the cheap cheap. The cheap cheaps are sort of the, the, the silent but deadly force in this level because they're so small compared to everything else, they could really sneak up on you, even if they're not even trying to hit you. So there's an extra fire flower if I need it. Maybe I can come back for it if the situation calls for it. Right now though. Oh, can I get that? Yes, I can. Whoa, it even hit me there. I don't know. I don't think it's a good idea to go back for the fire flower though. I think I need to keep moving forward. Uh, I don't know if that's actually the case now. Oh, okay, well at least you actually take care of them. This is I ended up becoming a sorta of kinda of symbiotic relationship between us, but not really, because you're still trying to eat me, so that's not very symbiotic. Come on, yeah, we got him, that's good. <laughs> How many of these guys are there? I'll take them all on. Oh gosh, uh, maybe I won't, I don't know. Get rid of the purple guys first, because once again, they're, they're very small, it's hard to really uh, manage them all because of how small they are. So we got that, but there's a bunch more coming. There's a bunch more coming. Ow! Oh, that's a bad time. You know what? I'm just gonna take the damage. Get this third star coin. I'm stuck! I'm stuck! I got stuck in the corner because the swimming controls are awful! No! Oh, we were so close to the end, too! That stinks. So I've actually been having a really hard time with this level, but I realized that Baby Yoshi is still waiting for us back at the beginning since, you know, we've cleared this level. So I figure I might wanna try a little trick this time and see if this ends up working out. We're gonna actually get Baby Yoshi, who of course not only will eat everything in our way, but he'll also help us swim a little faster. And while that maybe some people would consider this cheating, I've been, I've actually had so many attempts at this level that I even had to Stop recording for the day because I ran out of time. I've had a hard time with it. So hopefully this helps out a little bit. I might even use a power up. Mm, I'm running low on power ups, but I think I'll use this acorn suit. I just got it. It was just hanging out in world one as it normally does. So yeah, I've had to redo the whole level because there's no checkpoints for these ones. It's been real tough. So let's try this out and hopefully everything turns out okay because it has been really, really challenging. So I don't need the fire flower right now or anything. All I have to worry about is just swimming this way and you know, obviously good old baby Yoshi should just be able to eat everything in our way as long as not anything too bad happens, even the sea urchins, or not. Does he eat the sea urchins? I sure hope he does, but for right now, let's try that again. Oh, he doesn't, interesting. Come on back, come back here, baby Yoshi. Come back here, got him. Okay, that's good at the least. You know, he does have like some really good swimming abilities, so hopefully this will still be enough to get through everything, we'll have to wait and see. Oh no, it's gonna be a bit challenging to get that star coin and to get out of here, but we did it, we did it. Okay, that's good. Pretty good sign so far. Nice, okay. This might be where I wanna get a fire flower just because. Um, It is a little bit weird how the swimming works. Oh, and there goes my fire flower. How did that hit me and not baby Yoshi? That sort of stinks. That gets me into a bit of a bad position, but if we can eat all of these guys and then turn around and eat some of these guys and don't get hit, don't get hit and then try to get you to go after these urchins. Perfect, perfect, okay. This is helping, this is really helping. We're doing it, we're doing it. Get this third star coin, and then turn around, go, 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 go. Don't let them get you, don't let them get you. Go up the pipe, yes! Oh my gosh. That was over a day in the making right there. <laughs> Thank you, baby Yoshi. And we can even get to the end of the level with them, so that's cool. Man, oh man, I'm so glad we found a solution to that one, because that was really, really tough. But there we go, we got it. Mario time. Mario time indeed. <laughs> oh my gosh, so Baby Yoshi's gonna come with us. I don't know if we'll need him for the rest of these levels. I'll probably not, because I do want to try to complete them on my own if I can. It's just that one was so tough. So thank you, Baby Yoshi. I most certainly owe you one. And we get that little level unlocked as well. Superstar Road 4, Hammer Swing Caverns. Okay, so this one's probably gonna be like a World 6 kind of mountain area, right? No, okay, I'm wrong. So you know what, Baby Yoshi, you can uh, you can come with us, but I don't really know if I'm gonna use them too much, because I don't wanna cheat all these levels. It was just that one. I already don't like underwater levels, and that one it was already treacherous. So I'm probably gonna leave Baby Yoshi here. And why, ow, oh, I'm doing that, that was silly of me. Um, it's just because this level I actually might need to use wall jumps and stuff, and that's gonna be actually tougher, because Baby Yoshi doesn't allow you to do that. Um, what's up here? We get another power up, it's the acorn suit, which I could definitely make the most of. And it looks like, oh, there's a lot I can do here with this turtle shell, isn't there? I could, oh, oh, good timing. We got a one up for that one. I mean, as you can see, I've lost a lot of lives in World 9, a whole bunch of them. <laughs> so, I mean, I'd rather not have to do that anymore. What is up this way? Maybe star coin number one, I think I see it. 
Hold on, there it is, yeah, star coin number one. So while the, the acorn suit is pretty useful, it's not the most important thing, just because it would be nice to have a penguin suit. Just because, oh, can I not get up here? I guess not, I don't know where the pipe actually is then. I don't know, maybe we haven't passed it yet. That is odd, I feel like there, there definitely is a pipe from somewhere. I want to just be that for no reason. So it has me a bit concerned because I don't see anything else when it comes to a pipe. Maybe I could try going into that one more time. Oh boy. Oh, what? Well, hold on. Yeah, I definitely cannot go in there. So unless there's something over this way that I missed because I was trying to get into the one area, but I don't think that's the case. Oh, this might be a mistake. Oh no, we're fine. We're totally fine. So that's a weird mystery pipe right there. But I'm gonna keep going. Dodge these icicles. So far this level isn't as bad. It's just a little confusing, like I said, when it comes to location of things. Oh boy. Oh, there's a pipe down there. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, that really stinks. I was so close to it, yet I couldn't get in. All right, well, I'll have to do this one again. <laughs> oh well. Okay, yeah, time number like 30 at this jump. It is super tough for me. We, we made it, yes. Okay, let's hope we don't immediately die afterwards. Okay, this looks a bit difficult actually. There are some pits of doom we do have to be careful about and this is timed, got you. So what I might actually wanna end up doing here is pressing this like right about now and then going for it. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> that is not good. I might run out of time. I really don't like how the squirrel suit. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Am I, does that not count? Am I gonna have to do this whole thing again? I really don't like the squirrel suit sometimes. Like I, I sincerely don't because I don't like how he just grips on the walls and now I can't actually get over there. Um, unless this has another one, that's that's a good sign. Now I actually have to make the jump again, I did it. Please let the bun be back, please, 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 please. No, really, that's just, I don't like the squirrel suit. To be honest with you, it's probably like, cause like each new Super Mario Bros game introduced a new power up. DS1 introduced a big mushroom. We introduced a penguin suit and the propeller cap. Uh, New Super Mario Bros. 2 uh, introduced, what, the Golden Fire Flower, and this one, the Scroll Suit. I think the Scroll Suit is the worst addition in times because I, I never, ever have to use the wall grab. In fact, it always gets in the way more than it helps, and that's exactly why, we just saw it. I just, uh, it stinks that you need the Scroll Suit to even get in there, because then it's just like, I'd rather have the Penguin Suit, you know? There we go, there we go. And we made it. See, it's super easy when you don't touch the walls, but obviously there's walls on three sides of you, or I guess two sides of you. The floor is not a wall. But there we go, we got it done. Ah, oh, man. So we're still missing a third star coin, which hopefully we can find soon. You know, I'm not really too worried about the green coins because I need to survive this. I don't wanna make silly jumps that are gonna make me get taken out. And I don't know if that was a good idea because I feel like that made everything really confusing and hard to see. And that also might have been a bit of a mistake depending on if I can land. Oh, I can, I can, I can. So I could rush over here to the exit. I don't think that's a good idea. I think I just need to hold on tight and hopefully right about here it just stays in place. I don't know if it stays in place or not, but I'm here. So that's all that matters. Oh my gosh, we made it, right? There's more. Okay, just be careful and then get the heck out of here. Awesome, I couldn't care less about the the flagpole, but if I can get it, might as well get it. There we go, geez Louise, that was tough. Mario time. Mario time indeed, but Mario, that was super difficult. But definitely not as difficult as level before that, even though we had the cheese it with, that's why we had the cheese it with, uh, yeah. what's it called, Baby Yoshi. So that unlocks another path to that, which I guess can be helpful, but anyways, we're going to Superstar Road 5, spinning platforms of doom. Great, that sounds like a great time. Hey man, where do you wanna go this weekend? To the spinning platforms of doom, count me out. <laughs> That's how I imagine that conversation going. Anyways, that was, that was a weird joke. Um, we're just gonna try this out. Looks like it does want me to use the acorn suit. I see how these can be considered platforms of doom. Also, we got the, uh, the painting background again. Hmm. I could sort of scope things out a little bit with the squirrel suit, which is nice. I'm guessing that's a power up that maybe I even wanna hold on to. Oh, it's going down. I wanted to see maybe if I could get up there. I don't think I can though. So is this thing gonna start going backwards? I suppose not. Well, that's good to know. Yeah, I don't know exactly 
Okay, here it is. So yeah, you definitely need the scroll suit for this star coin. And we're going to jump, and then jump again, and then get across here, and we're good. And I'm probably gonna have to check each of these pipes, and just be very careful of any kind of piranha plant that may jump out of them. That can cover for this one. Cause you never know, just because a piranha plant is in it doesn't mean you can't go down it. And that has another one. Whoop, up okay, it was better than dying, that's for sure. That stinks, cause I you know, was supposed to get the power up there. Okay, so this really shouldn't be too bad in theory. And we got it. So let's just keep jumping across. Oh, it's really taking its time going through this part. Oh, this is a scary part. Right now, yeah, okay, we made it, we made it. But what was down this way? I mean, probably some goodies. Yeah, just a one up. Surprised it didn't give a three up moon there. Was that correct? Ooh, what's going on with this? No, okay, I thought it was going to. Uh, I guess the idea is that it would help you get down here, but honestly, that wasn't too bad to do. <laughs> yeah, we're fine, we're fine. Okay, are these spinning platforms? No, so I'm just supposed to wall jump, which actually isn't so bad. This is where the acorn suit, the squirrel suit, could be a bit more helpful, but it is not big of a deal to be honest with you. If you know how to wall jump, you should be fine here. And there we go, there we go, there we go. And now that we're waiting here, all I gotta do is go through. Perfect. So that's all three star coins for this level, right? So all we gotta do now is just not try to die. This so far has been, oh no. Maybe I shouldn't speak so soon. Maybe, oh no, no! Ah, oh, come on. I was gonna say that was the easiest level yet in the star road, but then that has to happen. If we can get there with the, the acorn suit, I think it'll be fine. But man, I was right at the end too. Oh, I didn't notice that little baby Bowser Jr. is in the background, that's pretty cool. So if I just glide and ignore all that, of course I can go right to the end, which is what I was trying to do from the beginning. But, you know, I didn't have the gliding ability before. But that's pretty cool, you know, Bowser before, Bowser Jr. now in the background, that's pretty cool. And we get it done. So I still feel like that's the easiest level in the Star World, even if I had to give it a couple of attempts. I mean, so far, who knows? Maybe we'll get lucky and everything will be easy from here on out. But we're more than halfway done with the Star World now, and that is awesome to see. Superstar Road 6, Fire Bar Cliffs, let's get to it. So with this one, this might be like a World 8 Peach's Castle kind of thing. Oh, no, it's not. I'm always wrong, every single time. <laughs> so what does it want me to have? It wants me to have a Fire Flower. I don't know if that's entirely necessary. We'll find out. Ooh, ooh duck and co cover under that one. Okay, so first Star Coin there. See, look at this, look at this. Much more helpful. <laughs> much more, <laughs> at least for now. I mean, you know, the acorn suit does, ow, have its perks here and there. I just would rather have probably the propeller cap or something. I can't believe I missed that. I wish it was a little bit more of like, cause you can get the propeller cap in the penguin suit in this game, but you'll never find it on its own in a level, which is sort of the shame of it. Okay, there's definitely something down this way. It is a pipe, a pipe that leads, hopefully the star coin number two. Oh my, that thing is, Heavily protected. You sort of have to zigzag between them all, and if you go above and beyond, maybe we can even get a power up, which might be worth it, just because I might get hit on my way back anyways. But honestly, it's it's easier to go from right to left than left to right, because that's sort of the way they're moving as well. So, yeah, that was nice. Okay, let's keep going. And, ooh, so far so good. This jump's tough to make. Oh, we made it though. So where is star coin number three? Unless that was star coin number three and I've made a great mistake, but I haven't. That's good, that's good. Another fire flower. I'll come back for it if it seems necessary. Oh gosh, this one's scary. Got it, pretty good, pretty good. Ooh, ooh, what about here, no? Odd. Oh no, 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 I fell. <laughs> Dang it. No, I got it. There it is. Okay, I was waiting for that to happen one way or another. What is up here, nothing? Okay, so it might be just smarter to keep moving. Oh gosh, okay, definitely it has to be in here. Okay, wow, that was close. What is in here? Okay, this one in theory should be easy. You run across like that, hopefully get a power up, not quite. That's a shame. So we just gotta move quick. All right, that actually was easier than the second one, if you ask me. Now the hard part is getting back here without getting hit by this thing, because that seems just about impossible. Ooh. Now, go, go, go. Ooh, there is a very little set of time for that. So I think that if I'm up here, 
Okay, there's definitely like a timing we can do here where if I go now, there's like a shorter side of the bar. Where's another power up? I really, really need one. There we go. But I gotta keep moving. Can't slow down, just, ah, I walked right into it, no! That's the second level in a row where we get all three star coins and then we die. Ah, oh, that's so worse. I wish these had checkpoints. Okay, so I'm back. I've gotten three star coins. I actually have full fire Mario now. So we'll try our best not to make that go to waste. Okay, yeah, I gotta get like up to these platforms. And then I gotta time this so that I don't get hit by the little beetles, but I also don't get hit by any of these fire things. Because as soon as we can, like, it doesn't really matter how we get this done as long as it gets done now that we've gotten the star coins. Like, that's the big worry. Didn't run right into that one this time, so that's good. And I think we're on the home stretch. What is over here? Why is there just weird gap of nothingness? Huh, odd. Anyways, let's go up this way and see what's gonna happen. Anything? Oh boy, run, 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 run. You know what, do I really need to get that? I don't think I do. We're just gonna get to the end, and there we go. There's another level done in Star Road. We are slowly but surely chipping our way through this thing. It has been real tough, but very worth doing. Like I said before, this is gonna be a really long episode for me and not as long for you guys. Probably the shortest episode yet for the series. But I, I know my voice probably sounds a little tired right now. I, I woke up not so long ago. Uh, Superstar Road 7, Lakitu, Lakitu, Lakitu. That hopefully means we can also have Yoshi because I think the only levels we've had with Lakitu in this game so far have been with Yoshi as well. And just, Yoshi's nice, okay? I want more Yoshi in the game. <laughs> I, oh, I probably could have thrown the Koopa shell down there, I see. So we can get this, but we gotta be careful afterwards because we can get squished by the incoming green blocks. But that's Star Coin number one down already. And I know Lakitu, I get it. Hmm, so I'm trying to find out how I can actually get up there to him. Like that, if I did it correctly. Because I need to be able to, oh gosh, this is dangerous. I don't know how I didn't get hit there. I don't know how he didn't get hit there. Get out of here, Lakitu. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, dude, come on. Oh, this is the worst. This is the worst, I need that mushroom now. Oh, I'm gonna get squished or something. Jeez Louise, come on. I need to get him. I know there's gonna be star coins that require a Lakitu. There's no way in a level called Lakitu, Lakitu, Lakitu are there no star coins up in the air. But man, is that a dumb position for him to be in. That's really tough. This is why we need Yoshi. Got him, okay, that took a couple of tries, that's for sure. So what is going on up this way? Lots of coins, but no star coin. But I know it's gonna be around here somewhere. I just gotta keep looking and keep moving. I haven't been over this way yet. I'm gonna go ahead and, yeah, do that. <laughs> that might be worth my while. No star coins yet? Really? All right, well, Lakitu, Lakitu, Lakitu. Here's the third one. Two star coins down, one left to go. I mean, maybe this level really is just running away from Lakitus and you don't actually need them. I mean, that'd be great and everything, but I doubt it. I mean, I'm definitely making the level, oh, I see it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get rid of that guy and his friend too, if he wants. Perfect, so there we go, we got a fresh cloud and let's get star coin number three. Look at that, that was absolute perfection. I sort of missed a button or something there. Gotta be honest, I don't care too much right now. Okay, so I need to make sure to not die, but the end of the level is right here. All right, we're good. Wow, we we did it! That wasn't too bad. It was tough, but not too bad. And we get an item for it, which we're really low on items, so that would be uh, would be very nice. Okay, so I'm happy about that one. I wonder what Toad is gonna give us. Hopefully, something good. Uh, thanks a million for your help. Here, take this. Okay, a mini Mario. I mean, I don't really need it, but at least it's something, right? So that's always good. Okay. So with that done. Looks like we got another uh, route to a power-up area, but more importantly, we got ourselves the final Star Road level of the Star Super Star Road 8, Pendulum Castle. Oh, is this gonna be like an actual castle with a boss fight at the end? Because I really like that with New Super Mario Bros. 2, is that there was a boss fight at the end. So I don't know if they'll do that here, but I really hope they do, because that'd be awesome. Um, with New Super Mario Bros. 2, it was like a whole like redux final boss with Dry Bowser as the, like, the secret final boss, you know? And that is super duper awesome. So I wanna see that happen here, hopefully. 
Okay, this might be a bit of a risky move to do, and it didn't really work out. Okay, well, I did what I could there. I lost my ice flower, and now I, now I have lost the potential of getting another one. This is tough already. These jumps are not easy, because like that doesn't go up too high. Like, I could make it up there, but I feel like it's a bit of a risk to do that. Okay, so see, this is where things get tricky. Got it, and what I need to do here is just go down like that, and then probably keep running. I feel like this level's easier as Mini Mario. Oh no, don't tell me that. There's something up here. Oh, there is. I'm so glad I tried that. What is this going to be? Oh my gosh, what is happening here? Um, what do you do? Ah, oh, well, not that. That was literally the worst possible thing I could have imagined to do. <laughs> How do you make that jump? Do I just have to get hit there? That was crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and get some power-ups. I feel like that would be useful. So let's see what we can get from this mushroom hut. We should be able to like reload the game and do these an indefinite number of times, which is useful. Not really what I'm interested in. Like maybe I could take a propeller cap. So I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled onto that propeller cap. It ain't going nowhere. Not without my permission. Okay, I think it's in the center. Ooh, yeah, I did it. And I'm gonna just guesstimate. No, not quite. I can land on Toad. <laughs> All right, Toad, this is your fault. <laughs> All right, well, at least we won that. That's always good to see. <laughs> Give me that penguin suit, Toad. What are you doing? Anyways. um, So with that, I might be able to use it. That might actually make this easier. It might make it worse. We'll sort of have to wait and see. I mean, it'd be a weird level to do with Mini Mario, but maybe that was a sign. You know, that Mini Mario I got, it's like, you gotta do this level with Mini Mario. I don't think so, though. I thought like that'd be a bad idea. <laughs> so we'll give this a shot and see what ends up happening. And I'm just gonna try to dodge when I need to dodge. Like, that's sort of the only problem is that these Koopas, these dry, oh my gosh, I am the worst Mario player of all time. I've already ruined it, that's not fair. This level is too tough, man. <laughs> too tough. Also, that's another power up uh, New Super Mario Bros. we brought along was the Ice Flower. I mean, I guess Galaxy did it, but I'm talking like the side-scrolling game specifically. See, that jump is so tricky. I mean, really, your best bet is to go under when it's like that. Because I don't see how else you're gonna do that. So, go now. Yeah, I don't see how else you're doing that. Okay, we'll throw those down there. I will duck and cover like that. I'll freeze you. And that only gave me a coin this time. Before that gave me a mushroom. Does it only give you a mushroom but not a flower? Or is it because I hit it with something weird? Hmm, I don't know. Okay, so we can do this part just like we've done before. And then I can get that. Only problem now is I can't really properly make this jump right away. Okay. Whoa, that was just awkward. It is such a weird level. There I go. Wow. Okay, so I am trying this level one more time with the propeller cap. I just feel like it's a good idea. So I'm gonna give it a shot. We'll see what ends up happening. Ooh, it's a toughie so far though. Like I feel like the last couple levels have been easy because of this, you know? So let's wait down here, go under this one, and just hope, hope, hope uh, I don't mess up and get hit by something silly like these guys. Cause that could definitely happen right about now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna Duck and cover, cover under that one. And then, ooh. You know what, it might just be a good idea to do that, perfect. And then fall down here, propel up like that, and then sort of do the same thing over and over again. Oh my, gotta dodge a couple of things there though. And just use these, what I think are called donut platforms, to our advantage. And let's figure out what the heck is going on here. Now, I don't know what's to the right, but it might be good to find out. Oh boy, where am I, where am I? I'm over here. Oh, that worked perfectly. And it's a star. Okay, that makes so much more sense, but it's now down there. Oh no. Oh, okay, okay, that's fine, that's fine. I don't care about any of the, you know, the little skull dry bones guys. All I care about is that. I don't know if you could have jumped up there normally though. It feels like the jump is too far. Like you need a squirrel suit or something. But it's like, they don't give you one in the level. So that's sort of uncool. Okay, no, I didn't want to lose that. Hopefully I don't need it anymore. Oh gosh, oh gosh indeed. But luckily, you know, we got what we needed. The problem is if I die, I'm gonna have to go find another propeller suit because that was the only one I had. Okay, what are my chances of making that jump? They're plenty fine. This is weird. Definitely can't get up there normally. 
they don't want to do that, right? They want to make it so that you have to have an outside power up to get to a, like an outside the level. Oh my gosh, what is going on with this? Um, yeah, I'm just gonna keep going. <laughs> I don't understand what you gotta do with that one. Oh no, oh no, that's a bad sign. Okay, we made it, we made it. Oh, yeah, we made it! Yes, go, 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 go! Woohoo! Oh my gosh! We did it! Well, I say that, but have we? Yes, we have. Is that the last level or is there one more? Because I know there's a little spot for it. I have no clue, but I'm so glad we got that level done! Yes! Okay. So with that completed, what do we got next? I don't know, maybe we're done. We get another access to that power-up area, but we've already used it. But look at this. There is a last level. Mario is super excited. The final course is now available. Fourth star has been added to your file. So unfortunately, there was no secret final boss there, but maybe there could be here. What is this? This is Superstar Road number nine. Follow that shell. So let's hope this turns out okay. I'm gonna be following a shell for some reason. This could be a really tough level. I don't know. Um, but it looks like, oh. Yeah, I can see exactly how this could be tough. All right, go down this way. Because you need to throw the shell in exactly the right way if you wanna get what you're trying to look for, I guess. Let's throw it down there, and while it is, I'll check for power-ups or anything. Okay, so I'm looking around. So this could get us a lot of one-ups, at the least, if it goes well. Let's find out. Maybe I should've thrown it from up here? No, oh gosh, why'd I do that? I'm such a dingus. There we go. It's gonna go back down again. Oh boy. So I guess I missed out on a couple of Koopas though. That's weird. I will miss out on a lot of stuff over that way. I mean, I don't think there was a star coin, luckily. Where's it going? Oh, one up, one up, one up. So this is pretty cool. I'm getting a lot of extra goodies, which is always good. The problem though is that, will any of this lead me to a star coin, you know? Cause that's what matters the most to me, <laughs> I gotta be honest. There's a couple more. So I guess maybe if I knocked those guys down myself, I could have gotten more one-ups. Like, there's some weird stuff going on here. I don't really entirely understand, but it's gonna keep going. Ooh, can it get that? I sure hope so, because if not, I have no idea what's going on there. It's not gonna reach it. What? <laughs> Come again? What was with that? Um. Was I supposed to, like it says follow that shell, but it's more like get ahead of it. Weird, I think I have to redo the level. Yes, I do. I mean, I could complete it now, but you know what, I might as well just redo it. What an odd situation. I gotta stay as big Mario for sure, but I don't know if there was even a power up in this area. Very, very odd. So I've been looking at this for a while and I think I sort of kind of have it figured out. What I need to do is time this just right, just like this sort of kind of. Okay, that should work actually. Come on, keep going. And then it's gonna plop down here and I don't know if this is gonna be right or not. Oh no. Oh, that might not. Oh yes it was, yes it was. Okay, we did it. So we just gotta get down there now and go on that fine. And everything should be good. Wow, that was tough. I just like, I mean it wasn't tough in the other ways some of the other levels are, but it was tough in the way that was such a challenge to figure that out. I don't know. <laughs> Like a fun level, but also a weird level. I just don't know how I feel, but sort of a bittersweet, which I feel like, I don't know, it is a weird ending to New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. But anyways, we got that level done. It was quite tricky, but also fun. So there we go, we got it. And what's gonna happen now with every single level in the game properly complete? It looks like Mario was happy because we collected all of the star coins, congratulations. And that's it. <laughs> So there we go, if we take a look at the menu, we can take a look at the star coins and just go through every single level here. Uh, from the beginning, you can see that we've gotten every single star coin. So that means every single star coin in Acorn Plains, Layer Cake Desert, Sparkling Waters, Frosted Glacier, Soda Jungle, Rock Candy Mines, Marangue Clouds, Peach's Castle, and finally, Superstar Road.